<clears throat> hey guys, let me know whenever you can see me. God, I'm so excited to finally continue Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank God. <laughs> Welcome. I'm so sorry, non-members. I see them all saying goodbye in chat. This is so sad. I don't know. I saw some people saying like, oh yeah, be sure to turn on members mode. Oh crap. Let me make sure to get this set up. All right, too. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to do uh, <laughs> the chat. Oh god, I love seeing everybody's reaction, <laughs> even though it's kind of delayed. Yeah, so whatever reason, I don't know. YouTube always thinks that I'm playing uh, Five Nights at Freddy's whenever I play. Talking about put other two. So I just decided to make a nice little fun edit, you know, make it uh fit even more, even more with the the meme. Yay, slay. <laughs> the cringos. We get to see more of him today. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, also my cat's in my room too, so maybe he'll come out. He's in the closet right now. But uh, you know, I told him I would love him no matter what, but he's still in the closet, so hopefully he'll come out of the closet at some point during the stream. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of funny if uh, I was just like, oh my god, finally we get to stop playing that stupid cringe Danganronpa. Ew, that dang it grandpa game. And now I can finally play some good games. <laughs> FNAF. <laughs> oh god, I'm dead. Okay, oh, it'd be funny if we did some Five Nights at Freddy's like um, Danganronpa and other edits. Yeah, like a Kanade. Oh my god, that'd be perfect. That'd be so freaking perfect, dude. Oh, man. Also, um, so let's see here. Oh, yeah. Thank you to uh, Yuki Kanjiros for becoming a member. Also, yeah, you guys can just let me know if you think um, we love and support you, Pete. <laughs> thank you. He appreciates it. He appreciates it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Thank you, Cool and KT. Holy crap. Missing best bird already. <laughs> Thank you so much for the dono. That's so sweet. I appreciate you. Oh my gosh. Richard Kinney over here. Richard Kinney. And thank you, uh, Nap Pup. Uh, hey, Weebs. I love your your fontent. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, I just have a, a, lot of, a lot of passion for fonts. No, I'm just kidding. I love your content. Have a good stream and hope I make it next week. Thanks so much. Thanks for stopping by. And um, yeah, I guess the mods can just let me know if they think uh, it'll be safe to turn off members mode. There's only like... Only 600 people. It's still a lot of people, but you know. Um, I feel like it doesn't really get too bad. It's like a thousand. I never know if I should just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I never know if I should like take it off for a little bit or not. Oh, thank you, uh, Nerdzek, for uh, becoming a member too. But um, before we get into the stream, I have a couple of things I want to show off today. Oh, pfft. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Rip. Okay, so uh, Kels Kathleen Glassart made these awesome. <laughs> I finally get these stickers. I can use them in the trial today. I feel like I'm going to need it from all that freaking lore dump in the last video that I didn't actually have time to uh, <laughs> to freaking uh, <laughs> to look back at because I was like, oh, there's so much info in the last one. But Kelsey made these awesome stickers, which are like uh, the sorry I was born stupid stickers. And she also gave me a bunch of other cool stuff like, uh, oh my God, Monica Apologist. <laughs> <laughs> Monica apologist, oh, Midori apologist. I don't know if I'm one of those. A Kinjo apologist. I'm definitely, definitely a Kinjo apologist. But yeah, shout out to Kelsey. This is uh, her store. If you guys want to check it out, and she also, uh, I gotta, I gotta show the best girl. How could I almost forget? She also has a Kanade apologist sticker too. So slay, <laughs> so slay. Oh man, when's the Five Night at Mitch's stream? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh God, that's terrifying. Uh, thank you, Nerd Zach, for becoming a member. I can't remember if I think you or not. I got so much uh, going on in my brain right now. Thank you, Wolf Allen. Hey, Weeby, do you actually want to stream FNAF? Maybe. <laughs> I've never. I've only played it. Um, I've only played it like I think like once, really. So maybe. <laughs> If you guys will be interested in me doing that, then maybe. Thank you, uh, you Yuki Kanjiro's. Hi, this is my first live stream with you. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I appreciate it. And then uh, Five Nights at Kanadi's. Thanks you, uh, in our China 20 Rose, for becoming a member too. Appreciate ya. Okay, and then um, I have some stuff on the um, subreddit. Oh yeah, so apparently it's Sora and Yuruko's uh, wedding day today, even though I think Sora's dead. <laughs> well, you know, I think she might be dead or something, but anyways, it's their wedding today, Slay. I mean, don't, don't Slay, Jesus. Oh, uh, they look so pretty though. This is by uh, that bizarre artist. 
Aw, it's so cute. Oh, here we go, so freaking gorgeous. <laughs> so gorgeous. And then, uh, of course, I gotta show my, my husband though. Ding dong, sour berry made this. Oh, he looks so pretty. Oh, I think that, is that? I was like, trying to make sure if that's Utsuro or if that's uh, Maida. Either way, he looks he looks great, he's serving. And then, uh, I love these little uh, doodles of Teruya and Rei. Oh, oh, this is really big. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how big this art was when I clicked on it, but they look so good. Oh, I miss Teruya so much. I miss him so much, dude. He got done so dirty. This one's by uh, Kitsicles, so shout out to them as well. And let me um, go ahead and kind of get my uh, my good old cringe back up. Wow, are you calling the artists bizarre? They're calling themselves bizarre, okay? I'm just respecting them. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, uh, Mars. Oh, my God. I love your picture. That's so adorable. Hi, Weeby. Finally caught a live stream again. LOL. Hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love that profile picture. That's beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, I think uh, that was mostly the stuff I wanted to show you guys today. So, yeah, I think we're ready to start this. We're probably going to start the trial today. I don't know if we'll actually beat the trial, though, since... I think I've heard it's like, what, like eight hours long or something? <laughs> something insane like that, but uh, we'll try, I guess. I don't know, I just feel like my brain stops working at like five hours into streaming. <laughs> Around like five hours, it's kind of when it stops. But granted, the last trial I did, I did finish the whole thing because it was too uh, too interesting. Oh, Weeby, you should check out Jiko, Jiko Rampa? It's so good. Oh, okay, I haven't actually heard of that one. I'll have to, uh, let me take a picture so I can remember it. Um, did did you? I feel like most of the ones people recommend I've actually heard of, but that one I haven't uh, heard of. But uh, thank you. I'll definitely be sure to check it out. I saw like another one this morning too that like uh, looked pretty interesting. I liked it. They had like a different uh, art style than you know, just like the normal dog and rough art style. I'm not really sure how far into development there is. There's so many fan games. It's crazy. Which <laughs> I'm not complaining because it's a. Uh, I don't know, it's just so nice to have, like, new Dragon Rampa content. <laughs> and honestly, it's kind of nice to see other people's, like, takes on Dragon Rampa too, you know? Because, like, I don't think I could ever see Kadaka doing the stuff that, like, Lanouge did. Um, okay, let me... I think that, and then get rid of this, and that should be it. Okay, cool. I'm also going to turn the volume down because I got a copyright claim in the last video. Unfortunately, the songs were really uh, beautiful in the, in the Cringo scenes, but uh, they apparently had copyright. And let's see. I oh, thank you, Maple, for becoming a member. Let's see. I thought it was only six hours. Okay, only six hours? Oh, I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, I do plan on playing Dog and Rampa Lap, so that's probably the next one that I'll play, to be honest. 72 hour Weeby stream. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way I could ever do that, dude. <laughs> I remember feeling so. I had so much fun doing the last trial for uh, Dog and Rampa Another, but man, I was so dead by the end of it. <laughs> oh, thank you. A whole lot of red. Am I real? Am I real? I don't know. I, I, I can't answer that for you, buddy. Are we all just computer AI that's extremely advanced and intelligent? Who knows? Who freaking knows? Oh, it's Teruya too. Oh, Teruya, yeehaw. Some say his last words were yeehaw. Some as in me. It's literally only me who says that. <laughs> but but I would say uh, but I would say it's true. But yeah, um, I'm not totally sure if we'll beat the game since um, we still got some more uh, story stuff, I think, to do before um, the stream. I think my mod said they thought it was going to be like three streams, I think including the last one, so... It's kind of what I'm guessing for. Thank you, uh, Koizumi, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Cult. Oh, hey. Akane, what are you doing here, girl? Okay. Oh, she's crying. Hey. Oh, wait the. Is that Oots? Master, uh, Master Oots, of course it's Oots, I should have freaking known. Oh, uh, Jinko Rampa is new, but I think it has a lot of potential. Thanks, y'all yeah, be sure to check it out. I hadn't heard of it before, so uh, yeah, I'm always uh, open for more information on different fan games and stuff. And thank you, 10 Lives Gaming, finally able to make it to another live stream. Can't wait to see how this all unfolds. Me too. Me too. Oh god, I'm nervous though. I'm nervous. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think Sora is going to live through this, but I don't think she's living already. <laughs> so I guess it's, you know. Master Utsuro. 
I should say it's been a while. No, wouldn't it be better for you to talk? Um... It's amazing. I missed you so much. I really want to see you again. Why can't I stop crying? Uh, it's normal. Nobody would like to see a boy like me again in this world. Dude, I think there's a lot of people that want to see you again. You're wrong. I'm happy. I'm so happy to see you again. But... Uh, some regrets still remain. Um, you could say I'm foolish for being so shameless. My wish is to be with you forever. I'm only here to fulfill my promise, Master Utsuro. Wait! Just cut out this fucking simping bullshit! Are you just going to let it in like this? Without doing anything? Without making a choice? Can you really accept this result? It's, it's noisy over there. Master Utsuro? Hmm. What should I do? Why are you asking me that? I'm sorry. But this time, I can't be alone. Akane Taira! It's not too late! It's too early to end it like this! It's for you to decide. Ah! You've always done this. It seems you've always depended on me. That's why you scream. You can't be without me. But you've been acting on your own this entire time. Tell me, have I ever helped you decide? Hmm. Come back, Akane Tyra. Without you, nothing begins and nothing ends. Don't run away if you come back. I won't stop you from doing anything. Just one more time. Please lend me your power. No matter what you choose, I won't stop. Oh, no matter what you <laughs> like, Damn, I sounded girly there for a second. Thank you, uh, Scott Boy Stu, for becoming a uh, member. I appreciate it. It's okay to come back when everything is over. If you don't want to, you can come with me. Nobody can decide for you. You deserve a chance to choose for yourself. Choose whatever you want. Why is Utsuro kind of being chill? So you think he's like on the edge of death, I guess? Sora, our master Utsuro. Come, girl, girl, you better choose Sora. You better. I choose. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I get to choose? Holy shit, I didn't expect that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if I get to choose, the choice is pretty easy. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Last time the ending was like, choose the bad path. Oh god, okay, okay. Let's let's choose Sora. I can't, I can't, I can't choose Utsuro right now. I guess we can come back. Uh, I already saved like uh, right before, right before this. So we're good. I'm sorry, Master Utsuro. Ah, oh, stupid flies in my face. Just a little. Please wait just a little longer. After all. Why are you apologizing? I told you, you decide your own path. Go back. Hey. Um, lastly, there's one thing I want to ask. Master Utsuro, are you just part of my imagination? Are you really Master Utsuro? That's like, that's probably the reason why he's being so nice. She's like, I never really remembered you being this nice. Um, if you're asking that, you should already know the answer. It reminds me of like Yuki when he was talking to all the characters um, in his brain in the last trial too. You don't need me to answer it for you. <sighs> Go away, get it done. I guess you could be imagining it more like with Midas personality than uh, Utsuro's in a way, you know what I mean? Master Utsuro. Thank you. Oh my god, did the chat fix Utsuro? Is that it? All the simping fixed him? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's probably that she's imagining Maida. I think that would make the most sense. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What is this? Ryotaro, Keisuke. I remember telling you to go for the helicopter. Boss! Director, there's a problem. The door won't open. Excuse me? 
Whoops, maybe someone touched something they shouldn't have. Kind of wondering how we're going to get back into the trial, honestly, now that we're outside of the game. Um, hey, what's going on? No. No fucking way. It can't be. It's irrational to be surprised. However, the power to produce an impossible result. You should know that power all too well. That voice! Shit! Ah. Somebody catch that- <laughs> Catch that dirty criminal! Thank you, big chunk of rock. I wonder how Yuruko is doing in prison. I hope Kendra at least kept her- Kept her- Let her keep a Sora body pillow, aka- Oh no! Oh god, no! <laughs> Hopefully not! Aka <laughs> got a Kane Kamato's body- Jesus! <laughs> Hopefully just a nice- A nice cute body pillow. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Somebody catch that crook! Keisuke, please wait here with everyone. Okay. I thank you, Minty, for becoming a member. Appreciate you. She's back, baby. Oh. Oh god, he's gonna be pissed, dude. Oh no, just kidding. It's Mikado. I thought it was I thought it was me, damn it. Nice to meet you, Kizaragi Foundation. Mikado Sanoji. Hey, what is the meaning of this show by? He should be dead. Shobai, betraying your moral code, it's wrong! You betrayed me for money. Thanks to that, things have become more complicated. Don't be so heartbroken. As you said, I follow the ca- Oh, don't be so heartbroken. As you said, I follow the cash. My bad. Oh, thank you, uh, GG Diamonds. Dang it, Weeby, we could've fixed- We could've fixed Utsura. We'll do it next time, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, thank you, uh, photography person. Hi, Weeby, I sent you an email about Morgan Rampa. And added you on Twitter. I sent character info. Also, Super Dong Rump Another 2 was a good series. Thank you. Yeah, I got the emails. I just haven't uh, looked through them yet. I just, I have a really bad uh, backlog. But thank you uh, for like, for contacting me and stuff. I appreciate it. Don't be so heartbroken. As you said, I follow the cash. The Kizaragi Foundation just had more um, moolah. Nothing personal. It doesn't matter. The process doesn't matter. But the results are that I'm still alive. How? How, how was I able to restart the Neo World program, you must be asking? That's right, well, I never would have imagined that you would have put code that bypasses security and closes the program from the outside. Wait, Kinjo, what are they talking about? Shut up, this isn't the time for explanations. The method I used? Allow me to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, okay, perfect, great explanation. Oh, hi, Weeby, bad timing, but I'm making a fan game and I thought you could try watching it. Maybe in my come out, wait, maybe it'll come out in a month. So look out for Dug and Rapa Hellfire. Okay, cool. Yeah, just send the info about it, like on through email or like Twitter or something, and I'll uh, check it out. Add it to my, uh, you know, <laughs> add it to my list of things to look for. But thanks, I appreciate it. Allow me to be honest, I don't know. What? When the Neo World program was closed and the emergency power was cut, my death should have been certain. Should have been. Well, no need to worry about the details. As a result, I have risen from the dead! So the activation of the security system was your doing. Indeed, this laboratory is like my second body. The wires are my blood vessels. The electricity that flows through is my blood, and the computer is my brain. Ugh. <laughs> this kind of sounds gross. Operating the security system is just as easy as breathing for me. It's like, where is Mikado's body? Did we, like, talk about that? I can honestly get a little confused on, like, the total lore of the, uh, the game and kind of, like, the Neil World program and all that. I was like, I think, um, I'm trying to think. Was his, is he just, like, a, I guess he could just be, like, an AI, too. I'm kind of wondering, honestly. Thank you, Mars. Master Utsuro. More like Master Midsuro. Get ratioed, Yuki Wannabe. Oh, my God. So true, bestie. So true. Thank you for the dono. And thank you, uh, Flora Brito, for becoming a member. Appreciate it. This can't be unless someone deliberately restarted the emergency power. This should be impossible. Director, apart from us, everyone else in this building is at the entrance, right? Correct. Not including the troops outside, surrounding the perimeter. Everyone is inside. It's useless to suspect somebody from the Foundation. Only three of us ever went inside the emergency power room. Then Awana Yula turned it on. What was that? Oh! There's no other explanation. It's gotta be one of you two. Um, I understand now. The culprit's you! The contact... 
contract we made was all a lie and you were working with Mikado this whole time. You're the only one who could have done it. Filthy scum! This is why I don't trust criminals. Arrest them, boys! Everyone shut up and stop jumping to conclusions! Do you really think the culprit matters now? We still have a massive problem on our hands. No matter what somebody is planning, we have to act now, or this will all be for nothing. So he was kind of implying like a traitor of some sort. Ew. If you have time to be wasting arguing, then you should use it to think of what we should do. Tch. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, looks like a raise, the smartest one here. Well, of course we all knew that from the last game, too. Don't bother even trying to understand what happened. I don't even know myself, after all. But you don't need to worry yourselves. I have no intention of harming any of you. Don't try to shamelessly bullshit us. This isn't the time, Sarugi. Mikado Sanoji, what do you want from us? You must need us for something, since you went out of your way to contact us, correct? I was like, what can he even, uh, do from in there, honestly? Oh, I'm thinking about it. And thank you, a uh, big chunk of rock. Mikado, I'm in your walls, cringe. Oh, <laughs> so true, dude. <laughs> for real. Thanks for the uh, dono, by the way. Co okay, contact us. A proposal, you could call it. I still intend to carry out my initial plans. To resurrect Master Utsuro. You all know this by now, Yes. According to my initial plan, the resurrection of Master Utsuro should have already been complete. I'm glad you all enjoyed your lunch break, but it's time to return now. To re to return? But there is no need to worry about this backup plan of mine. It would be beneficial to you as well. Drop the detours, get to the point. First, I want my actors to reprise their roles. What? I'm referring to Yuruko, Aroha, and Shoba, who have all returned to the real world. Get them back in here! Come on! The three of them will return to the virtual world! Because said people left, the killing school trip is currently on hold, as if time has stopped! You want us to go back in there? Correct. Furthermore, I would request the two members- Okay, I was kind of wondering if he was going to ask Rei and uh, Kinjo to join. It's like, I think Kinjo would probably be aware of the fact that, like, uh, I can't remember if he really explicitly stated it. Because I know, like, the Void member stated it. Um, he turned the game a bit louder. It's mostly because I got a copyright claim last stream. It's okay for right now, but it's just whenever it gets to, like, the other music, I got claimed last time. Right now it's the Danganronpa music, but, uh, so it might be okay. It was mostly just the songs that played, like, when I was talking to Kinjo and stuff. Got me a copyright claim. I think the Danganronpa music's okay, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I was thinking honestly about turning it back up for the Danganronpa music anyways. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think Kinjo should be aware of the fact that if Utsuro comes back, he can save his own life. I think so. I guess we'll see. He might, um, he might, um, what's the word? Um, crap, I got distracted. I don't know, he might be able to like manipulate or, you know, convince Kinjo with that if he doesn't know is what I was thinking. But we'll see. Kinjo's a pretty, up, not upstanding guy, but like, you know, he's uh, very adamant about the moral standing that he does have. <laughs> oh, man. But it's okay, uh, Zephy, you didn't know, so it's no problem. I was thinking about turning it back on anyway, since I hadn't heard that music yet anyways. It only, I think it's only going to happen, like, occasionally. Because it only, like, got, like, one minute of it from the last stream. Oh, thank you, 10 Lives Gaming. Mikado misses his bet. Oh my god, that's so true. I I'm lonely, guys! And thank you, Maris, for becoming a member. Correct. Furthermore, I would request the two members of the Kizaragi Foundation take the stage as well. Us two? I refuse. Ooh... I only hear your words as a call for us to come in the- in there- Oh, I only hear your words as a call for us to come in there and die. Entering the Neo World program and being in reality there is no difference, you hear me? I agree, besides, I already betrayed you once, so I've lost any credibility with you. I've seen what you're capable of. <laughs> no thanks! I understand your caution. However, I said I would not hurt them, did I not? And if the two of you enter as well, wouldn't you have a special advantage over me? Is that the force shut down? Force shut down. He's talking about the one used on Jabberwock. Ah, okay, yeah, so this took place after the second game. I think they kind of implied that before, too, but it it's kind of good to get more of a confirmation on it. Let me, um, oh yeah, thank you, Marcy. You want me to go in, uh, you want me to go in there, but it's too far. <laughs> too, it's too difficult. 
Also, witty things, if you go to my profile, the about page, um, there's like a contact section. It should have my email there. I just don't want to say it on stream because I already get like a bunch of spam already. <laughs> but go there and thank you for the donation. Thank you, uh, Axel. Love your streams, Weeby. This is my first super chat ever. I'm here since the first dog up another stream and been enjoying it. I'm an Aroha and Mikado enjoyer. Okay, based. Or Mikako. <laughs> okay. Mikako enjoyer. That's also based, though. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. I like Mikako and Aroha a lot, too. I like all the characters, really, besides uh, Mitch. I bet it was Karinjo giving you the copyright claim. I think it was when he was on stream, so. That is pretty, pretty likely. Thanks, uh, Zephy, for the donation. Thank you, Icy Phoenix. Is it bad that I find Kenjo hotter now? <laughs> no, it's not at all. Not at all. Oh, man, literally me. Literally me. And thank you, uh, Mars. Not Karinjo enforcing copyright again. He probably would think I was a dirty criminal just for YouTube copyright. Like, disgusting weeby. <laughs> I don't want the love of a dirty fucking criminal. <laughs> It's like, it's under fair use, Kinjo, leave me alone. Oh, man. He's talking, he's talking about the one use on Jabberwock Island. Yes, with the consent of more than half the users, the force shutdown will activate. Since Shoba and I are counted as administrators, we do not count to this total. In other words, you have half of 13, 7, which means you could simply enter and end the Neo World program. That 7 is including our dear Ray and Sarugi, of course. So if we enter and you try something, we can just activate the force shutdown. Wait, why are you believing that? Most of that is correct, however, this is a modified version compared. Meaning that it wouldn't be the same as it was on Jabberwock, Jabberwock Island. And with this, you expect us to jump into the lion's den by entering a system we know next to nothing about. Why not? <laughs> no, the force shutdown would work. Okay. I was like, I was kinda, I'm kind of with Kinjo for once <laughs> so far. I was like, why would they enter that? I told you, Director. I've inspected the software inside and out. I'm the one who's modified the system, so I should know. I guess it might be like the traitor among us, like on the real world, might be what gets them to, uh, I don't know, go inside the program. But I was like, man, that seems like a pretty big, uh, pretty big risk. In fact, that's how I was able to manually disconnect myself, so I can guarantee it. No. Still, there's no reason for us to take the risk and enter. Our fight is with our fight with you is over. The survivors have been <laughs> have been rescued and sent to jail, and this killing game is over. Uh, there's no reason to take the risk. That's what you said, right? What? Instead of wasting my words, why don't I just show you a reason? Take the stage, Yuki Dukali! Oh, here we go, baby. Oh no, Yuki! <laughs> Is anyone there? Can somebody please save? Poor Yuki, dude. He has the worst fucking luck ever. Thank you, uh, Quandale Pringle. Cringo always starting problems, SMH. I know, right? That's that's just his nature. That's just who he is as a person. Is there anyone there? Thank you for the dono, by the way. Sora, Yuruko, anyone? Where is everyone? I can't see. It's so dark. Yeah, it makes sense. This would be what gets them to finally go back in. Please, someone help. Anyone who's there, help me. Help me! Oh, of course. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Using my boyfriend against me. No. Yuki Maida. Surugi, Ray, is this the Yuki Maida you've been looking for? You wouldn't leave him all alone here, right? He's just a poor victim dragged into all of this. He's the Yuki that's already fixed, Kenjo. See, he's perfect. Yes, a victim who was sacrificed for divine luck. The Kizaragi Foundation was founded to help those in need, was it not? Shut your mouth, you filthy criminal! But there's more. If you don't want to enter the virtual world, the doors are going to remain shut. And this lab just so happened to be built in an abandoned nuclear shelter. From the inside or the outside, no matter what, it would be impossible for them to open the door. You'll be trapped here for the rest of your lives! Wait a moment, I'll contact the rest of the Foundation. Do you really think the radio waves stay up? Try all you want, but your radio simply won't function. The only way out of here is to do what I say, or else. Yes, you'll have no choice to blow up the island next to the laboratory. Come on, Kenny. Of course, if I did that, they wouldn't be safe. Ah, ugh. Also, it's not just Yuki Maida you should fight for. Should ah. Uh, oh. Wait, can he can he still be alive too? Please, God, please, please show him on the screen. Please show my boy Teruya on the screen. Shouldn't you be fighting for your dear, 
Teruya too? What? The brat was so annoying. It kept resisting until the bitter end. Uh, God damn it. Why did you get my hopes up, Mikado? <laughs> damn it. Fuck you. You wouldn't want poor Teruya's death to be in vain. Damn it. I thought for a second I was going to see him on the screen. Yeehan. Yeehan yet again. Teruya's death to be in vain. You should properly resolve the situation for him. Shut up, damn it. Should you accept my proposal? I will even explain how you could fight me. Shut your damn mouth! Can I punch the screen, dude? <laughs> okay, I guess I, I guess I'll listen to you. Whatever, Sarugi. <laughs> I like how he just listened. He's like, "Yep, I'll shut up now." Kind of scary, Kenjo. I uh, think you, uh, big chunk of rock. Kenjo sees Yuki. Kenjo, let me out. He needs me. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I was thinking too. It's like the perfect bait for Kenjo to go in for real. For real. Thank you, Mars. Hashtag Mikado moment. He was like acting like a Kamida Kenny there for a second, wanting to blow up the island. And thank you, uh, Sean. Important headcanon. If Shinji lived, he would have adopted Yuki and been, and been the type of dad to say, uh, Are you winning, son? Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. He, I bet he's, he was such a good dad, dude. Shinji was, he was so sweet, man. And thank you, uh, Mikado. I mean, I'm Mikado. Jeff, <laughs> thank you, Jeff, for the donation. Mikado just said, gaslight, game trap, guilt trip. Oh my god, for real. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good one. Gaslight, game trap, and guilt trip. Get the fuck in here. Sarugi. Damn it, why? This should all be over now. This is, this is why. Ugh, uh, are you okay? Ugh, I'm fine, thank you. Director, so what do you want to do? We're caught in this guy's trap. I don't know how he managed it, but he's back. Do we accept his proposal and fall deeper into his trap? Or do we starve to death in this lab? Yeah, I don't really have much of a choice there, honestly. Ray. I, what should I do? It's strange to hear you say that. You must be desperate. I'm sure he still feels guilty for Teruya too, you know? Well, we'd be risking the lives we've saved so far as well as our own. However, if he really wanted to kill us, he'd have done it already. But if you think about it, for him to say all of this means he's confident he'll win. Dealing with a guy like that, we're fucked either way. There's no other options. Each one is just despair. Don't forget, we're not the only ones in this lab. Keisuke and Ryotaro are here too. And they're survivors we locked up. The majority and the minority, it's obvious. Is that so? Uh, I'm sorry, Ray. We're going in! Hi. I knew you'd say that. Oh, man. So, have you made your decision? Yes. Mock me whilst you still- Oh, mock me, mock me while you still can. This time, I'll definitely kill you. Ooh, scary! <laughs> He's so sassy, man. Slay, Kinjo. Slay! You got this, bro. Wait, I've not decided what I want to do yet. Well, actually, saying Slay to Kenjo is pretty dangerous, so maybe, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should cut back on that. You dare defy me, criminal! Shut up and follow us. Consider this an extension of your contract. An extra 20% on top of your initial payment. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Would suffice? A 30%. Uh, 25, nothing more. Both of you shut up. You're making my head hurt. You're gonna literally starve here, dude, if you don't go in there. Well, I think you're right. Anyways, there's no other way out of here, so let's get started. Good. First, bring Yuruko and Aroha here. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and change the stream title too, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to the sixth trial. I just wanted to wait until I was like 100% sure. That uh, sixth trial, maybe like begins. Do begins. Kind of doubt we're gonna get the whole thing. There we go. Good, first bring Yuruko and Aroha here. And take all three of them, including Shobai, back to their original connectors. Tsurugi Rei, use the spare connectors in the electrical room. I will guide you as soon as you enter the program. So let us meet again in Utsuroshima. <laughs> Specifically in Higa City. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> no, that's too far, Mikado. We're not meeting in Higa City. Are you really okay with this, Tsurugi? Yes, not like we have a choice. For the last time, we will end this. Call the crew. Bring in the survivors. This is a pretty, uh, 
<laughs> it's a pretty interesting trio, those three. What? No, director, you can't. This has to be some sort of trap. It'd be kind of nice if Keisuke and uh, Ryotaro went in as well. Because we haven't really gotten a whole lot of screen time of them, you know? We're fine. Just Let's just stay here and wait for help from HQ. No, I'll finish this right here and right now. Oh, man, I feel like Kinja's going to be dead by the end of this game. He's already in such bad shape, too. Man. God, are they going to give me an option? Like, bring back Utsuro and save Kinjo. But also destroy the world, Weeby. Or <laughs> to simp or not to simp. That's the question. <laughs> no, I'll finish this right here and right now. I will not accept anything else. I'll save them. Boss. I'm the leader of this foundation. I hope you don't regret this. Please, come back safely. Ryotaro, even you. It's okay, Keisuke. This is the last time we have to deal with this. Our void problem will end today. When this is all over, let's have dinner together. We're going to die! Hum. You don't know Mikado like I do. He's dangerous. We, we, we're done for. We're all going to die no matter what we do. We're going to die. Keisuke, Ryotaro, tie up this girl and put her in the canoe. Oh my god, you can't make me. Put some tape over her mouth, too. Jesus. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> oh, you're a go to. It's time. Let's go. Wait for us. You get to see Sora again, though, right? You're looking forward to that, right, girl? Probably. It's so funny that Aroha's made it through this whole killing game, even though she was, like, the stupidest, the stupidest character. Ray. What, psycho officer? It's been a long time. That's true. And what have you done in that time apart from tear down and destroy? Ugh, I'm sorry. I have nothing else to say. In the end, things went wrong, and I dragged you into this again. It's not- Aw, oh, her voice sounds so pretty, dude! It's not the first time. I'm used to this by now, so stop worrying yourself. I still need an explanation from you. I know. But if I don't calm down, we'll just be defeated. Uh, well, I'll be counting on you. I'll give you the explanation after the trial. Nothing bad will happen to me during. Don't worry. We're going in now. Oh, man. It is exciting. It's time to end this. Put an end to Danganronpa. Again. Oh, shit. You know, I kind of wonder what Lanouge uh, thinks of V3, too, now that I think about it. Because I don't think he plans on making a third game for this. Like a, you know, full-blown third game. I think I heard he might make, like, a spin-off, though, with, like, Nikkei or something. But don't quote me on that. I'm not totally sure. Ra. Aura. <gasps> Nikkei, Sora. Wake up, Sora! Yay! Oh, they're reunited again! Sora, are you okay? Uh, huh? Yuruko. Sora! Is it really you? So I'm not dreaming. Oh, I'm so glad they're reunited. I mean, I knew they would eventually, but I was like, uh, I don't know, kind of wondering if it was going to be like later, later down the line or something. Yeah. Oh, Sora! I'm so happy to see you again. Thank God. Yuruko, calm down. Aww. Oh, it's so cute. They get to hug again. I thought I'd never see you again. It all happened so sudden. There's still a lot I don't know and nothing's been resolved yet, but you're alive. You're alive and I found you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you again, Yuruko. Could you let me go first? I'm, I can't breathe. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to do it on purpose. I'm, I'm just so happy. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. After that, Yuruko seemed to calm down a little and walked back carefully. Arms, legs, head torso. Nothing looks to be out of the ordinary. But... Yeah. It's so interesting how she was able to, like, be... I guess it was just, like, her ghost or something that was outside of the program. No, it just felt like a long dream. I guess ghosts are canon in Danganronpa, now that I think about it. Uh, thank you to uh, Big Chunk of Rock. You always need one idiot to live in the end of the killing game. That's true, actually. <laughs> Basically every time. I guess Himiko might have been the idiot <laughs> for uh, V3. She wasn't as uh, dumb, I think, as like uh, some of the other ones, though. <laughs> Thanks, uh, 10 Live Gamings. For the gays! That's what they did it for, baby. Sora's gotta live for the gays. She has to get through for us. It all left. Felt like a long dream. Thank you for the donation, by the way. 
Like an unpleasant experience, moving in a body that's not yours. Probably because I found out the truth. No, it doesn't matter anymore. That'd be so, like, ugh. I don't know, weird and, like, horrifying to think about. That, like, you can only exist inside of this, like, program. Why am I still alive? Why have I returned to the virtual world? It's not too late to think about the future. But for now, let's focus on the present. Huh? What did you say? It's nothing. I'm just mumbling to myself. Rather, Yuruko, this is... It's the... Oh, thank God. It's the monikers. <laughs> thank God we're not in Higa City. Yes! Thank you, Jesus! It, it's the monikers. Don't worry, Weeby. We'll be sailing to Higa City in no time. I think I literally had a dream that, like, the last trial was held in Higa City, and I was, like, really upset about it. <laughs> Why are we back at the monikers? Monikers said it's possible to recover something if there's backup data for it, but no details. That's right. Yuruko, those people over there... Uh, uh, uh. What? It's them! Are you really her? Akane Tyra. Oh god, I'm excited to see their freaking, their freaking reactions. What are you doing in the virtual world? Just answer the question. Um, don't you already know the answer? You know more about me than I do. Even though it's just virtually, I never thought I'd see you again. Now I've answered your question, answer mine. Sarugi, Ray, why are you... No, it's not just you two. Yuriko's here too, why are you all back? Finally, they'd escaped this virtual hell and returned to the real world. Why the hell did you bring them back knowing everything Mikado has done to them? Sora, wait, we're here too! I've been waiting! Oh god. There he is- Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> I got chatified too, Weeby! You think Yuri is the only chat in this game? I, Mikado Sinoji, have a dream! A dream for divine luck! I will prove once and for all that I'm the biggest Utsuro simp! <laughs> um, what's wrong? Did nobody get my reference? After all the work it took to look this elegant, this is the reaction! Oh, is it a JoJo reference? Oh, okay, my bad. I, I still need to watch JoJo, man. I've only seen like a few episodes. Um, wasn't this spectacular? Oh, hey, Peanut. What's up, little guy? I don't know if you guys can see him. Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, this is so cute. He came out of the closet. Slay. Thank God, Peanut. <laughs> I was so worried about you. Wasn't this spectacular? Say something. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm simping disrespectfully. <laughs> <laughs> same. Honestly, same. <laughs> Thanks, x fun for being a member. Sheesh, that's it. I'm done. I was just going to try to lighten the mood and give a little atmosphere to this dull place. <laughs> Anyways, if this is your first time, welcome to Utsuroshima. And for those returning, welcome back to Utsuroshima. Well, I mean, it's not an island anymore. It's just a monocruise flying 5,000 meters in the sky. <laughs> this fucking face. I cannot get over it, dude. <laughs> 5,000 meters, the cruise is in the sky! Ah! What about it? This is a virtual world, so why not make the finale worthwhile? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you just chilling down there. What's up, Peanut? He probably wants to leave, honestly. <laughs> More importantly, Aroha, you're here? Of course I am! You called me here! I don't want to be here! I didn't want to go back! What'd you call them for? Mikado Sinoji, I've met your demands. I'm in the Neo World program now. Hand over Yuki Maida. Hand over Yuki Doogly. Where is he exactly? Oh, everybody's in such a fucking hurry. I'll just say what you're all thinking. I'll fix everything, so listen carefully. Before I begin, I will promise one more time. I swear to everyone here, if you follow my instructions as told, nobody will be harmed. That's a lie. You're definitely lying. I think I heard a little fly buzzing around. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. <laughs> Fuck you, Roy. Still hates a lot so much. <laughs> Thank you, Mars. Rainbow background. Slade Mikado. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was a nice background, wasn't it? Oh man. Thank you for the dono, Mars. And thank you, uh, Sentient Piece of Cheese. Mikado's theme music is lit. It honestly is. It is pretty good. Maybe I should turn it down though. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. I think, uh, I think the way the music is right now is probably okay. Maybe I can turn it up a little bit more. Do, do, do. Kind of reminds me of like Persona 5 music a little bit. Do, 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 do. 
Oh god, that does mean it might be copyright, though. Let me turn it down. Sorry, Mikado. <laughs> Thanks for donating, by the way. I think I heard a little fly buzzing around. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. There's only one reason I called you. To start another class trial. Class trial? It's been a while since I've heard that name. Sora, Hiruko, and Aroha have correctly heard the explanation of my plan. Correct? That's simply it. We just need to finish what we started and clear the class trial. Simple. Wait, all the trials before have been to find the culprit of the murder. Where's the body? In the corridor? Um, I already explained this to Sora, but this court session will be a little different. Some things are going to change. In the final class trial, we will discuss the truth of it all. My plan, Void's plan and divine luck. You will solve all the riddles I've laid before you. How would it benefit you to let us do that? It's not important. Uh, all that is important is that you do it! <laughs> I was asking the same question I asked last stream. How does that benefit us at all? It's not important, just fucking do it, okay? It's the finale. Damn it, Kenjo. Stop being cringe. After all, it's a class trial. There should be some discussion, right? What a mess. Also, since we have our two guests joining... Oh, God damn it. I, I'll add something about Teru- I thought I was gonna say add Teruya. Damn it, stop- Stop teasing me! I'll add something about Teruya, too. Huh? Why did you mention Teruya? Oh, our two guests wouldn't know. But the last class trial, well, they couldn't find the culprit. What? My dear Teruya! My husband, no. Unfortunately, he was made the victim of the last murder case just before the Foundation arrived. The executions of the Spotless was stopped due to their intrusion. We still don't know the identity of the cruel, savage criminal who killed Teruya. Wouldn't you like to find- I mean, it was you, homie! That was why we all got murdered, right? And, uh, oh, thank you, Marcy. Kinjo has a roach spray called Criminal Repellent. <laughs> Just sprays it at all the people he dislikes, too. <laughs> I got the spray uh, right in Mikado's face. Thank you, uh, Mikado Chunk of Rock. Mikado's still using rainbows to disrespect to. Oh, no! For real, dude. For real. He can never stop. Thank you, Jeff. Mikado stole your heart. Maybe, maybe City got them all. Oh, my God. That's all he had to do for me to stand him. That he finally got rid of Mitch City. Thank you, Isaac. Mikado's theme is called A Day in Certain Detective Agency from Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Oh, okay, cool. It's a really dope song. I like it. It kind of does remind me of, like, Persona a little bit. I could feel like I could see myself, like, running through a palace with the song. Thanks for the dono. Thank you, someone unknown. Our Yuki never met Kinjo. Kinjo will be heartbroken. Don't you remember me, bestie? No. <laughs> Tell me it ain't so. Hey, Pina. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Who's gonna get in front of the screen and block the donation messages? Oh, my goodness. This is why I've always kicked you out, Pina, when uh, <laughs> I was streaming before. I can't read the donation messages because Peanut's in front of the screen. <laughs> What's up, little guy? <laughs> Wait, go down a little bit, Peanut. Go down a little bit. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read some donation messages, little guy. Let's see if I can get, I can show them to you guys. Wish up, wish up, Peanut. Say hey to everybody, huh? He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, why are you, why are you showing me these people? He's like, I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know these people. <laughs> okay, let me fix my camera. Oh my goodness, <laughs> a little nut. He's such a little cutie pie. He's kind of, he's kind of a troublemaker though. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. This boy, I finally get to watch live. Anyway, slay Kenjo. That's kind of, that's a dangerous game you're playing. Maybe don't tell Kenjo to slay. It's a dangerous, dangerous game you're playing right there. So I said it earlier and I was like, maybe I shouldn't should say that. Thanks, Mars. Um, Mikado probably plays Fortnite or something. So true. So true. <laughs> oh my god, thick. <laughs> Peanut is really thick. We're trying to put him on a diet. But he don't listen. He don't want to go on a diet. He don't want to go on a diet, huh? He just want to eat. <laughs> Let's see if I get him on those little cat wheels or something so I can try to lose some weight. Oh my goodness, Peanut. Who's so cute. Who's gonna stop the stream? Oh my goodness. How's Milo? Milo's doing good. He's just a even bigger troublemaker, so he cannot be <laughs> he cannot be in the stream for very long. <laughs> we still don't know the identity of the cruel savage criminal who killed Teruya. Wouldn't you like to find out? That's ridiculous. You're the one who killed Teruya. I know, that was just a joke. A joke, you damn. There's no reason to discuss it, but since I have an agreement with the Kizaragi Foundation, consider it a bonus. So in addition to discussing the truth, we can also talk about the death of Teruya. Now it's like a real class trial! About the Foundation guys, and I don't know anything about Teruya's case. 
Don't worry, it will not just be a random discussion. Don't you know, there's always an investigation time before a class trial. Do we already do that, though? So that means... Yes, in order to make up for the lack of knowledge in this trial. Oh. Oh, there's another investigation? Oh, shit. Okay, wow. We definitely aren't gonna... Maybe I should change the name of the stream again. There's another investigation? Jesus. I've been various clues throughout the monocruz. You thought you were getting to the trial, Weeby. How cute. How cute. Oh, uh, thank you, Gamer Bro. Mikado tore down Higa City. Just so he- Oh, sh fuck you! Can't read it out! <laughs> no! The disrespect! The fucking disrespect! <laughs> Just so he can build Meebee City instead. Damn it! <laughs> I'm being bullied! I'm so tired of being bullied! <laughs> Mars, Mikado's the biggest Meebee shipper. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I am being bullied by my own fans. This needs to stop. I'm calling the cyber police. Peanut, go get them. Go attack them, Peanut. They're bullying your mom right now. <laughs> Peanut's like, whenever I ship me too. No, Peanut, don't say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Peanut. Say it ain't so. Oh, man, you guys are too funny. <laughs> so you can all just investigate as usual. Okay, I guess I'll change the name of the stream again in a second. Um... Originally, I decided to let Monochrome make the announcements. Also, we have luxury guests added to our roster. This will make for a beautiful ending. So go through the Monochrome and find all the clues. Due to the absence of Monochrome, after a certain amount of time, I will do the announcement instead. That's all for, uh, for me explanation. I'm a pirate now. Does anybody else have any questions? Wait, human garbage. Where is Yuki? Where's my little Yuki Dookily? Oh, right, Yuki. Is this a new spray? No, I think maybe he did it like one time. Suruki, you've all- you <laughs> Yes! Yes! Based Mikado, dude! Based! So, oh my god, finally I'm being affirmed after like 40 episodes of both these games. Surugi, you're always talking about Yuki. Could he be the love of your life? <laughs> Yes! Yes, he is! <laughs> it's okay, Kenjo. You can admit it. We all know it's true. We all know it's true, best boy. <laughs> Say that again and I'll fucking kill you. Oh, wow. Mikado's so based. I might have to stand, dude. He destroyed Higa City and he ships Kenjo and Yuki. Wow. Wow, based. Based king, dude. <laughs> I gotta say. I gotta say. Oh, man. Thank you, uh, Justin, for the donation. Kinjo is sentencing a five-year-old to death because he stole a candy bar. <laughs> yeah, basically. Basically, that's our little Kinjo. That's our little Sarugi Woogly. Thank you, Dalby Diaga. Peanuts kidding my rebelling against mom. <laughs> oh, my God. That, or May. Yeah, May. Rebelling against mom. That's so... Damn it. That's so sad. That's so sad. But I was supposed to be the May Kinney Peanut, not you. Oh, he looks so cute right now. I wish you guys could see him. And thank you, Mars, Mikado W, for real. Classic, classic Mikado W. <laughs> thank you, Swiggly News. Finally, my reunion arc. Come here, Yuki Dookly. I know, I'm so excited. Thank you, Justin. Yuki and Kinjo getting married in Kinjo City. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Kinjo, my city. Let's do it, Slay. Don't be so scared. Uh, a second wedding today, guys. Don't be scared. You do not have to worry. Yuki isn't going to be running away anywhere. In fact, it would be impossible for him to escape. What do you mean? Didn't I tell Sora and the others? I took Yuki's mind out and placed it somewhere else. Oh, Jesus. What? Not that he did anything wrong, but he's in the trial grounds. Of course, he's alive and in stable condition. If you want to see Yuki that bad, you can always skip the investigation and head straight to the tower kinder just like darts off. <laughs> he didn't say no. True. True. Everything you're after, all in one room. Almost half expect to see his little sprite just like dash out of the room. No more questions of going to Yugi. Everybody is finally quiet. Are there any more questions? If there's no more questions, let's get started. This will be the class trial that ends everything. Oh, and including the guests, there's six people here. There might be much to discuss amongst the people you might not have spoken to before. And there could even be some bad blood between some of you. But you must be certain that you are not enemies. At least not until the trial is concluded. 
Everybody's combined strength will be your greatest weapon to clear the trial. I can't wait to see the shining stepping stone of hope. I think you are all seasoned in class trials, so I'm sure you already know this. You talk too much. Can I just go now? Oh, what I mean to say is that you should all come together to fight my great despair. It cannot be done if you are all being cautious about each other. You must fight together to the end. Hey, Peanut. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, Peanut. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to kick you out, huh? Huh, little guy? Now he's covering up the game screen. Slay, Peanut. Don't slay. Don't slay. He's gonna press on, like, the kill switch on my computer. Don't slay, Peanut. <laughs> okay. Let me read some of these donos, too. Uh, thank you, Aman, Mikado. You never even met the real Yuki. Why do you care about him so much? Kinjo starts shooting. <laughs> I know, right? He, he did not say no, though. He did not refute the claim. He just said he would kill him because he's embarrassed, okay? Exactly, Mars. Kinjo's just a tsundere. That's, that is exactly right. That's why he acted like that. I think you typical fangirl. You don't have to be shy, Kinjo. We won't judge. It's okay, Kinjo. You can come out of the closet. We supported Peanut, and we support you. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like six investigation continues. I don't know. Or maybe I want to, uh, man, I want to title it like Cringo or something, but I guess that's kind of a spoiler. Uh. Now, as Shobai said, we've been talking too long. Let's get started right away. There's no time limit for your investigation. Do your best to investigate. I'll call you when you're ready. I wish you a good fight. See you later. Oh man, more information dumping. I feel like my brain's already so fried from the last, the last chapter. <laughs> he just admitted it. He's a great despair. After all, he's that kind of person. The last class trial. Everything we're after is in the trial grounds. I don't know why all this happened, but I have to find the truth and escape this place. We've come this far. So, let's go, Ray. Wait, Sarugi. Uh, I'm not talking to you, filthy criminal fucking scum. Hey, are your legs okay? The wheelchair you had before isn't here. Is it because of the virtual world? I guess that makes sense. Uh, get, is this dirty criminal talking to me? Ray, come here, be my translator. Sarugi? I'm not going to agree with Mikado, but I do think we should all work together. There's something you should know. I still don't know why Mikado is letting us do this, but he's still out there. Things are going just as, as he expected, because his plan is almost finished. He's way too confident. His pride is going through the roof. That's why. It will take our combined power to be able to beat Mikado. He does seem super duper cocky. What are you talking about? Huh? Maybe the others, but I have nothing to say to you. Do you really think you're in the same position as the others? Even though they're all dirty fucking criminals too, especially Yuruko. You are nothing more than the ghost of a Kane Tyra. You'll disappear along with this ver- God, it's fucking cringe. Dude. He's so mean. He's so mean, man. You'll disappear along with this virtual world. Oh, God. Why did you just say- Yeah, get him, wife! Why should I speak to a ghost? You are a criminal. Criminals always lose in the end. If you understand, do not speak to any of us again. If you're planning on investigating, do it yourself. Sarugi. What's wrong, what, Ray? Are you sympathizing with the words of a dead person? I didn't... I didn't say that. But... But what? Uh, come on, Ray. I don't know. I think we should talk here. Let's talk whilst we investigate. I understand, like, why Kinjo reverted back to, like, his old kind of morality from, like, the six uh, trial. It's a shame that he did, like, from the last six trial, I mean. But, man, I kind of wish, like, I wish Teruya and Ray and Teruya and, um, yeah, Teruya and Ray could have, like, helped, I don't know, get him back to his old, or, like, not his old, but, like, his improved moral compass. I wish they could have helped fix him because it really does just seem like he's 100% back, like, uh, to how he was before. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. To Makrodon. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be Makado? <laughs> Makrodon. <laughs> Makrodon. <laughs> That's his new canon name. You've already created this. Shut up, Nagato Stan. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious though. Thank you for the dono. Thank you, downbeat Dialga. It's effed up that Krinjo will dive in to save Yuki, but he didn't save Ray's boo. Oh, I know. Save Teruya. He may is in love with Yuki, dude. I'm not even. It's just fucking canon at this point. I kind of want to hear Lelouch's comments on it. Honestly, I feel like he probably had that in mind. Thank you, shucks. Weeby, slay, peanut. Okay, press his power. I would not be shocked, honestly. I might need to let him out of the room, honestly, here in a second. I think he's ready to ready to leave. You're ready to leave? You're not getting enough attention, huh, Peanut? That's so sad. That's so sad, but the chat loves you, Peanut. <laughs> but I uh, think shocks for the uh, don't know. Okay, let me... Um... Oh, wait. Did I... I think I missed one still. Um... Thank you, uh, Big Chicka Rock. The real re reason why Mikado asked for Kinjo to come into the virtual world is because he is a Kinjo ex <laughs> Okay, base to Mikado, same. That's like, that would be my villain arc, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Thank you, Mars. Cringer said, don't let your emotions get in the way to Ray, then does this. Oh my god, for real. For real. Cringo moment. I, I love Kinjo, but man, like, I love him because he's such a flawed character. It's kind of, it's hard, you know? It's, it's like, he's a flawed character who pisses me off sometimes, but I love him because of that, you know? It's, it's a weird dynamic. No, I don't think we should talk here. Let's talk whilst we investigate. Hey, director, I'm going it alone. It'll help us get the most information, yeah? Be a good- if I can, Be a good tool and get information for its master. Oh my god! Get out quick! <laughs> good old Kenjo! Just like I remember him. Come on, Ray. Yeah... Wait, you! Um... Um, it's scary to group together. Um... Well... I'm gonna leave too, since I'm literally like a traitor or some shit, so I guess it's just you guys again. At least it's your wedding day! Sorry about dying or whatever, Sora, that sucks. Sora... Um... Sora, are you even listening? Uh huh? Oh, Yuruko, you you haven't left yet? I thought you wanted to go together! No, I didn't mean it like that. I thought you'd go investigate Solo as well. I want to go with you. Queen. Fucking queen. Maybe Sarugi's right. I'm just the ghost of Akane Taira. Even if we get out of here, I probably can't come with you. Yuruko, you saw it too. The state of my body in the real world. Um... It's only natural for everyone to avoid me. Yuruko, I don't think it's good for you to be with me. D don't break up with me, okay? Don't worry about the idiot's words. What? I came to see you because I wanted to, and I will say she literally wanted to come back in just to see her. Of course for Yuki, too. I haven't heard about your past in detail yet, Sora. Even if you don't 100% know. That's not important right now. We have to focus on what's ahead of us. Don't worry, I can fix you no matter what you did. But when this is over... Don't think about the results! Nobody can predict the future. You can't keep focusing on the results when the process hasn't happened yet. Or would you rather just give up? Ugh. I can't, no. Obviously, there must be a reason for Mikado to do another class trial. That's why we have to stop him. Yeah, I know. But how do we do that? We need to investigate. Mikado himself is giving us clues. It might be a trap. No, knowing that it's a trap, we might- We have to take the bait and still fight somehow. Yeah, that's it. So stop feeling sorry for yourself and turn that frown upside down. I- I guess. Thank you, Yuruko. You're always there for me. It's nothing. It's normal to help your friends. Ah, oh, she's so freaking cute. Yuruko, you're a very reliable- You're very reliable as an adult. <laughs> I've always been an adult. I just lost my memory. You really have the power to move people's hearts. I now realize why you are considered as a symbol of hope for the next generation. Cut it out. It's embarrassing. I, I do too, dude. Yeah, her counseling abilities. Man, she's really good at that. She is super good at that. Thank you, uh, Downbeat Dialga. Criminals always lose. How about criminal negligence? Like not saving someone you could have? Okay, I'll stop now. Just, I know, man, Teruya. I know. I'm so upset too about that. Like, it's so sad. 
I just feel so bad too because Teruya really loved Kenjo, like, or he really looked up to him and like respected him so much. Thank you, uh, Marcy. Woohoo, Sarugi! I know, I love Sarugi. I can never, God, I freaking love him so much, even though he's so problematic. But then that's why I love him. It's just a cycle. Thank you, uh, Jeff. Mikado supports your ships to increase like a pillar. Anyway, like, now he's in my top five favorite characters just because he's a simp, just like me. Oh, man, thanks for the don't know, Jeff. Cut it out, it's embarrassing. Yeah, all we have to do now is stop Mikado's plan. Are you ready, Yuriko? Yeah. Aw, freaking Yuriko is so precious. Akane Tyra, the Kizaragi Foundation, Kinjo and Rei, my past sins. It's inevitable. They've all come together. The final class trial. Everything will be decided then. For now, I need to focus on that. We have to prepare for the end. Oh, man. That's the reason I'm back. I'm back, baby! Investigation two, start. More, God, we already have so much freaking uh, info. It's like, oh gosh, well at least, man, I gotta, I gotta look through these bullets. It's like, how many bullets do we have already? Okay, we still have a few more. Maybe we can start the trial then today. I guess we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, only six more. I guess it depends on how many cutscenes there is uh, or surrounding it or whatever. I guess we'll see. But uh, I'm probably going to go to the bathroom really quickly and also kick Peanut out because he's been, um, <laughs> whatchamacallit, <laughs> he's been kind of, okay, so it's save 29. I'll just have to remember that for that other save. I guess we can always do the Utsuro uh, choice later too, maybe before the stream ends as well. And uh, thank you, Mars. I gotta go, Weeby. See you in the VOD and wish you a happy stream. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by. And I still love your little profile picture. He looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom there really quickly. And then um, we will continue the investigation. Let me just mute it really quickly, just in case. I don't know, YouTube gets mad at me again. And let me kick Peanut out, because, yeah, he's gonna... Oh, wait, did he go back? No, he's not in the closet anymore. Hey, buddy! <laughs> okay, let me get Peanut out, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> also, Peanut wanted to leave anyways. I'm pretty sure that was why I kept coming up here to, like, uh, <laughs> check up on me. Or, uh, you know, get in front of the screen and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm back, though. I'm glad you guys got to see Peanut, too. He's so cute. He's such an adorable little guy. Everybody's simping for the chair. It's like, man, I think I'm the only streamer who has, uh, whose chair has more <laughs> simps. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, did I miss any donos? 
Here we go. Thank you, uh, Strictly News. I hope Kenjo gives his thoughts about. Oh God, <laughs> his thoughts about Kanade. I'm. Just... <laughs> oh God, I would love to see his thoughts about Kanade, man. I would love to see that. Thank you, Ongaku Sakano. When Sora said she was back, I suddenly thought of her popping and locking to Backstreet's back. <laughs> Sora's back, back again. Oh my God, that's perfect. She is a popping and locking queen. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf Allen. We be help. They're simping over a chair again. They always do that. There's also simping for the keyboard, I think, this time. Man, y'all can't even see the keyboard that well, and y'all are still simping. Poor Fan Chan gets no, no simping whatsoever. Thanks for the donut, Wolf Allen. Thank you, Justin. Kendra trying to flirt with someone. Hey, girl, I shot your boyfriend to death because he stole my pencil. <laughs> it would work on me. It would work on me, okay? Oh, man. Okay, so it seems like uh, we're all back and ready to go. I guess we'll see. Um, I guess we'll see how long this uh, investigation is. What's up, Yuriko? Yuriko, before we start investigating, I have something I want to ask you. Oh, what a coincidence. I have something to ask you as well. I'll let you go first. Put the music back on, right? Okay, cool. Let me I might be able to turn it back up a little bit again. Do like there. I'll let you go. F I'll let you go first. No, no, you go. You spoke first after all. If it's okay, uh, awkward girlfriends. Obviously, we still have the information we gained from the people who died at the Singularities with Monocro. And Mikado led us to the entrance of the trial grounds. Yeah. Suddenly, we lost consciousness, and when we woke up, we were on the Monocruise, right? Iroha said. Mikado called us. Could you tell me what happened between the Kizaragi Foundation to make them come back here? Um, for you to know that, Sora, did you go to the real world too? The real world, eh, kind of. Oh yeah, she could actually tell her about that sad moment too when she like literally phased through, phased through Yuruko. I don't know. My memories are still a bit vague and hazy. That's why I want to clarify with you, Yuruko. I couldn't hear anything that happened outside. However, from the context of the situation, it seems that the Kizaragi Foundation deactivated the virtual world from the outside. Something similar happened at the end of the fifth trial. During the execution, when we were all about to die, everything was interrupted. Yeah, and when I opened my eyes, there was a lot of strange machinery. We were in a lab and there was capsules. I was lying there. So that's it. If you left the virtual world safely, then why did you all come back? Mikado came back. What? I don't know the details, but I heard it when I was heading out of the lab with the Kizaragi Foundation members. Wasn't... They were, like, implying to you that there was, like, almost like a traitor or something that brought him back, you know what I mean? So, like... Ah, uh, it seems like... Because I would assume it's, like, not Kinjo or Rei, you know? It's probably, like, one of the other people, like, maybe Ryotaro or... Um, Keisuke, or like one of the other soldiers, maybe one of the other soldiers, and just kind of like thinking of them as being the traitors since they actually have faces, you know what I mean? But um, I feel like if somebody is like kind of trying to help Mikado from the outside, like what Shobai was implying, then I feel like we're in a really bad um, situation, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. <laughs> Honestly. Thank you, uh, Ray Lynn. Have to crash. Have a great rest of the stream. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good uh, good nap or uh, sleep. Thanks, Amon. Fan Chan put in work over summer <laughs> sims. That's true. God, my room gets so freaking hot, dude. It's like unbearable in the summer. I'm so glad it's almost or kind of fall now ish. And uh, thanks for the donation. Appreciate it. I don't know their, I don't know the details, but I heard it when it, when I was heading out of the lab with the Kizaragi Foundation members. Suddenly the door was closed, and then I heard Mikado's voice. Huh. Mikado woke up in the real world. No, I don't think that was the case. First of all, I didn't see if Mikado was alive in the lab or if he was somewhere else. Yeah, it was like we never even saw his, like, body, I don't think. Anyways, it seems that the laboratory door was built like a shelter, so it can't be broken from the inside. That's when I heard Mikado's voice. So we asked Rei and Tsurugi to come to the virtual world. Yeah, otherwise the door wouldn't open, since he could control the lab's facilities at will. That's all I know. I was also arrested by a member of the Kizaragi Foundation, so I couldn't hear the full conversation. What? Arrested? They better not have done anything weird. 
No, 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 I'm fine. I was just handcuffed. Beat their asses, Sora. They handcuffed you? I won't forgive them. Give them. How dare they? Shut up, Sora, I'm fine. Now it's my turn to ask. Sora, what did you do in the past? Yuruko, you were able to see the state of my body in the real world. Um, um, how did you know that I saw your body in the real world? Not just that. How would you know about the state of your own body in the real world? If you weren't awake in reality. Um, Sora, a man from the Future Foundation said something to me. That the only survivors of the killing game were Aroha and myself. He didn't even mention you, Yuki, or Mikado. What is it? Did something happen that I don't know about? Yeah, I was like, Yuki too. He's probably still in the lab. They're just not able to wake him up? I don't remember. Did we see his body? I don't think so. To answer that question, it's like you said, Yuruko. I saw it. I saw my body in the real world. I saw my own immobile body. I don't know how to explain, but... I experienced an out-of-body experience, literally. Only my conscience escaped the insides of my body. It was like observing my own body through somebody else's eyes. That's it! It wasn't that realistic, so I thought it was just streaming. But I knew it was true as soon as I heard you say that. So, is it true, Sora? Are you really dead in the real world? I... Uh, Pretty sure. They couldn't find Yuki's body. Okay, I couldn't really remember exactly. I don't know. If I were really dead, it would be ridiculous if something like that could happen. One of the Foundation members used the phrase, only the body is alive. A state of brain dead, even if the brain itself is dead. The virtual world is supposed to connect to the brain. So technically, technically it might be a lot. That means the brain is somewhat not dead, you know what I mean? If it's connecting to the virtual world, right? Doesn't matter. What? Whether I'm alive or dead, what matters is, this, is that I can move right now. It's like basically dead, but there is hope for her to come back to life. So maybe she will at some point. Uh, I mean, it's so sad because she's not really going to be able to have like a normal life anyways. If she goes back because she was a Connie Tyra and she did help with the killing game for the last game. And she needs to repent and all that. But, you know, you know. It says you said, Yuruko, my body doesn't matter at the moment. No. But Sora... Yuruko, I'm fine. It's better thinking about that when this is all over. Have you forgotten? Yuruko, we can't keep paying attention to unknown results. Ah, uh, all right. For now, let's focus on investigating. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Am I just turning away from reality? I know what happened, don't I? What happened to me? Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, knowing about it won't change anything. This is avoiding it. I just need to hold it in for a little while longer. I'll do it. Yay, truth updated. Okay, the Akane Tyra bullet. Oh, I guess we might be updating some of the old bullets anyways. Sorry, it doesn't seem like there's any more clues. Let's go to the hallway. Everyone else seems to be investigating separately, so let's hurry. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and save again, just in case. Just in case. I'm, you know, a little paranoid, so it's whatever. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> it's all glitched out now too. Oh my gosh, this freaking moniker is so big. I guess, I guess most of the doors where there's no clues, there won't be like a what should I call it? I guess this is where we just were, right? The diner? Or no, no, no. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Nikkei? <laughs> Uh, what's this? An AK doll? Something definitely has a horrible. Someone definitely has a horrible sense of humor. <laughs> oh, my cute little AK doll. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. You are so fucked up, Mikado. Hello, nice to meet all of you. Ah! <laughs> it talked. Oh my god. I am trash. Please use me as a punching bag. Guys, he's really bad, guys. Oh my god. That is exactly what Nikkei would say. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that he's that he's truly come back from the dead. Oh my god, dude. Thank you, um, uh, Big Chicka Rock, too. Sora, how dare they handcuff Yuruko? Nobody's allowed to handcuff Yuruko. Oh, except for me, and I've got... And I'd only do it when- Shut up, Sora! DMI! 
I'm dead. I'm dead. That's so funny. Thank you for the dono. <laughs> Fucking Mikado, dude. I am trash. Please use me as a punching bag. What's with this horrid doll? Looks like Mikado made it. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, you're so noisy. Just shut up. A shake is gonna hit it. Oh, God. Are you really hitting him? That's exactly what it wants. It's not because it told me to. It's just because it looks like Nikkei. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Oh. The great Mikado Sanoji. <laughs> the great, the great, the amazing, the beautiful, the sexy. Mikado Sanoji lost his parents when he was just a baby. He spent his life in an orphanage. But he suddenly started talking. <laughs> Allow me to trauma dump for Mikado on his behalf. Nobody knew where his parents went. The great Mikado didn't know if they had died or just simply abandoned him. The only thing he was sure of was that he has no parents and that he was growing up in an orphanage. What's this, Mikado's trauma dump? <laughs> I don't want to hear or know about that monster's past. Why is Nikkei narrating it? It was so sad. Nobody understands poor little Mikado Avocado. And everybody was just jealous of his beauty. <laughs> it's like so obvious that Mikado just like freaking wrote this script. <laughs> oh God, he is rolling in his grave. I know, dude. <laughs> God, he would be so pissed off. Good to see his little hand being all pissed off in, uh, in Void Theater right now. Oh, thank you, Epta. Fuck happened to Nikkei News. What do you mean? I am perfectly normal, Epta. <laughs> This is me, Nikkei News. I have always been like this. Thank you, Justin. What weird Mikado fantasy did I just walk in on? Ah, uh, you know, the, the, us <laughs> the usual Mikado fantasy. Damn, Mikado's pulling a year to die here. Oh my god, for real with the dolls. That's so true. Thank you, Ryan. And uh, thank you, Jeff. Yuriko, I always knew that Nikkei was a Discord bot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta add a Discord bot as Nikkei. I don't care what the re what his use is. We just have to, we just have to have him in there now. That's perfect. Oh, thank you, uh, Big Chunk of Rock, for the donation. But yeah, please do remember, no, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, spoilers, hints, or theories in chat. And yeah, nothing uh, too suggestive either. We should, listen, we might learn something important. <laughs> oh my goodness. The great Mikado, who grew up in an orphanage, was disinterested in life itself. The nursery- oh my god, I see the floor master, for real. The nursery teacher took care of all the children with care. But the great- the great- just has to say the great in front of every time he mentions Mikado. The great Mikado lived his day-to-day -day life without purpose. He had no dreams, no aspirations. Until one day, in late fall, when the cool breeze began to hit, somebody left a burning cigarette, which began to blow towards the orphanage. Oh, it began to go up in flames and spread to the entirety of the orphanage, which was made entirely of wood. Due to the dry surrounding climate and nearby mountains, the fire quickly covered the entire orphanage. Many people were burnt to death. Okay. When some of the survivors cried out for help, desperate to live, the great Mikado, <laughs> the great Mikado did nothing. <laughs> Although he was young, he lacked emotions. He had no intention of fighting to survive, or even the urge to. He does seem like uh, he was very similar to Utsuro, though, personality-wise. It was then that Mikado encountered that person. It's like, oh, you also like, oh my god, you also don't care about watching the people burn to death? Me too, bestie! That person. It must be referring to Master Utsuro. Without even revealing his name, he approached the orphanage. Then suddenly, heavy rain began to fall. The fierce fire was quickly extinguished. Everybody was in awe of the miracle that just happened before them. They rejoiced in happiness. It was only the great Mikado who noticed that person. He could feel that that person saved their lives. Mikado felt an intense rush of emotion that he'd never felt before in his whole life for a person who looked no older than he was. Okay, so like the same age. But then he suddenly disappeared as if nothing had ever happened. No matter how much Mikado looked, he couldn't find that person. I like how they still call him that person, even though we all know it's Utsuro. And no spoilers still. Ever since that day, the great Mikado had a purpose and will for his life. He wanted to meet the person who saved his life again, even if it was just for a second. It wasn't to say thank you. It wasn't even related to that incident. 
the great, the great Mikado was only interested in the existence of the person himself. He had become a simp. He didn't know why, but he felt a strong desire to meet that person again. Some time had passed, and he still had no clue of the whereabouts of that person, which was expected since he didn't know his name. That's when the great Mikado decided the great Mikado decided something. If the same situation happened at the orphanage a second time, would he appear? Oh god. <laughs> oh god, I see where this is going. Would he be appear before him again? Who cares if a few children have to die? <laughs> Kutaro can't eat much, Mikado. Mikado had made his decision. He decided to carry out his plan on a dry and windy day, just, in it, just as it had been last time. I wonder what he plans on doing. The great Mikado sprayed the pre-prepared gasoline all over the orphanage, causing a fire once more. Jesus Christ, Mikado. Is this supposed to make us feel bad for you? Because it's not working. What? Um... You heard that, right? Did he just say that Mikado set it on fire? So, he's been this sociopathic since he was a child. He really is insane. What the hell is he? Even though it's horrible, we should listen to the end. We might learn more. It did not happen a second time. <laughs> that is that is so sad. God, I feel so bad for Mikado in this situation. He's the true victim. <laughs> Due to the gasoline, the fire was more vigorous than the last time. As a countermeasure against the fi future fires, the orphanage removed the wood and rebuilt the building using new material. Oh, that's good at least. But it didn't matter. Even if it rained, it would be enough to put out the fire. The inside of the building was filled with the scr- <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mikado, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> was filled with the screams of despair. Mikado's heart was rejoicing. Was, was rejoiced with happiness. <laughs> Look at Mikado. He's like, you know, we knew it would be a trauma dump, but I didn't say it would be my trauma that I was dumping. It's more the trauma of the little innocent children that I murdered. I was perfectly happy. I was having a great time. Oh, thank you, Shucks. And a case spoiled too much in Chapter 4. Look what happened to him. This is what happens, guys, when you spoil in chat. You turn into a... a Floor master and decay dummy. <laughs> oh my god. Are you coming? I'm sure you will this time. You'll perform to us all a far greater miracle. As the fire grew stronger, Mikado's expectations did as well. However, no matter how much time passed, the fire didn't go out. Only then, Mikado realized that something was wrong. In the previous fire, he was not afraid of dying because he simply had no reason to live. But this time was different. The great Mikado had a purpose in life, the reason he implemented his plan. Realizing that, Mikado was trapped in an invisible fear. I don't want to die! I can't die until I see Utsuro again! It was at that moment that his whole body was engulfed in flames. Uh, that's enough! I d Stop spoiling! Oh wait, oh! Ah! Oh my god! To be so dramatic about it, infinity and limited flame. What's that from? That's from something, right? What? What's that from? Infinity and limited flame. Oh, is that just a? Oh, that's what Gundam says. Oh my god, <laughs> that's what it's from. See, I'm a Gundam kitty. I can't be bad. I I U F. What? The Nikkei inspired doll never got to finish his story. It was interrupted by a sudden Mikado who appeared and destroyed the Nikkei doll instantly. The weird Nikkei doll was shattered in a bizarre way. <laughs> You're just supposed to talk about other people's trauma, not my trauma, Nikkei, you freaking douche! It's a shame to hear the story of your past again. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you all, I'm sorry. What did you just do? Is that the end of the story? Why did you destroy the doll? There was more behind the story, but I was too embarrassed to continue when I was programming for it. The Nikkei doll was only made to be destroyed from the beginning anyways. It's a good stress relief. It's just like all Nikkei dolls spread throughout. And Nikkei died yet again. What's that? Like the third time now? He died as a hand. He died as a person and now as a robot. You're insane, completely insane. I knew it from the first day I met you. You set yourself on fire for an idiotic reason like that. You're fucking crazy. 
I admit it, it wasn't the smartest move. However, I was still young at the time. I was literally a neurotypical and a minor. Okay, Yuruko. I wish you had burnt to death. Is that supposed to be a clue or what? Just the right amount of crazy for you. Well, I'll tell you the rest of the story myself. It'll help save a lot of time. In the second, in the second fire, what happened to you? Can't you see for yourself? I'm alive! I wouldn't be here if I wasn't, don't you think? Did end up, did end up meeting him, Utsuro. How did you survive the fire? Um, it was a fascinating sight. The flames suddenly extinguished. What do you mean suddenly? That is, I do not know. What? Don't you know the gasoline fire can be extinguished using ordinary fire? That's common knowledge. On the other hand, adding water should only make it stronger. During the first fire, there was rain. Of course, it didn't make sense since there was no forecast for it. The second fire was made using gasoline, so rain would be impossible to put out this time. That is why I was looking forward to it. I wanted to see how they would put out the fire when you could not use rain. It seemed impossible, but the result far exceeded my expectations. Oh, that smile, dude. Oh, thank you, uh, Jeff. Dot, I am calling for you. Dark Devas of Destruction. Oh my god, we'll have the Mikado bot too. Per perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the donor, by the way. The fire suddenly just went out, quite literally. No signs of anything, no scientific basis. He just used his bullshit powers for real. That's ridiculous. Fire never goes out that suddenly. Something must have happened. But it's true, the fire went out for seemingly no reason. Sora, surely you understand the irrational phenomenon that is the power of divine luck. Are you trying to empathize with me? Regardless, I was saved by him twice before. How many times were you saved by him, huh, Sora slash Akane? I'm unsure as to why Master Utsuro went to the same place twice, but it must be because he loves me. Perhaps my willpower was so powerful that I miraculously reached him somehow. Don't talk sh such shit. Like the last time, Master Utsuro quietly disappeared. After experiencing that ridiculous power, I decided something that day. My life is dedicated to Master Utsuro. So you've been following Utsuro since you were a child. He is the one who leaves no traces behind. Thanks to that, it was extremely difficult to track him down. I even learned how to hack with the hopes of finding him in the near future. You're a hacker? <laughs> What's the easiest and quickest way to collect information? Using networking, correct? Hacker man Mikado? I think you have shocks. Instead of four Dark Davis of Destruction, Mikado has four vile voids of vengeance. Oh, nice. That's good. That's a good one. Thanks for the uh, dono, by the way. What's the easiest and quickest way to collect information? Using networking, correct? I learned about computing to find the whereabouts of Master Utsuro and desperately collected information about him. Did you find him? Um, no. No matter how hard I searched the databases, even and checked all the CCTV footage, he was always one step ahead and always, always one step behind. And if I somehow found Master Utsuro's whereabouts, he was already gone by the time I got there. It, it's almost like he was avoiding you. I wonder why. A hacker? I know I was thinking about Sohiyori too. It was like he was literally a hacker man as well. Thank you, Amon. Uh, Sora, I survived the tragedy with Utsuro, so a lot. <laughs> for real, true. Thanks for the dono, by the way. Man, poor Nikkei robot. I miss him already. Li isn't life unfair? I gave everything I had to meet him. I even gave my life. Everything I had done up until then disappeared like nothing had ever happened. Truly unforgivable. So that's when you came up with this plan. To revive Master Utsuro. Yeah, Correct. That is why you were all going through this so-called... I was going to say it again. Why, do they ha why is it so hard to say? Killing school trip, not skilling. Of course, I tried various different plans even before this one. However, they all ended up in a failure due to that damn Kizaragi foundation. Oh my god. Uh, voiding him, you would say? <laughs> Good one, Kenji. 
It doesn't matter how. Now, anyways. The past is the past, after all. All you need to discuss is the current plan. Are you aware just how many innocent people were harmed because of your selfish devotion to Master Utsuro? You really only think about yourself, don't you? Aren't you the same, my dear Sora? Ugh. What? <laughs> what a hypocrite you are. You're exactly the same as me. You gave away your life to Master Utsuro. You don't even... You don't even get your hands dirty yourself if it means you can be with him. The skilling. <laughs> I can't... I don't know why. I just... It's... I, I just always say skilling. Huh? Just how my brain reads it. Shut up. You and I are not... No, Sora. We are the same. Don't try to deny it. I know you already know it to be true. Ugh. Um, now that what's left to say, I've explained why the killing school field trip took place. And I've explained how I'm trying to revive Master Utsuro using this method. You have probably heard all of this from Monocro, so you should just wait to see it for yourself. Shut up! If you have nothing to say, go away! Well, both of you are on edge. I'll take my leave. I don't want to feel any more guilty for interrupting your investigation. I'll disappear, as requested. Call me if you need anything. Uh, bye! Ta-ta! It's that idiot's fault. I can't control my anger. No, I... That's not why. Sora, calm down. Mikado is just trying to mess with you to interrupt our investigation. His words are nothing more than a desperate attempt to distract us from the truth. You've done nothing wrong ever in your entire life, Sora. Um, uh, that's, yeah, you're right. That, that's so true. In the end, the only thing we discovered was that amazing tale about Utsuro. What a waste of time. Yuko's right. We didn't learn much. However, thanks to him, we are, were able to understand a part of Mikado's past. Mikado was saved twice by Master Utsuro. And the degree of the disappearance matches the total amount of divine luck they received. Okay. Let me, uh, get... Got it. Oh, yeah. I gotta do it now. Thank you, uh, Kanban, Kanban. It's because of the story that I associate Mikado with the sin of envy. If you want, I can give you theories about the void seven deadly sins later. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I can, um, always read that later. Maybe, like, in that fandom stream I was, uh, thinking about doing, too. But you could always post on the subreddit and I can just, like, save it, uh, for later. But thanks, yeah. I definitely look into it. And the degree of disappearance, the total amount. So are you saying the Voids received a lot of protection, meaning that it's disappearing more slowly? Oh, that's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Ah, she's so cute. How can she be evil if she's so cute? As Aura said, the amount of protection everyone received was different because of the divine luck. If Mikado was saved twice, then he might be stronger than any one of us. I don't know if that information is important, but I'll write it down anyways. Truth bullet obtained. Oh, yay, Mikado Sanoji trauma dump. <laughs> Perfect, love that. Oh, man. I'm excited to see what other robots we, uh, we get to see. It's nice, too, to get to know more about Utsuro, like, uh, because, um, we got, like, that kind of ending, you know, story about his past, like, forever ago, like, at the very end of Danganronpa, uh, another one. Oh, yeah, somebody pointed something out, too. In that, like, um, fairy tale, like, ending, or not fairy tale, but, like, the, you know, like, the, I guess, like, the drawings kind of reminded me of, like, a fairy tale, where, like, um, it showed, like, the past, like, how Master Utsuro, like, met Akane and stuff like that after the sixth trial from the last game. You can actually see, uh, Emma and Nikkei in that, uh, in that picture. So, uh, I thought that was, uh, pretty crazy. I think somebody posted on the subreddit, or maybe it was on the Discord, I can't remember. But it was uh, pretty wild, honestly. I was like, man, he really thought that far ahead about <laughs> like Nikkei and uh, Emma being in being in like the next game. Sorry, check this computer out. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Mega Comet. Welcome. Was this computer always at the in was this computer always at the infirmary? No, not that I remember. It also doesn't have a power cord, but the screen's turned on. Guess this is another of one of the quirks of the virtual world. Oh, uh, Hajime, not Nikkei, but yeah. Okay. Okay, I couldn't remember. I knew it was two uh, other people. I thought it was Nikkei, but my bad. Having a computer out in the open like this, so it was Hajime and Emma. Yeah, it's gotta be something Mikado prepared. Let's take a look. Okay. 
The computer was turned on, seemingly working properly, even without a power cord. There were only a few files placed on the desktop. Like the Windows background. <laughs> um, records. These are just documents. I'm surprised it's not like an Utsuro fan cam as like the wallpaper. Yuriko double clicked one of the files to open it and... Well, I guess alter ego, technically. But you know, I still missed you. A detailed report on an alter ego. An alter ego? Isn't that what Monochro mentioned a while ago? Artificial, in artificial intelligence is not human. As an AI, I have no feelings of guilt. The only person who committed a crime is Makoto. I mean, alter egos seem like they had uh, feelings and stuff, you know? However, distinguishing the good and the bad, there is no function for that. I am helping you now, because I realize my original role, because that is what my algorithm says to do. Um, an artificial person that acts on its own emotions and ignores algorithms. Well, that would be called an alter ego. You do not need to, be, to sympathize with me or worry about me. You only have to use me, because all I am is a tool to help humans. Oh man, what if Monocro was like alter ego or something, but they like, uh, I don't know, like messed with it or something. That would make me so sad. I've literally, I've heard of it before, alter ego, another me, the next stage of AI, a program that infinitely grows through learning and eventually becomes a person. It's like, I've heard of that before. Alter ego, it's like second life. I played that game all the time. Wait, the AI grows? Have you ever heard, have you ever heard of deep learning? I know that it's an AI learning technique. Deep learning uses machine learning algorithms, whereby an AI learns on its own. Oh, most AIs grow through deep learning and develop its own logic. The concept of alter ego is a more advanced concept than that. It's about simulating the human brain in the digital world. As the name itself implies, it can also be called another self. I also heard that some people from Hope's Peak were involved in its initial creation. Alter Ego. Oh yeah, it was a modified Yuri AI program. Yeah, I forgot about that. My bad, there's been so much information dumping that I like, honestly. I, I do not, I have two brain cells, okay? Their names are Haru and Satsuki, and they're trying their best, okay? Brain cells. <laughs> we'll go with that, like what Yuriko just said. They're trying their best. They're both on vacation in Mexico right now, and they don't work all the time, okay? Thinking is hard. Thank you, uh, Big Chunk of Rock. I want to believe that Mikado is saved by Shinji the second time, because Shinji is just that good of a boy, and Mikado just believes it was Utsuro. Oh my god, that would be great. That would be great. But, uh, yeah, it was probably just Utsuro's bullshit powers. But thank you for the donation. And thank you, the one snoob. Ever notice the similarities between Void and the Warriors of Hope? Five troubled youths helped by the previous game's masterminds and get betrayed by the leader as the game progresses. Interesting stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I guess it's kind of like a little bit of a shout out to another episode since they, uh, since Lanusian ended up making a, um, you know, like, well, I guess they had 6.5, which was kind of like based off of, uh, uh, uh another episode <laughs> a little bit. Thank you for the donut. I appreciate it. But that's cool. That's pretty uh, interesting. I didn't really think about that before. I'm not really sure how it works, but the fact that there it's here must mean it's somehow important, right? I guess I guess so. I don't know any more than that, so we should just read on. Alter Ego is an artificial intelligence program created by Wait, what did I did I miss something? Was I looking at the donations when Kizaragi came on screen? Let me go back. I seem to have missed him. I seem to, yeah, I was like, I missed the Yamato jump scare. I don't know where it was at. I don't know. My bad. Uh, maybe I can look at it later. No, the 6.5 stream was a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was a little rough, man. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep going. Oh, man. I miss Kizaragi? Where? I, don't, I didn't see him. Alter Ego is an artificial intelligence program developed by Chihiro Fujisaki, the ultimate programmer at Hope's Peak Academy. Unlike other commonplace AI, Alter Ego learns and adapts over time through dialogue, interactions with humans. As it is a program, it's impossible to develop a personality based on the direction the developer intended. 
But it's impossible to do anything about external influences. See Appendix 3. The alter ego, which has evolved into their limit, truly becomes a person itself. But its character and origin have a basis. It's a clone of a person from the developer. I know it's not saying much, but artificial intelligence itself is a high-level technology. However, the alter ego is on a... It's something only an ultimate student could do. The ultimate programmer, wasn't it? <laughs> they were the best! There's still more. Let's read on. The technology was thwarted because before it even got a chance to release, thanks to the closure of Hope's Peak Academy, due to the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, see Appendix 7. The alter ego has been consistently improved with the efforts of various ultimate students, thus creating multiple different versions. These alter egos also follow the pattern of the developer's personality. This is because the developer's own brain is easier to understand than somebody else's. However, this is not all. It's believed that the true meaning of the alter ego is to create the character of another person. In other words, create a new personality that doesn't currently exist in the world. Without this restriction, there may also be a way to create a personality of a deceased person. Okay. If this were to happen, humanity would no longer be subject to death. Furthermore, it may be possible to become an alter ego and leave your body behind. But it's still kind of like creating a new entity. I mean, it's like based off of your own personality, but it doesn't have like your, your soul in it. You know what I mean? You could gain an eternal life where aging and death no longer exists. Gaining immorality with the power of technology. See Appendix 11. That's all we can read from the file. After that, it was full of unfamiliar computer lingo and jargon that was out of our limit of understanding. So we stopped reading. My two brain cells, Satsuki and Haru, they're both very sleepy now, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Sonic Zoo. Sonic Goo Z. Smiley face. Jihiro, so Don Rapa, another E is connected to Hope's peak other, wait, another episode is connected to Hope's peak saga. I mean, uh, yeah, this like this game connects to the canon storyline. Um, I mean, like in its own universe, I think. I, I would love to see Kadaka's opinions on the series now that I think about it. I think that's what you're uh, kind of asking about, but uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Apologize if I'm wrong. So what do you think, Sora? Huh? Um. I guess if you were just kind of like tuning in or if you didn't watch the last game, you could forget or not realize that it connects to the canon games. But yeah, the other one connected too. I didn't understand much, but according to the report, it's possible to resurrect someone using an alter ego. That can't be true. So it seems like Mikado would be trying to use this as like a way to resurrect Utsuro. It is, and that's what Mikado is doing. He's trying to resurrect Utsuro who's already dead and turn him into an alter ego. That's, that's why he said it in front in the room before about computers. Wait, Yuruko, I have some questions about that logic. If you're right, Yuruko, why do we need to perform something like a killing, ga a killing game? It's a skilling game, Sora, duh. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Wouldn't it be enough to create an alter ego in his image? About that. Also, as the report says, the creator of the alter ego is the ultimate programmer, isn't it? Other enhanced alter egos have been said to be created by ultimates. Mikado isn't an ultimate student. Do you think just anyone who knows about computers can make an alter ego? Even artificial intelligence is a high level technology. Can Mikado really do something as complicated as that? Um, that is really strange. Also, Void's target isn't Master Utsuro. It's, mat it's Master Utsuro's divine luck they're after. Ah! However, when I heard about Mikado's past, it seems he was more after Master Utsuro himself rather than his luck. A true simp. A true simp. Thank you, us, Wrigley News. New era of immortality. It's time to be Delulu. Oh my god, does that mean we can recreate all the people from the last game and just pretend like they're alive? Slay. Slay and all the people from this game that died too? Oh my god, Kanade can come back. The queen who did nothing wrong. If you simply resurrect Master Utsuro as an alter ego, his divine luck wouldn't return. If true, the alter ego would be 100% the same as Master Utsuro, but lack the divine luck. So it kind of makes sense. If so, what is this report about? I don't think anything we know so far uses alter ego technology. Yuruko, there is still a file that we haven't read. Let's talk more about it when we're done. Okay. The second file was a transcript of messages that somebody sent and received as texts. 
who were the two people talking in this conversation? I could tell from the first paragraph when I saw a familiar name. This really is reminding me of like the Yurchin to Die computer. We were like going all hacker man on that too. But it is. Oh, Mikado Sano. Oh, hey! Oh my god, the besties! Mikado and Kokoro! About the alter ego I asked you about on the other way. I was able to steal the code, the core code, but there are multiple security keys mixed in. It's difficult to do, but I might be able to use some of the tricks to get it informed correctly. Submit it anyways. I'm working on the artificial neural network model now, so you can combine this scarity later. The problem is the supercom. I'm thinking of switching to a new bottle. The cost will go up. You don't have to overdo it, but as the number of operations to process increases, the demand spe specifications will increase as well. No, you're the developer, so if you have a request, I must fulfill it. What the hell is this? <laughs> Kokoro, do you think it's the one we know? Yes. The ultimate psychologist, Kokoro Mitsume, but that was only due to the manipulation of our memory. Anyways, the only person we know by the name Kokoro is Kokoro Mits Mitsume. She was only with us for a short time, but she really helped. But she was such a best girl, but she really helped during the class trial and uncovered the voids. Kokoro. Hmm. I want to see what kind of... I never... <laughs> Why is Kokoro talking so calmly to Mikado? Because they knew about what she did to... Um, uh, her daughter, but they, I don't think they knew at all about her connection to Mikado. I want to see what kind of evil shit she's up to. What happened? Kokoro was just a victim. I've got it. There must be someone else called Kokoro. She would never. But it's not that common of a name. It's got to be fake, but looking at all this. Kokoro and Mikado working together. That's what it looks like. Kokoro is the developer. She might have been a victim as well as that, though. Maybe she was central to Void's plan. Ah, uh, but it fits perfectly. If this is true, then it explains how Mikado, an ordinary person, can make an alter ego. So Mikado was the client and Kokoro did the actual programming. Okay. After reading that profile, wow, Kokoro really was a genius, an evil genius. Remember the last, remember the last time it said on Kokoro's capsule back then? It said she disappeared from her academy. And it's that she studied AI technology and brain science in recent years. And with the experiment on her daughter part. Kokoro, was she on Mikado's side? I kind of feel like she's probably more like a show by. She just got paid, you know? But we'll see. Because I don't know if she really cared about Utsuro that much. I don't think we really saw too much evidence of that, at least. Well, I can't remember her conversation with uh, Mikado too well in that chapter zero thing that we got. I think they talked about Utsuro in that, but I can't really remember her reaction to it. I remember, you know, Mikado being like, Oh, i Utsuro Sama! But Kokoro also had an avatar, and her memories were erased, but she was put into the killing game, like us. There's only one thing I can think of. She was betrayed by Mikado. Mikado trained, betrayed Kokoro. It's not surprising, honestly. He used and betrayed all the voids, after all. I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Because, yeah, I didn't really think too much about why she was in the killing game. I just kind of assumed that she was still working with Mikado, but she was definitely just a straight-up victim. In the killing game, she didn't really seem like she knew who the voids were. Literally got killed by... Well, you know, she, like, knew, or she was able to find out because of her OP talent. But, uh, yeah. It's not surprising, honestly. He was using betrayed, betrayed all the voids. Anyway, even if Kokoro made an alter ego, where did it go and what did they use it for? In the end, I still don't see the connection between the power of divine luck and the alter ego. I guess it makes sense. If he knows her and she's a symbol of hope or whatever, then yeah, of course, he would just betray her and put her in the killing game. That just adds to our questions. I'm surprised, though. Kokoro was our enemy, after all. Our enemy that's already dead. If you look at the messages, they're talking about the price of something. Maybe it wasn't just a simple friendship? Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah, it's a contract situation. Yeah, no matter what kind of person Kokoro was in the past, she is someone who no longer exists. The only thing she left behind was an unsolved mystery. Being a sussy baka. Alter Ego and Kokoro and Mikado's connection. I wonder what happened. Alter Ego! Aww, so cute! Information on Kokoro has been updated! More information! Exactly what I need! 
exactly what I need. Alter Ego, the connection between Kokoro and Mikado. What does it all mean? Ah, oh, thank you, Buzzy Beetles, for becoming a member. Appreciate ya. Okay, I guess we'll save again. Oh, man, this trial's gonna be rough. <laughs> I can already tell. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. I'm kinda... Okay, I was just kind of curious to look at how long some of these were. Where's the Akane one that got updated to? Okay. Alter Ego. Ah, look at them. They're so freaking cute. Wanna poke their little cheeks? Mikado pays people to be his friends. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Mikado has no friends. Those who are his friends, he, he pays. Oh, here you both are. It's you. Rei Makaru. Yuruko Kabuya was it. And... Akane Tyra, I need a minute of your time. What is this suddenly? Are you alone? Where's Sarugi? I'm acting alone for now. I can't speak to you if he's around. He's kind of a bitch. You want to talk with us? There are things I wish, wish to ask you both. I suppose you both have things to ask me too? That's surprising. I thought you'd just ignore us like that Kinjo guy. He's complicated. Follow me, please. Ah, Frey. Queen. My queen. Ugh. This is a good enough place. Nobody should intrude here. So, what do you want to talk about? I would like to apologize to you first, Ruko. Kenjo's fucking psychotic, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Do the immature response of the Foundation Director. I'm very sorry you had to see that side of him. You're apologizing? Yeah, I wanted to ask earlier, but where the hell was the Kizaragi Foundation? Why didn't they come earlier? I survived by dumb luck. If you had come earlier, more people would have been alive. I'm sorry. And what the hell happened the minute I escaped out of this virtual world? They started arresting me. Yuruko, calm down. Of course, it's true. I broke the law when I was a minor, but even so, that was like 15 years ago. Let it go already. I'm also unhappy with that, as well as, as the current state of the Kizaragi Foundation. I guess they all like trauma bonded together, so it's like... Maybe kind of hard to uh, leave to leave him, you know? I was trying to make steps into improving it in a good way. But that guy is so damn stubborn. Let me guess, Sarugi. Ironically this time... Ironically this time, he's been a real headache. I only just heard about... I heard an explanation of what happened this time. Headache? What happened? I thought he was your partner. Colleagues, I'd call us. But I don't know what goes on in that head of his. He's literally psychotic. Ray, could you explain it to us how the Kizaragi Foundation was involved in all this mess? Akane Tyra, there's a lot of things I want to say to you, but we don't have time for that right now, you know? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> but also, thanks for saving me that one time. So I won't drag this out. I got on this ship just to put an end to our Mikado Sonoji mission. There's nothing personal about this, just a job. That's all. Ray, I'm fine with that too. It's enough for me. Thank you. First, Akane Tyra. I'm not sure- I guess she just calls her by like both her first and last name every time too. I'm not sure if Yuriko knows much about the situation, but... I know some things. Something about the person called Utsuro and Divine Luck. Oh god, don't- don't tattle on me, Ray. Come on, she's gonna dump me if you tell her what I did. Knowing that will help a great deal. The history between the Kizaragi Foundation and Mikado Sonoji date ba dates back years. Yuruko, are you aware that the Kizaragi Foundation was founded by the three surviving students from the 79th class at Hope Speak Academy. Yeah, Teruya told us. Oh, she used to have a partner for real. <laughs> I miss you, Teruya. I miss you so much. I'm kind of wondering if we should maybe turn off turn off member mode, but just have it like uh, slow. I just feel like the chat's been uh, really, really slow. So it's like, maybe it would be okay to... Um, I feel like it's mostly during the trials and stuff that people get really bad with spoilers, but maybe the mods can tell me. Because I feel like if it was like a minute, like slow mode or something, it might be okay. But, uh, I don't know, I just get worried. I'm like, man, am I am I doing okay with the chat slow? <laughs> I'll drink some water though first too. Oh, that's right. Teruya, yeah, him. Ray, are you okay? It's nothing. Anyways, at the time, the tragedy was in full swing. 
And our goal was to put an end to it. Okay, it seems like uh, people are saying not to uh, turn off members mode. For the most part. Okay. I was just curious. Because, uh, yeah, it was uh, being pretty... Uh... I was just curious, but it seems like people are saying that maybe... Uh... Maybe it's just better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Oh, wait. Ah, let me click... Uh, I accidentally clicked off something. My bad. Anyways, at the same time, the tragedy was full swing and our goal was to put an end to it. After the tragedy ended, to some extent, the Foundation met with Mikado Sanoji. One day, there was a report on the backup data of the alter ego Kizaragi our team kept saved. It was read... With our, uh, without our authorization, it was a first-class confidential file within the Foundation, so, so the security was very tight. I don't know how he got in. In the first place. I immediately tracked down and found the identity of the culprit behind it. Mikado Sanoji, an ordinary person without much special information about him. Wait, alter ego? Kizaraki? That's... Akane Tyra, do you remember? <laughs> she always says Akane Tyra. Akane Tyra. No, but alter ego Kizaragi sat, sat, sank next to the research center and disappeared. Uh, I love her voice, man. She's, a, she's got such a good voice. Do you know where the main building of the Kizaragi Foundation is currently located? At the first Kizaragi Research Center, the building that was remodeled with the permission of the surviving Foundation members. We didn't find out until later, but each Kizaragi Research Center shares a database. Data from the third Kizaragi Research Center, which was turned into Hope's Peak, was stored in the other research centers. Still, the backup file of Alter Ego Kizaragi was a read-only file, so we couldn't do anything with it. What are you on about? I barely understood half of the words. Thank you. Somebody, somebody's head empty with me. Somebody's head empty with me, dude. Because, like, I feel like, I don't know, man. I get a little worried with, like, the six chapter investigations because I'm, like, trying to think of theories, but I always feel like it's just so much information, man. It's like, I'll forget stuff and, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I can always come up with theories. You guys can just correct me in the chat if so. But yeah, sometimes I just get so confused with like, there's this and that and this and that and this and that. But then there was this. It's like, man, there's a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Big Chicken Rock. Ray gonna gonna stitch about Ayame to Yuruko. You never want to bring up X in a fresh me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank God we didn't go to Ayame Island. That would have been so uh, so sad. Oh man, Sonic Z, thanks. Your stream such a vibe. Thank you so much for them. Also, yeah, until last week, I've never seen a Super Danganronpa another two or Danganronpa another stream, so I didn't know it was connected to Trigger Happy Havoc slash Danganronpa two. Yeah, you should really watch my streams of the first game too. It's honestly really good. I feel like um, I feel like it's kind of underrated compared to like the second one for whatever reason. I guess because the art's nicer for this one, but um, the first game has a really really good story and really good characters too. So I would uh, definitely recommend it. I'm sure Yuriko's like more lost than me since she doesn't even know like all the stuff. Like I got some of it, but some of it's also just like, God. Haru and uh, Satsuki in my head, they're, they're struggling right now. You may have heard this from Teruya, but our class, the 79th class was involved in a killing game just like you. The place that became the stage for it was the third Kizaragi Research Center, owned by the original foundation. The Kizaragi Foundation, yeah. Now that you mention it, I think I heard about it somewhere. The Kizaragi Foundation was the predecessor of the Kizaragi Agency, right? Correct. Even with a back with a backup, the third research center was completely destroyed, so 100% restoration was not possible. So you're saying Mikado stole the rest of the data? Yes, I don't know when or how he got in and stole the data, but it happened. Mikado Sanoji surely realized something at that moment. Something? The backup data from Alter Ego Kizaragi recorded how we escaped from the third research center. Okay, the backup data from Alter Ego Kizaragi recorded how we escaped from the third research center when it was collapsing. And he found out about the death of Utsuro and Akane Taira. What? Okay. Are you aware that the purpose of Makoto Sanoji is the resurrection of Utsuro? Yes. More or less. Obviously, then Makoto realized that Utsuro was dead. That guy is obsessed with Utsuro and has been chasing him since he was a child. Akane Taira, it's in a way that makes your obsession look cute in comparison. <laughs> well, thank you. Since then, we have been inferring, inferring with all of his pl interfering with all of his plans from behind the scenes. 
He was trying to start a killing game by capturing all the relatives of the 79th class. Oh. And that was the precedent for us. I have a question. Did you say the Mikado was just an ordinary guy? I don't think just an ordinary person like that could have been avoiding the Foundation for that many years. It didn't make sense to us either. At first, there was quite a few times we were all- we almost caught him. But it got to the point where it was almost impossible to track him. Really? Wasn't it because the information power of the Kisaragi Foundation was lagging behind as always? I understand your frustration. <laughs> Surely to just call him out, huh? It's like always they were just slacking off and sucking like like the usual just like when we were stuck in this fucking killing game I understand your frustration Yuruko. You blame the foundation for our incompetence However, the intelligence of the Kizaragi foundation is superior superior to any other organization at the moment I am the leader of the information analysis division of the foundation Then why? Oh, thanks for stopping by uh, Mochi Monica. Hope you have a have a good night's sleep. Please, look at this picture. Akane Taira, you too. Ray took a photo out of her pocket and showed it to us. It was shocking. It was a shocking and unimaginable image. Oh, what? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. I was kind of wondering that too. I was like, maybe he is dead and this is just like alter ego of Mikado that's like in the killing game. But I was like, I couldn't remember if it was like confirmed that we saw his body in the foundation or not. But that makes sense. I, that was another thing I was like thinking of. But I was like, I don't know if that's right or if I've already seen something that contradicts it. But man. What? <laughs> this is... He was already slain. On the photo, it showed a man who looked to have died in immense pain. The man was looking up to the sky with wide eyes, as if he was shocked. It's the first time I've seen this guy before. Wait, is it? At first glance, I've never seen this guy before. But when I looked closer, he seemed more familiar to me. This guy is. This picture I recently received from Sarugi. It's the corpse of Mikado Sonoji. Okay, yeah, so it is just like an alter ego. He's so fucking weird, dude. <laughs> He's like literally dead. <laughs> and he still wants to bring back Utsuru. But not dead, we be him alter Mikado. <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense. Mikado, that's Mikado? Ray, does this mean? Oh, thank you. Happy go, happy go bloody. <laughs> Thanks for becoming a member. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bing bong, ding dong. Oh, that reminds me. I got, a, I got this sticker too. It's applicable. <laughs> Bing bong, ding dong. The Makoto Sonoji is already dead? A new record, getting a BDA during chapter six for real. Wait, that's impossible. So who's this imposter going around forcing us to kill each other? I didn't know anything about him until Sarugi just explained it to me. He was hiding this important fact. He was hiding it. Ray, what happened? You see, Mikado Sonoji died a long time ago. In the real world. In the real world? Listen carefully. Everything I'm saying might be hard to believe right now. Did Kokoro make... The Mikado AI then? To put into this game? Maybe? Would she erase her own memories before she got into the game? Because yeah, how would he get the game set up? Well, I guess the Voids could do it. They, maybe they did it, but... I don't know if they I don't know if they really have the talent to make the AI. So Kokoro made the AI and the voids were the ones who captured everybody and put them in the game, maybe? I think. Listen carefully, everything I'm saying might be hard to believe right now. But the Mikado we're facing now right now isn't human. If he's not human, then what is he? Do you know what an alter ego is? Yeah, that makes that's what I was thinking. If you're not a Hope Speak Academy student, you probably wouldn't know about it. Yuruko, is that the information we read on the computer? Ah! Mikado Sonoji left clues about that. Then this will be a lot easier to explain. The real Mikado Sonoji made his own alter ego. And he was What? <laughs> and he was killed by his own alter ego. Trust nobody, not even yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, did I read that right? <laughs> For a second I was like, wait, what? Akane Taro, you've seen Jugo and Ashima and Kizaragi's alter ego, so you should know. An alter ego is an artificial intelligence that is sophisticated enough to be called a person. It's 
<laughs> the alter ego Mikado was like, there can only be one Mikado. Hey Mikado, why don't you come into the virtual world, Mikado? <laughs> okay, Mikado. <laughs> Stabs him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the way I imagined it coming <laughs> coming up like that. <laughs> An alter ego is an artificial intelligence that is sophisticated enough to even be called a person itself. But I've never seen an alter ego like this. <laughs> so is that murder or suicide? <laughs> All of the above. El Bozo. Rip Bozo. <laughs> In the end, this alter ego betrayed its creator by killing them. Wait, wait, what? You're saying that the real Mikado is dead. And the Mikado we know is just an AI. <laughs> It's such a sudden thing to learn that I find it hard to believe that the AI somehow killed this true self. I felt the same, Yuriko. Surugi was aware of this for a long time, but he didn't inform me of it or anyone else at the Foundation about this. However, this would explain why the Foundation was unable to track down Mikado for a long time. Because he isn't real, right? An alter ego is a computer program. Its analysis speed is much faster than that of a human. Due to the nature of an alter ego, where it grows indefinitely as it learns, its performance would have certainly improved since his, his creation. It's just as you say, Akane Tyra. You can just call me Akane or Sora. Our intelligence, uh, no can do Akane Tyra. Our intelligence team basically collects information using the computer networks. The computer itself is the home of an alter ego, meaning that no matter how much we try to track it, we couldn't, as it was connected to a network constantly. Even though he's an alter ego, his purpose is still the same as the real Mikado Sanoji. I don't know if it's possible to connect the memories between the real Mikado and the fake Mikado. I was kind of wondering that too, I was like... I assumed that, yeah, their personalities would be the same, but it would be kind of interesting if they had, like, different personalities, you know what I mean? But I know for certain that they have the same goal, the resurrection of Utsuro. Wait, something's off here! Yuruko. Of course, I don't know as much as you do about alter egos. But how can a virtual creation kill a human? And it's impossible to track it. How did Tsurugi know about all this? That's there, the that's where the collaborator comes in. The collaborator? Okay, yeah, Shobai. Don't you both know him? Shobai Hashimoto. This guy is Mikado's collaborator. Alter ego Mikado. Alter ego Mikado. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Reminds me of that Spongebob scene where it's like, is there any more Mikados we should know about? There's Alter Ego! Uh, Alter Ego Mikado, AI Mikado, Mikado Mikado, Mikado Avocado! <laughs> like, oh my god, just Mikado. <laughs> I love you just go to a class trial, it's just nothing but Mikados around. <laughs> is there any more Mikados I should know about? Alter Ego Mikado's collaborator and the killer. Of the real Mikado's- Okay, so Shobai killed the real Mikado Sanoji through the whims of Alter Ego Mikado- <laughs> How did he- How did he contact Shobai, dude? Shobai killed Mikado? But Monaco said that Shobai was hired by Mikado. Does that mean he killed his employer? Did Shobai not get enough out of the deal? That information is slightly incorrect. Yes, Shobai was hired by Mikado Sanoji, but- Shobai Hashimoto was not hired by the human Mikado, but by the alter ego Mikado Sanoji. An alter ego hired Shobai. I only found out about him today. I didn't even know what I was doing until I found out. Shobai Hashimoto is a world-class broker who would do anything for money. It was Shobai Hashimoto who helped alter ego, alter ego Mikado since he did not have a physical body. So alter ego asked Shobai to kill himself. <laughs> His real self! Oh wait, but Shobai was a victim of the killer game, just like us! That was also part of his- God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was so much, man. Oh my god. Thank you, uh, Big Chunk of Rock. So does that mean technically Mikado trauma dump- Mikado's trauma dump earlier wasn't even his own trauma? <laughs> he stole his real world trauma backstory for himself. <laughs> That's so true, dude! Alter Ego Mikado doesn't even have any trauma dumping to do. He'd be like, my trauma dump is when I killed myself in the real world. It was so sad. Gosh, I cried for a whole minute. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, uh, Jeff, for the dono, too. Shobai was just serving Mikado to take out... <laughs> just serving Mikado to take out Mikado. It was so true. That was so slay of him. Wow. What a slay serve moment. That was also a part of this contract. I don't know if it was just to complete the number of people, 
Or it was just a, always a part of the plan, but Shobai wasn't going to die in the killing game, and he would regain his memories at some point. But... Mikado betrayed even his companions, the Void members, so why would he guarantee that Shobai would survive? He needed to live to complete the mission. At the end of the plan, he would regain his memories and exit the virtual world through his administrator powers. It would defend the exterior from harm until the plan was complete. So that's a slurve, a slay serve. <laughs> what are you guys talking about, Kingdom Hearts? The Void's a fraction of worse ways. <laughs> I see Kingdom Hearts in the chat now. I saw something about like Mitch and the door to darkness. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh god. This is really the oh, because it's the, the lore, dude. <laughs> god. It do be kinda like that, dude. Mikado and Xehanort do have that in common, man. <laughs> oh god, that meme fits so much with Xehanort too. Is there any Xehanorts I should know about? Any more I should know about? So that's why Shobai vanished back then. He did this all for the love of Kingdom Hearts. As soon as I saw that scar of yours, my business here was done. All that's left is to decide. To decide? This game does have so Oh my god, literally. <laughs> and literally the main character's name is Sora. I just now thought about that. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I did not realize Lanusia was such a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Wow, slay, stan, slurve. Wait, I like slurve. That's a fun word to say too. Slay and serve combined. Wonder how we're gonna curse that one. Wait, where are you going? Let me go before you leave. Your friends will be arriving here soon to do that for me. Don't you worry. Though I ended up unintentionally helping you again. Guess I gotta do what I was paid for. Boom! Huh? Huh? What? Shobai? Shobai, where'd you go? Shobai! I wish they would've showed his little teleporting thing again. So that's what he meant. Hey, what if Shobai disconnected from the virtual world to defend the outside from intruders? After Shobai disappeared, what did he do? The virtual world rebooted and forcefully closed, and you were temporarily, temporarily booted out. Okay. That is what Shobai did. So the guy who went to defend the virtual world ended up shutting it down. That was due to Kinjo, Suruga Kinjo's intervention. Just whoever pays him more, basically. In other words, Shobai was a double agent. Devil agent. Yes, yeah, Shobai Hashimoto was also hired by Sarugi Kenjo. What? That he was hired by Sarugi and Alter Ego Mikado, not just Mikado, at the same time? It would be right to say that Sarugi offered something far greater than what Mikado offered. Okay, what did he offer then? I just thought it was more money. How do I know all this? Because Sarugi literally just told me. Shobai was a double agent working for the Kizaragi Foundation. He was a spy that gave information to Sarugi. That is why he didn't tell anyone in the foundation, including me. They were working together behind the- What? Wait, why didn't he- Why didn't he just talk to Teruya, though? I don't understand. Why did he have to go through Shobai? I mean, like, well, I guess- I guess Shobai would get, like, insider information on Mikado. But I feel bad that, like, uh, I don't think he really- I feel like- <laughs> This is just making me feel like it looks even worse on Kenjo, honestly. I'm like, okay, you had enough access to talk regularly to Shobai, but you didn't have enough access to, like, help my boy Teruya out. Because I guess, like, yeah, he was probably just trying to get information on Mikado as well as the killing game from Shobai. But, man, I feel like he could have at least contacted Teruya, you know what I mean? Like, he was totally, like, getting, um, you know, I don't know, just, like, no information whatsoever. Oh, thank you, uh, Jeff. Shobai just follows the money. A very based king. It seemed like he honestly might have, um, I don't know, offered him something else, though, too. But thanks for the dono, I appreciate it. Uh... Were they working together for a long time? Also, about what you heard from Tsurugi. Then what about him? D yeah, exactly! Did Teruya know? <laughs> God, <laughs> same! <laughs> no, this is why I can't forgive Tsurugi Kinjo. Teruya and I were used as bait. Dude, fucking Kinjo, dude. Why are you doing this to me, man? I like, I stand you so hard. Why you gotta be so cringe, bro? Teruya and I were used as bait to prevent Mikado from realizing that Shobai was a double agent. <sighs> Teruya was killed because of Saruki. It's all that bastard's fault. Man, oh God, I feel so bad for Teruya, dude. He deserves so much freaking better, man. 
Oh, thank you. I'm Y Bai. Me, Shobai. Can you serve a Shobai? And <laughs> no, fades. <laughs> like you got any money for me? I can serve then. Man, ah, this is making me so mad though. Thank you for the dono. Ray bitter, bitter lower lip. Really, if everything we heard was true, I would never have known the Shobai was a double agent. But, man, fucking Kinjo, dude. Because of that, Tori and Ray were used as disposable tools. I think it's just, like, so frustrating with Kinjo, too. This, that, like, he did get better and then, like, reverted. It's like, I get why he reverted back to his, like, morally stunted ways. But, like, man, it just sucks that you saw him improve. And you saw, like, what it could be like after he changed. But then, like, you know, he came back. Oh, Ray lip bite. <laughs> that, that was the lip bite that she did. That was exactly what she was like. It's all fucking Kinjo's fault that he killed Teruya. <laughs> so I was like, uh, maybe not the maybe not the time for this. Oh my god. Thank you, Sean. I think this is where most of the Kinjo hate comes from. The fact that he basically left Teruya for dead. Oh, gosh, man. Yeah, it's like, I love Kinjo, but yeah, it's very very upsetting. I can't even I can't even defend it at all, especially since. Man, Terry just deserves so much better, dude. He just, like, looked up and carried so much, like, for Kenjo. And, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty upsetting for sure. So you're not just disposable tools. The same goes for all the people who died in this killing game. And I think, like, I don't know. I feel like I could handle it better, yeah, if Kenjo, like, almost didn't improve for a short period of time. But knowing that he did get better and then he got, like, bad, worse again. It's just like, man, I know what you could have been like, dude. There must have been another way. In the, in, in the end, there were too many sacrifices. This wasn't the only way, was it? Fucking Kinjo, dude. That's all Sarugi has told me. I wanted to tear him apart and kill him on the spot. It took everything I had to stop myself. Why? Why didn't you do that? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Honestly, the more I listen to what you're saying, the more worse the situation becomes. The more my motivation dwindles hearing all of this just makes me think what the hell can we even do i told you both because you need to know and because i need to repay my debt to you debt my debt to you is now paid off akane akane tyra ray in that moment don't be mistaken oh yeah because uh she saved her life don't i don't even think you saved my life i didn't even ask for any help baka do you remember there are no personal feelings in all of this? Our relationship is strictly for this mission, but still. Anyways, it doesn't matter if you're just a ghost in a virtual world. As long as it's a Connie Tyra in front of my eyes, I'll still have a distaste towards you. That's all. Aww. Furthermore, I heard Surugi made a perfect plan with Shobai to strike from behind. We now realize that it's impossible to get rid of Mikado using that method. And as a result, he's alive again. This is why we must exclude personal feelings just like Mikado Sonoji does. I think, I don't know. I don't think there's any good excuse for it, but I do think I want to hear more of like Kinjo's mindset on like why he did what he did. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Caleb. I think uh, you're going to kind of talk about it a little bit. Remember Kinjo's free time events where he told Yuki he was willing to sacrifice individuals for the greater good. That would be it. <laughs> Fucking crazy. <laughs> I hate him, but I love him, but I hate him. Looks like Taria experienced that firsthand. Damn, dude. I'm so mad. Taria deserves so much freaking better, dude. Man. Ah, oh, gosh. It's like I get more and more upset about Taria's death the longer I play this game. Like, he deserves just so much fucking better. Man, I keep hoping there's going to be some bullshit way to get him back, but I know there's not at this point. But man, gosh, so upsetting. Thank you, a big chunk of rock. We have a uh, Sora, a pink haired girl who is Sora's best friend, wife, Yuriko slash Kairi, and a white haired rival who sometimes is an ally or an enemy, Shobai slash, oh my god, literally. Oh my god, the Kingdom Hearts parallels, dude. And we got Mikado who's like Xehanort and he just makes a bunch of duplicates of himself. Thanks for the donation. I think differently from Sarugi, Akane Tyra. I think it's safe to say we're fighting against him together now. It's better for you, Yuruko. The more power we have, the better. You shouldn't be demoralized because of this. Fighting together. Of course I agree we should do that. 
And I'm grateful you think that too, but what about your partner? Will he agree to this? Fuck that guy. If he's not with us, he will work alone. I love her voice, dude. It's so pretty. I don't know why Mikado Sonoji called us all to the virtual world together. Suruki's plan has already failed. It's better to dismiss the idea that we can win easily. That's all. So if there's anything I can do for you both, please let me know. I'll help the best I can. I've told you everything I know. If you have any more questions, ask now. I can't stay here much longer. Oh, uh, man. There's still a lot of things to worry about. However, a rainbow's in the chat for Teruya, guys. <laughs> How about we need we need to we need to freaking we need to honor him rainbows in the chat for Teruya I miss him so much. We have any Teruya emotes. I don't think we do unfortunately Man, I'm so upset though. We have two Kinjo emotes and no Teruya emotes. I'm disrespecting him even in death Damn it. What is wrong with me? Why do I always simp for the worst characters? Oh man Poor freaking Teruya, dude. <sighs> However, Ray is acting calm about it all. I think it was best to hear that Ray, what Ray had to say. <laughs> Bless you guys. Thank you for honoring our Rainbow King, our gay Teletubby. King of the gay Teletubbies, man. Hey, Ray. What is it, Yuruko? <laughs> Not the Kinjos in chat, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a lot of questions, so can I ask something? Ever since Sora told me that you were alive, I've been thinking about something. Yeah, how did you survive? We saw you get burned to a crisp by Mikado. Um, death in the virtual world means death in the real world, according to what Monocro said. I was wondering about that too. Knowing that, how did you? The Neo World program is something very innovative, but equally as dangerous as it connects directly to your brain. I just popped and locked and it didn't happen anymore. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I was saved. It's just like, that's exactly what happened, guys. You couldn't see, like, the part when she was burning, but she was popping and locking as she was burning, and that revived her brain to go back to her body in the real world. See, we don't even need this explanation, because I already know what happened. Surugi is beautiful, and that's what matters. <laughs> you sound like me, Marcy. I'm like, guys, I can't defend that he killed Teruya, but he's very pretty. And therefore, therefore, therefore I forgive him. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm mad at him, but I do love him as a character. You know what I mean? Thank you, Big Chunk of Rock. Teruya would have wanted Kinjo to have two of them. <laughs> That's true. He was, a, he was a fellow Kinjo sim. That's true. But how would he feel after his death? We don't know. We don't know. The New World program is something very innovative, but equally as dangerous as it connects directly to your brain. It is indeed, as you said, if you die in the virtual world, you die, if you die in the game, you die in real life too. But as you can see, I'm not dead. What? But the Neo World program has a feature called Forced Shutdown. If something unexpected happens within the program, you can use Forced Shutdown feature. Can y'all, could y'all not have used that for, for my boy, for my boy Teru yet? However, to do that, that a lot is required, I guess, maybe that's why. And since it is an abnormal shutdown, shoot down method, there are many side effects. So we used that method moment right before we were executed as well. No, that was a forced shutdown from the outside. What I'm talking about is a forced shutdown from within. After Mikado woke up again, there wasn't another way to shut down the program from the outside. I made some sort of insurance by editing the forced shutdown code. Some insurance? Oh no, he heed his last haul. Oh my god, your profile picture is so cute. To rue your blues. Oh, that's so cute, dude. Oh, thanks for the dono, too. Only people with administrator permissions could enter manually. Man, that, like, art of, like, Ray and Teruya that I showed at the end of the screen, the stream, that's gonna be my new, like, freaking wallpaper, dude. I just miss him so much. I miss him so much. But Teruya and I were denied entrance, so I had to find another method to break the lock. In the process of doing this, I obtained an emergency escape code. It's a byproduct. An emergency escape code? It's a code to use in an emergency situation. With this, you can use it to exit the virtual world instantly. Right before my body caught on fire, I used it to escape from the real world. What was left after that was my lifeless avatar. The ash body you saw after was just an empty time. I still remember my reaction to that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> when I saw the ash. 
And I just felt like there was no way that she could have survived. But she did, guys. My Delulu saved her, guys. So that's why you're still alive. <laughs> We're just seeing the fucking ashes left behind, and I was so mortified. Wait, if something like that existed, couldn't you have just saved us all first? The Kizaragi Foundation is supposed to protect protect civilians. Man, she hates the Kizaragi Foundation. If you already knew it was a virtual world, you should have pulled us out right then and there. Easier said than done. The code used was just sloppy. Makeshift code we came up with, just as insurance, as a backup plan. Also, the code was made for one use only, meaning that it would be almost impossible for us to use anybody but me. If it were possible, I'd have done it right from the start. Um... At that time, Taru and I got no prior information from Tsurugi about what was going on. We didn't even know that the Mitch Sonoji there was. There was an alter ego. It was unexpected that he had that much power. Also, didn't know anything about the next generation symbols of hope being kidnapped and that their avatars are still from their high school days. But my actions weren't enough. I apologize. Of course, Ray. I know you tried your best. I know you tried your best. Oh, thank you, Sean. Tori X-Ray is canon. I don't care what anybody says. It definitely does feel canon, dude. It definitely does. I uh, appreciate the dono, too. And same. Same best again. <laughs> it's okay. It's already happened at this point. But why didn't Taria leave you? You entered together after all. I originally thought if something unexpected happened to the Mitch... Oh, did I call him... Did I just call him Mitch? Did I really just call him Mitch? <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Not Mitch Sanoji. <laughs> no. I did not mean to. <laughs> Guys, you caught me. I was thinking about Mitch. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so dead, dude. I really was kind of thinking about Mitch. <laughs> I just like, I don't know, I kind of zoned out. And I was thinking about this other game that has a character named Mitch in it. And I was like, should I stream that game? Or maybe I should let's play that game. And then I just said Mitch. <laughs> Damn it. I originally thought if something happened, something unexpected happened to use the emergency escape. <laughs> After I got back to the real world myself, I would pull Taria out right away. I didn't know that I could do it within the virtual world. <laughs> no, not the fucking Mibi. No. Guys, there's a reason there's no Mibi emotes, okay, guys? There's a reason. <laughs> Rent free, Weeby. Rent free. Jesus, I need some water now. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, dude. Not me confirming Mibi's canon somehow. <laughs> oh god. Oh man, I'm dead. I didn't know that I could do it within the virtual world, so I took action and cut the power from the outside. <laughs> I'm being bullied again! Thank you, Fon. Weeby, stop fantasizing about Mitch on I'm sorry, guys. He's just so dreamy. I was just thinking him when he does that. I was like, oh, God. He's just he's just so cute, and he's done nothing wrong ever. It's so hard for me to not think about him. Thank you, Wolf Allen. We knew you loved him. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, dude. Thanks for the dono, Wolf Allen. Oh, God. I can't even defend myself on this. Yes, of course. The reason we got in so easily was because of Mikado Sinoji and Mitch Sinoji. Oh, man. Mikado Sinoji, let us invade the virtual world. <laughs> After I left, he immediately strengthened security. Since he's an alter ego, it should have been simple for him. But there was a much bigger problem than that. And what was that? You remember, right, Yuruko? You were told when you asked why the Foundation arrived so late. <laughs> I'm thinking dead with all the love and stuff in the chat, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got Jester. It's from laughing so hard. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. <clears throat> Catch my breath. We weren't too late. It's just the flow of time in the virtual world, and the real world is completely different. Uh oh. The flow of time is different? What the hell? Oh, that makes sense, then. That's a better excuse for the Kizaragi Foundation, at least. It was today that Taruya and I connected to the virtual world. Not a day has passed. <laughs> Taruya died. Ah, damn it. 
Not a day has passed since then. Okay, that makes sense then. What? No way! It's been at least a month since the killing game started. Time delay. Have you ever heard of the twin... The twin paradox? <laughs> oh my god. Are we gonna talk about Kanade? I remember the twins. Although it is a slightly different concept to this. It might be difficult for you to understand, but... Just consider it as the Urashima meth effect. Do you know the story of... Urashima Taro? God, no. <laughs> I have no idea. Big you, big chunk of rock. It's really cute considering how even in chapter 6, and Diane Rapp another one, Ray was still insulting Taria every time he said something stupid. Oh, now she's crying over his death. I know, literally, Taria was like the stupidest character in the last game, dude. And then like, uh, and she was the smartest and they fell in love somehow. Allegedly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, gamer bro. Maybe is canon. No, thank you, gamer bro. No more, <laughs> no, no more thank yous for gamer bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thanks, gamer. The time experience in the virtual world, it was faster than reality. Yeah, I tried to take action as soon as possible, but... Actually, in a blink of eye, it had already been several days in the virtual world. So... No, it's not an excuse. Even if there wasn't enough time flow difference, it would have been possible to breach through Alter Ego Mikado security. I thought it was too easy. If I had just known Mikado's identity from the beginning, this wouldn't have... No, I'm just making more excuses. Oh, the Kanade, I just see Kanade over there. I know, we do need a Hibiki one too. I gotta see if I have enough spaces to uh, add one. I'm so goddamn pathetic. YouTube's really like picky about like how many you can add. Like you have to have so many members to add more um, emotes. It's so sad. I'm so goddamn pathetic. Ray, oh no, Ray, you did your best. It's not you who's pathetic, it's cringe. <laughs> Even though I still love him. Surugi cr cringe. <laughs> just called him? Surugi Cringeo. He's the leader of the foundation. Because of him, all this happened. Why didn't he just give you the right information from the freaking start? Why? Why didn't Surugi tell anyone such crucial information? Even if it was to hide Shobai's infiltration, Ray and Teruya were his partners, to some extent friends. <laughs> Fucking. I don't know if you can really be friends with a guy who's like, I've never smiled at a party. <laughs> it's, still, it's still my favorite Kinjo line. Do you not trust you both? He's that kind of guy, you know. He's been like this ever since our encounter with Utsuro. In addition to the extra manpower from the foundation, his desperation to keep getting worse keeps getting worse. Taria tried to follow Surugi to the end, but I really can't do it anymore. Fuck that guy. That is why I'm acting alone. I'll solve this my Oh yeah, time to girl boss! I'll solve this my way. So what now? Do you have a plan, Ray? We can't change anything by just thinking about it. As soon as Mikado Sonoji was revived, the foundation was defeated. And here we're in the same situation as you. Tsurugi doesn't seem to accept that. Mikado invited us to go back to the virtual world. That means he still needs something from us. First of all, I think it should be our main priority to investigate the clues that he left for us and discover what they mean. In the end, nothing has changed. Let me see. I think I missed a couple donos. Thank you, Shucks. Guys, guys, we all know the true mastermind is Glitch, another twin of- Oh my god. Glitch returning? That's still one of my favorite posts on the subreddit. <laughs> it was like the Mitch AI who was like, Yuki, Yuki, you must kiss Kinjo on the lips. It's the only way to defeat the mastermind. <laughs> that was still one of my favorite posts from the subreddit, dude. It was so funny. Thank you, uh, Marcy. Turi had feelings for the other two after Danganronpa and another. Yeah, Turi definitely cared for them a lot, man. I feel like- <sighs> I need some, like, friendship fix of them, dude, to, like, clear out all this, like, sadness that I feel from all this, like, angst, man. But thanks for the dono, Marcy. I appreciate it. In the end, nothing has changed. We have no choice but to continue investigating. Oh, man. Do you have any more questions? I think that's everything. You've done enough. After everything that's happened, the future is really important right now. Um, so may I ask you a question? <laughs> Hello, Akane. You really don't have to say both the first and the last name. Uh, do you need something? No, we've known each other for a long time. You just feel different from the one I knew back then. Do you prefer this look or is it just due to your memory loss? I can't help it. My appearance is just because of my avatar. No, that's not what I was asking. Ah, Have you changed? Have you been fixed? Are you the real Akane Tyra? What? You're bringing that up now? Ray, to answer that, I want to know something in return. Do you know anything about the death of my body in the real world? Strictly speaking, you are alive. 
It's just your brain that's dead. And you can't wake up. Basically, you're half dead. Wow, really? It was Sarugi who discovered her body? It was Sarugi? How did, like... Was it... Did they really just turn around, dude? And, like, go get her? I was like, God, I thought Sarugi, if he th found her body, he would just stab her right then and there. Criminal scum! I mean, that seemed like it would be what he would do. Thank you, Big Chuck of Rock. It's love, square of sorts. Ray loves Taria, Taria loves Kinjo, and Kinjo still wants you. <laughs> oh, poor Kinjo. Unrequited love. Unrequited love. I would love to see, like, read some, like, friendship pics of them, though. They're I feel like I like their dynamic, and I just need something wholesome, you know? I want some fix of, like, Taruya and Rei fixing Kinjo. <laughs> That's what I need in my life. It was Tarugi who discovered your body. They only told me because he was at the scene. Does it answer your question? Rei, I... Am I an alter ego of Akane? What? Sora, what on earth are you talking about? You said that the real Mikado died a long time ago, and that the real Mikado is just his alter ego. And I feel like I remember him saying something weird. Oh, no, Sora, we are essentially the same. Okay, I thought he was just referring to the fact that they both simped for Utsura, to be honest. Don't try to deny it. I know you already know it to be true. Dead in the real world and alive as an alter ego in the virtual world. Do you mean you two are the same in that regard? That's wrong. Sora's alive. She's just, she's just unconscious. That's incorrect. Yours and Mikado's situations are different. Even if you're both only alive in the virtual world, you are certainly using a connector to come here. In other words, even if you're brain dead, there is still a connection going through between your machine and the nerves. An alter ego doesn't need such a medium, yeah. That's kind of what I would think of too, but it is interesting that Mikado said that, unless he really was just referring to the thing that I was referring of, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Lizard King, uh, 13. Ray, so you're into girls now. Uh, always have been. <laughs> Did you see the second chapter? <laughs> always have been. <laughs> or second chapter from the last game, I mean. Thanks for the dono. I remember everything. When I got my memories back, I thought for certain that I was a Kane Tyra. I had no doubt. But since then, something weird has been happening. I'm not really sure about my memories of being a Kane. Are you saying you don't have her memories? But then how do you remember details about me? No, I definitely have some memories. But how do I explain this? It's a memory that I haven't actually experienced myself. It just feels like an emotionless memory. I feel like that wasn't actually me. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, thank you, Ash Noel, for becoming a part of the Kinjo cult. Ah, oh, your profile picture's cute, too. Damn you, Kinjo. <laughs> you're such an asshole, but you're so cute. Sora. Ray, you said that Alter Ego Mikado has the same purpose as the real Mikado, right? You're right that an alter ego can share memories with their real counterpart, but it's not the same for me. Well, it was hard to believe until I saw it with my own eyes. Wait, Sora, if you're really an alter ego, it means that somebody must have made you. So that begs the question, who did it and for what purpose? I don't know. I don't know if you're an alter ego or not, but could you do something? But you could do, be something very similar to one. Although you are brain dead in reality, your conscious is in a virtual world. It's so unnatural. Um, how did, like... I'm trying to think, too. I'm like... Because I always just assumed that Sora was, like, you know, working with Mikado up until, like, a couple of chapters or whatever go, I guess, maybe. But, like, um... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Um... Would Mikado, like, I guess he plugged in Akane to the game hoping that this would happen? Or would he create the thing that's similar to an AI or alter ego to get her to, like, participate in the killing game or something like that? Oh, thank you, Crocomancer. If Sora is an AI copy of Akane, that means we can ship her with Yuruko and Akane with Ayame. Win! <laughs> Yay! Slay! <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the donation. Um, no, I'll talk to him myself. But right now, who I am isn't important. Knowing my identity won't change what we have to do right now. Sora, a king Joe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well said, our top priority right now is just Tom Mikado's plan. That's all we need to do. Thanks, Ray. Making the decision to fight together with us must have been a difficult one for you to make. I have no intention of forgiving you, Ak Akane Tyra. Of course, I know that. Ray Makaru. Well, there will be no problems as long as you're aware of that. Yuriko, I'd be grateful if you could lend me a hand, too. 
Well, there's not really another option. I'm sorry about being so angry before. I don't hate you. It's just you didn't really leave a good first impression. I get, I get that a lot. <laughs> I, I get that a lot. I do be kind of a bitch sometimes. But, you know, she's a bitch. She's a boss. She sh shines like glass. We can't, we can't hate on her for that. Anyways, I don't think Surugi will be happy to learn that he is on the same side as Akane Tyro. I'll keep collecting clues. You two should investigate as much as you can as well. Man, I wish we could talk to Kenjo, but I know he's not going to talk to me, dude. Be careful if you plan to talk to Sarugi. He's acting quite unpredictable at the moment. Uh, and what is he? What is he ever? What is he ever mentally stable? All right, thanks for worrying about us. I'll see you at the trial grounds. Yeah. Ah, uh, Queen Ray. I think we've talked for long enough. Mikado said that we don't have a time limit, so we should have a lot more time to investigate. Yeah, I was like, man, that took a while. Sorry, don't worry so much. I think we still have a decent amount of clues to look into. It doesn't matter if you're an alter ego or not. I know the person I've spent all this time with isn't fake. Everything will be... Oh, she's so freaking cute. Tell me, tell me. Her, little, uh, her boy is so cute. We should go on a... Oh my gosh, we should go on a date? Everything will be just fine. We should go... We should go out. Uh, on a girls' night. Just, just two girls. Just two besties. Just the two of us after this is all over. What do you think? Sora, you, Ray, and Teruya are older than the others, right? It'd be kind of awkward if I was asking an underage person to go out drinking with me. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, Yuruko. It sounds like a great idea. Um, I wasn't worried or anything. Don't assume things. I'm just wondering if you're a lightweight. I wasn't the fake hostess for... I wasn't the fake ultimate hostess for nothing, you know? You better be prepared, Sora. We're gonna drink the night away until one of us blacks out. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Ah, oh, it's so freaking cute. Ray told us a lot of shocking things, but it's not the end. It doesn't change what we need to do. I need a fanfic of them going out drinking now. All we have to do is work together. Then we can defeat Mikado. For the day, I wonder if there is a lot of fanfics for this series. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Two girls sitting in a hot tub, very close, because they're not gay, because they're so gay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> sitting very close, because they're gay. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Thank you, uh, Jeff. Sora has two hands, so Sora has two identities. Huh, huh? Sora has two hands. I'm not totally sure if I exactly understand what you're uh, referencing. Just maybe let me know through another uh, type chat. I don't know if I'm just slow or not. Thanks for the donation, Jeff. I appreciate you. For the day, I go out drinking with Yuruko. I have to move forward. Should we get going, Sora? You read that comment so wrong. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Sora has two hands? No, Sora has two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm tired. Guys, like I said, my brain. What hour are we on? We're, God, we're only at two hours and 47 minutes. My brain's already fried. You know, it's the, um, it's the, um, it's the, all this information. It's really making, uh, Haru and Satsuki die. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the donation, though. No, sorry, I got that so wrong. Yeah, we need to investigate every nook and cranny of the clues that Mikado left behind. From what we learned from Ray, it would be best to talk to Surugi and Shobai for now. Yeah, Ray only just told it herself. They definitely know more than we do at the moment. We still have time. Let's get moving. Yeah, stupid fly. Oh, no! I don't want to see that picture of Ray again! Okay. I got two, then, for that section. That's good, then. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 okay. Can we go upstairs, actually? The ship is so big. I'm not sure exactly where we can investigate. Seems like we're good down here, though, so... Can I go upstairs? The alcohol hitting Weeby, and you haven't even gone out with Yuriko yet, for real. I am such a lightweight, though, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I am a huge lightweight when I drink. Uh, oh, it's a new sprite, I think. Aroha, what are you doing just standing there? Um, oh, Yuruko and Sora. Are you really drawing right now? Are you doodling at a time like this? We're supposed to be investigating, you know? Oh, God. Everything reminds me of Teruya, dude, because I remember when Teruya was investigating. I think, was it the fifth chapter or the sixth chapter when he wasn't doing, like, anything? <laughs> he was like, I'm, uh, I'm working very hard, Kenjo. Excuse you. <laughs> Don't talk to me. 
What? Why? I'm drawing my final piece. I want to concentrate. What the hell are you saying, a final piece? Don't be stupid. You're just running away, coward. I like, I like the idea of Aroha being like, I need to create my final masterpiece. And it's something like totally random and weird, like Sans Mida or like, she's just drawing fan art of like the Sans Reagan Tumblr <laughs> sexy man up old. I need to create this. My final masterpiece. This is what I'll be remembered for. You just don't understand art. What the hell are you saying, final piece? Don't be stupid. You're running away. I'm... Oh, okay. All evil, man. I'm running away. <laughs> We're all going to tie anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> man, this laugh sounded creepy. Aroha, you. We have no choice of beating Mikado. I'm prepared to give up everything and create one last masterpiece of my life before we all turn to dust. <laughs> Oh my, oh, Yuruko! Ow, ow, ow! That hurt, why do you always abuse me? Do you, you wanna know why? Because you're just giving up! Stop saying such idiotic things and do some investigating! Oh my, oh, gosh, she's looking so freaky! <laughs> she, how do you do that with your lips, girl? Um, I wonder, Yuruko, do you have any clues on how to beat Mikado? No, but we'll never know if it's possible unless we try! It's impossible. Shobai told me. Oh. How can some dumb human speed an artificial intelligence like that? And much less when we're in a world where it is complete control. That's really what Shobai said? Um. Because <laughs> I'm looking so creepy being like a baby again. Wow, why do things like this always happen to me? Everything, everything I try to do ends up being wrong. I just wanted to live a normal life and have friends. I do feel bad for Aroha. Her backstory was really sad. Man, let me, uh, I think there's some donos. I want to read through. Okay, thank you, uh, Drew, your blues. Weeby, she is trying her best. Let her yeehaw. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, uh, for the dono. And thank you, uh, Shocked. Aroha, shut up, I'm drawing you guys drinking at a bar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, if you're drawing us uh, some Yuruko X uh, Sora, then we can approve of that. Aroha, calm down. The class trial hasn't even started yet. I know it's not going to be easy, but we can but we can beat Mikado. We all just need to work together. It is possible. Stop pretending to be some manga protagonist! This isn't fiction! We can't do this! You're not Sora from Kingdom Hearts! You'll never be Sora! Even if we manage to defeat Mikado at the escape and escape here safely, the Kizaragi Foundation will just arrest me. Even if we survive, I'll just spend the rest of my life in jail. Uh -huh, Mom! Dad! I was wrong! I'll go back to painting! I'm sorry! Aww. We're leaving, Sora. Why? There's nothing more we can do. I have nothing to say to someone who thinks this this desperate. Who's this desperate that it's just pathetic. But... <laughs> Okay, we'll leave you alone. Continue your drawing. Just know it's never too late. Don't cry and give up. We're all in this together. I'm gonna draw my sand sweep. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, have fun, Aroha. She's going to stay pathetic until the end. How old is Aroha now that I think about it? She looks so young. Dot, dot, dot. Because I saw somebody uh, put in the chat. Like, I feel bad for her, but she also annoys me a lot by how adamantly she refuses to change for the better. I could see that. I could see it being hard to change, too. Like, uh... I feel like it's harder to change when you're older too and like your way of thinking has already been kind of like set in place. That's why it's like you kind of have to go to therapy to like uh, undo your way of thinking because when you're a child, you know, it's like you're kind of building up those habits. But especially if she is an adult, it could be harder to kind of like get out of it if she doesn't really have anybody helping her. Ah. Stupid fly, dude. Keeps getting right in front of my face, man. Sora, let's ignore her and keep on investigating. Yeah. Didn't Aroha say that Shobai told her it's impossible? Do you think Shobai told Aroha about Mikado's identity? Shobai, I don't think he's someone to give out that information so easily. Well, Ray told us, so it's impossible she did the same to Aroha. Yeah, but let's just find Shobai and ask him ourselves. Um, I don't really want to talk to him, but I guess it can't be helped. Let's go. Oh, man. Look at Aroha, dude. Uh, she is funny, though. I, I'll give her that as well. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy Sansweet. 
<laughs> I low-key kind of wanted to make a video about the stupid Tumblr. The Tumblr sexy man poll. I'm so sad. I found out about it afterwards. I would have had like a whole campaign for Kamida. If only would have known about it sooner. So tragic. Thanks for the dono. And thank you, um, a big chunk of rock. If Akane never works, they can maybe make Sora a robot body. If not, then I'm sure, uh, oh my god, a spare Monokuma robot they could put her into? It would make her a date with Yuruko a little weird, though. Oh my god, just imagine her in a Monokuma. One of those, like, little Monokuma robots. Oh my god. But she still loves her for who she is, you know? And we have to stand. We have to stand. Oh, man. Okay, let's talk to Shobai. On the bright side, I do think they're going to do the Tumblr sexy man, like, um, whatchamacallit, poll every year. <laughs> but I was so sad, man. I was like, damn, I can't believe I missed it. This, this monumental event. What do you want? You know why you're dressed? Uh, now I know why you're dressed like that. <laughs> I honestly didn't like you from the beginning. I didn't think it was possible to be more disgusted by the side of you than I already was. But here we are. So are you going to tell me what you want? We've heard everything, including what you did. All of this is your fault. You dug your own grave. Shobai, I'd like to hear it from your own mouth. You assisted with Mikado's plan. But at the same time, you were working as a double agent for the Kizaragi Foundation. Is it true? Who told you? I didn't think the director wanted to talk to you a lot. Oh, Ray Makaru, that explains it. Why? Someone like you. Why? Of course, it's just for money! <laughs> Fucking show by, man. The world has changed ever since the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. My main clients were ones caught up in the tragedy, or people who ended up hiding. That's even more annoying. What's even more annoying is that there wasn't much work because of the res restoration process and the battle against despair. With a lack of work like that, Mikado Sanoji's deal seemed like a rain and a drought. Why would I decline an offer like that? It's so weird to me. Like, I'm guessing it is just because, like, Shobai had access to, like, Mikado's plans, too. But it's just so weird that Kenjo, like, trusted Shobai over Teruya. Like, or, I don't, it just, ah, it makes me so, it just, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe I just have to, like, re-look through it again a little bit. But it's like, man... It's like he trusted Shobai to, you know, divulge information and stuff, but he could have just, like, at least contacted Taria. I just don't... I guess he just wanted to use him as, like, a sacrificial pawn, but, man, it just sucks. Even if your employer is an AI? You weren't even hired by the real Mikado. He was that guy's alter ego. We already know everything. Because he was an alter ego, he became more reliable as an income source. What?! I'm no psychologist, but trust me on this. Humans are the most unreliable creatures on this planet. On the other hand, an AI with a clear sense of purpose is a perfect business partner. Also, the price was paid in advance as a single payment. How does an alter ego even pay you? Hell if I know. <laughs> Probably stole the money from someone's account and deposited it in mine. I don't give a shit. That's... Oh, shut up and leave my... Ma. <laughs> shut up and leave my alone. I have nothing I want to talk with you all. I feel like a dog right now. Did you talk to Aroha? Um, Aroha. Aroha said you told her something. Don't discriminate. <laughs> oh, that girl has a loud mouth. Doesn't she know what confidential information is? I do like Shobai and, uh, um, what should we call it? Shobai and, um, Aroha's friendship is so funny, dude. They're just like, I don't know, their personalities are so funny together. That stupid girl bought information using a standard procedure and paid up. I ain't giving that information to you for free. We'll pay up too. How much are we talking? What's with that look? <laughs> if Aroha can buy the information, why can't we? All right, you can buy my services. It's not like there's anything else to do. So, you wanna know from trash like me? I don't wanna just chat. This is about the investigation. Tell us everything you've investigated so far. It's useless info anyways. Just so you're aware, it doesn't matter what I tell you. It's impossible to beat Mikado Sonoji. How can you be so sure? It's just how it is. There's no way to beat him from inside the virtual world. I mean, we can shut down though anyways, right? Like uh, what Mikado was saying beforehand. I guess he might do some bullshit to where we can't. Or I guess it might be like the Junko thing where she was like, guys, you can graduate. Or I can't remember which one was bad. I think, yeah, I think graduating was the bad one. She was like, guys, you can just, like, graduate and everything will be perfectly fine and great, but, like, wasn't. I guess it might end up being something like that. 
That's why I intervened from the outside. I didn't know shit would end up like this mess. We don't know until we try. I'm surprised you didn't try to, uh, I guess, talk them more into staying not in the, um, like, staying in the real world, you know what I mean? But, uh, I guess he just does whatever. The money, he was like, oh, 20% more money, hell yeah! All right, if you have something to say, make it quick. There's a lot you want to ask me, right? <laughs> Shobai and Aroha are literally Rick and Morty. <laughs> That's so freaking true, dude! <laughs> That really is true. Oh my god, that's the perfect comparison. Your principle is clearly don't reveal any information or transaction details to anyone, right? You're a criminal, but you still have some sort of honor code. Why do you make a contract? Why did you make a contract with Sarugi and Mikado at the same time? Uh, money! That's right, even during the anime. I was like, he really is kind of like anime Mr. Krabs in a way. That's right, even during the class trial, you tried to hide the deal you made with Emma. You're right. I have what you would call a set of beliefs that I follow. Money, 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 money! That's it. I'm not sure if it's because I broke that rule that all this shit is happening. But I had my reasons. Oh yeah, yeah, he did do that. I didn't just mindlessly take the money. Of course the cash was huge, but if you analyze the situation carefully, staying with the foundation was more beneficial in the long run. Makano Sanoji, something's changed since I first met him, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is. I've been doing this line of work for years, and my instinct's been telling me something is wrong, and that's why I betrayed Makato Sanoji. Isn't that the opposite of what you just said? I thought an alter ego would be more reliable than a human. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, didn't he actually just say that? So I was like, it's interesting that he would end up kind of going with uh, Kinjo. I guess whoever pays him more though too as well. I thought that at first too, but the deal went on, as the deal went on, the the more something we something seemed weird. It felt much different from simply being betrayed. It was like an unknown anxiety I felt around Mikado. Come to think of it, doesn't that mean you're in danger too? I thought he was the type of person to kill everybody who betrayed him. Yeah, I don't know why, but I started getting bad vibes from Mikado. Maybe it was around the time he started killing his allies. <laughs> Maybe! I don't know though. Just a hunch. I've already told you. No matter what we do, it's impossible to beat him. He knows I betrayed him, but he doesn't care. Killing me is just trivial for him. Shobai, that's quite unusual coming from someone like you. You usually always found a way. The problem is us. We're just human. We can't win, as long as we're limited by that fact. If that's true, then why the hell did you betray him? If you don't think you could beat him, you shouldn't have betrayed him in the first place. After I vanished, didn't you suddenly get disconnected from the virtual world? Why are you bringing that up? It wasn't supposed to happen. It was an error, hostess. It's been a while since I was at hostess, you know? Is that why the execution was interrupted? No, that was just a side effect of the reboot. Did any of you feel less energetic before then? When I was about to enter the trial grounds, I lost consciousness. That's because, uh, that's because I was shutting down the virtual world from the outside. That's why I betrayed Mikado. That is the only way you can defeat an alter ego. <laughs> I love that Shobai literally saved their asses again <laughs> in the fifth trial. I just realized that. He literally always, always saves them, dude. Whew. Thank you, uh, Big Chuck Rock. Uh, Shobai gonna be Aroha's new dad. He will adopt her. I really, they, they do really give me such, like, grandpa and granddaughter vibes. <laughs> I know he's not- I know he's not that old, I, but like, just like the Rick and Morty comparison was so perfect for like their relationship. <laughs> oh man, thank you for the donation. And thank you, uh, Arturo Pintor. Thank you so much, that's so generous, I appreciate it. Hey Weeby, I wanted to say I finally caught up to your playthrough for this, but might need to watch the VOD later since I missed some. Thank you, I enjoy your content Top to bring me up, and especially now after my car crash. Oh no, I hope you're okay, man, car crashes are so scary. I hope uh, you didn't get too injured or anything like that. I know how scary they can be though, even if you uh, don't get injured and then they're so expensive. It's like your car gets totaled and stuff like that. But uh, I hope you're doing okay and thank you so much. I'm glad my streams have been able to help you. That's why I betrayed Mikado. That's the only way you can defeat Alter Ego, shutting him down. No matter how smart an Alter Ego is, it's just a computer program in the end. You can turn that shit off. Does an Alter Ego die when you shut the device it's connected to off? Death is a <laughs> join the clan, Weeby. I'm sorry for calling him a grandpa, Jeff. <laughs> oh man, join the clan. Oh yeah, actually, Jeff, did I show you what other sticker I got in my collection? Let me see if I. Oh my God, there's a Kinji one in here too. I just saw that. Look what I got, Jeff. I'm officially a part of the clan. 
Show by apologist. Okay, wait, let me make sure it focuses. There we go. And all of his grandpa glory. <laughs> oh, man. Death isn't exactly a thing for an alter ego, but there is alter, alter ego. But if there's no power supply that can't operate, they'll just freeze forever until the until the until what they're connected to is turned back on. Oh yeah, the Kinji one too. I gotta show the the Kinji one. I will forever apologize for Kinji, man. He's so cute. Kinji, Kinji, I miss you. I miss you. You're still alive in Mexico. With Sharia. But what? But that didn't happen. Mikado came back and called us all here, right? If he couldn't turn himself back on, does that mean that someone from the outside turned the machine back on? I got no clue what happened. Who do something like that? Hold on. I can assure you that nobody turned it back on. The only ones that could could have done it are the director, Ray, Mikaro, and myself. We were the only ones in the room. Okay. Literally just... This is a fucking Kinjo, dude. This is a fucking Kinjo. I can't, I cannot fucking defend you anymore, dude. I cannot defend you, dude. I cannot. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Grant, for being a member. A stream falls on my birthday and I forget. Oof. Oh, happy birthday. Hope you're having a, a good birthday. That's so cool. God, fucking, fucking Kinjo, dude. I was just gonna try to blame it on the, on the other people, but. Ah! Damn it. Maybe it wasn't. But it, would it be Ray? I mean, I guess it could be Shoba. I don't know. Would Shoba lie? That's the question. <laughs> I don't think it would be Ray. I'd definitely not. Oh my god. I didn't. I didn't do it. I'm not that batshit crazy, and I'd mess with that. I'd mess with him again. So did Mikado come back? Why would he do that though? He would have no reason to do that. I just don't understand. Was it really only those three who could do it? No clue. If this shit hadn't happened, all of this would be over, and I'd be cracking open a nice cold beer right now. Wait, that means... You said, you said no matter how strong the alter ego is, they couldn't prevent themselves from being turned off, right? Yeah, I was like, I kind of feel like I'm more inclined to believe Shobai's lying, maybe? Because, like, I just don't see any benefit of Kinjo doing that, unless he really does want... It's, was he, like, that worried about Yuki? Was that it? That he felt like he wanted to turn it back on to see if he could save Yuki or something and it inadvertently brought back Mikado? That's the only way I can really see that happening, you know what I mean? You said no matter... I guess either that or, yeah, Shobai's just lying. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of leaning more towards the Kinjo thing. You said no matter how strong an alter ego is, they couldn't prevent themselves from being turned off, right? Ignoring Mikado, waking up from the equation, shouldn't it have been over regardless if he woke up or not? There's two problems here with your idiotic statement. Number one, if we didn't come back here, the door of the lab would remain locked forever. We'd be fucked. Did you even listen to what the hostess said? Mikado locked the door to the lab and locked us all in. The door was powered by electricity. We didn't have a choice since Mikado was in control of the facility. Wait, what are you talking about the facility for? What, didn't Rei Mikaru tell you both? The Neo World program is linked directly to the lab. Mikado Sanoji is the Neo World program himself, which is why he has control of the entire facility out there. You don't seriously think the Neo World program is all contained in some tiny little computer, do you? Wait, so Mikado is the Neo World program? <laughs> yeah, I was the one who installed the Alter Ego Mikado, Alter Ego Mikado into the Neo World program. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, let me, like, can I? Can I refresh this a little bit? I'm like, so Mikado is the Neo World program. It's not contained in some tiny little computer. Okay. So he literally is it? Wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I was the one who installed the alter ego Mikado into the Neo World program. It's been quite a while since I did it, so he's probably almost fully integrated with the Neo World program right now. The lab too. Oh, Mikado, I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls, Sora! Literally. <laughs> Secondly, there's a lot of security in the Neo World program. Man, is he, like, basically omniscient in this world, then? Since he literally is the Neo World program? That's crazy. Mikado, Sonoji, and the Neo World program are now one and the same, so his security has increased significantly. In other words, the Neo World program will no longer shut down. Oh, so that's the trick, man. 
That's the freaking trick. Even if the outside power is cut completely. No way! How's that possible? It's just a machine! It can't run without any power! It's not just basic a basic some basic computer we're talking about. If you really want to stop the power supply at the Neo World program, you'd have to blow up the entire facility, and then we all die! But even that wouldn't be enough. You'd have to blow up the entire uh, Jesus, the entire island to make sure all the wires are destroyed. Wait, we're on an island in the real world? <laughs> of course we are! Higa City I No! <laughs> no, nah, it's just some ordinary island. It's, an ex it's not just some ordinary island. It's an exclusive one with only one facility on it, the lab. Wait, if there's so much security, how did it- how did it turn off before? Even though Mikado came back somehow, didn't you already shut it down once already? You wanna know what I used? Uh, US- oh uh, wow! A USB! Cool! Wow, cool! It's a USB containing the administrator code for the Neo World program. There's an admin code? Using it gives you administrative privileges. With this, you've had- you'd have the exact same power as Mikado. Man, I guess this just totally ruins my theory that Shobai was time-traveling Mikado. Damn it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That really was, like, my, uh, <laughs> my stupidest theory, I think. <laughs> oh, man, this really does confirm that Mikado made Mitch City, and he is Mitch City himself. Whoa. <laughs> Mind blown. Man, Mikado, you gotta be so based in Ship, Kinjo, and Yuki, but then you gotta be so unbased and create Mitch City. I should have fucking known it was somebody evil who created this. Who else would create a fucking giant statue of Mitch made out of gold? Motherfucker. <laughs> fucking Mikado. Fucking cringe Kado. I oh, thank you, Icy Phoenix. Mikado is the world. Run! Oh, man. Thank you for the dono. Because I was the one who modified the New World program in the first place. No, it wasn't just the modification. I did everything from the stealing to building the lab to installing the software. What? Why are you so surprised? How else do you think an alter ego could do all this without a physical body? What? So you're responsible for everyone's deaths? Wait a minute. You did all this by yourself. You might not believe it, but it's true. Well, that's one question answered. Didn't you want to know how I turned it off? Um, yeah. Using the admin code, I was able to modify the program. That's when I restarted the program. Doing that bypassed all the security that Mikado worked on. Okay. Then I got past, when I got past the security, it was just a matter of a few clicks to turn it off. Simple, right? Couldn't you just do that now? If you have the same privileges as Mikado, we're saved. Are you joking? Yeah, I was like, for real. <laughs> not gonna, he's not gonna allow that to happen, dude. Oh, Mikado? Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good nickname. I like that. Mikado versus Cringo. <laughs> Battle to the death. Well, Mitch himself might create it. <laughs> Mikado is Mitch confirmed? We don't know. We don't. Is he really based off of Mik human Mikado's personality? We don't know. How can we know this? How would we know? I think he was actually based off of Mitch's personality. It's all fucking making sense, dude. The Moid theory just gets more and more strong the more, the more we continue on, man. I think you're shocked. Mikado ships Yuki and Kenjo, but also made an island about Mitch. Seems he wants Weeby's attention. <laughs> Seems to me he wants Weeby's attention. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically, man. Oh, man. I like it. Mikado is a good villain. I gotta say. I do enjoy enjoy him as a villain. Thanks for the dono, by the way. Are you joking? Of course he blocked my code. Why on earth would he let somebody who betrayed him have a code like that? How powerful? How powerful really is the admin code? Not exactly that powerful. About the equivalent of Mikado's. Nothing more, nothing less. That Monica edit I made of uh, Mikado is getting more and more accurate, too, the more we play this game, honestly. <laughs> when I was in the real world, it took my permissions away. If my permissions were still here, I could have added some countermeasures right now. So that USB is basically useless. The USB itself is still useful. However, we would need a new password to get the permissions back. Since the password now has been changed, it's gonna be useless to us now. But if we manage to find the password, there's a chance we could rip win, right? Yeah. If we find the password, everything will be okay. Even if we don't know it, we can't we just keep trying different passwords until we find the right one? You can't just guess a password that easily. It's got way too many characters. It's got a chance of a lottery. Either way, what we do now is that Mikado is back. 
And it seems like even now, even he doesn't know how it happened. You haven't even tried to find another solution. You've just been, you've just been sat here. You've just sat here in despair this whole time. It's because there isn't a way out of this. An alter ego will instantly improve its security flaws. There's nothing you can do against something like that. I'm su I wonder if he's been telling, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Kinjo all this stuff too about like, it's useless, you can't do anything. I knew that he would do. I knew what he... I knew what he could do and everything still ended up going to shit. All of my years of preparation, all for nothing. Ha, <laughs> guess my life was destined to be shit ever since I was born. Shobai. Even with, even with saying something so depressing, Shobai kept his usual smirk. It was just as Yuriko said. Unlike the usual cocky Shobai we got before, he seemed deep in despair about the situation. To be honest, he seemed like quite a pessimistic guy on the inside. Shobai was unusually talkative. His abnormal behavior might be because we're all... We're up against somebody who apparently can't be beat. Shobai, what are you gonna do now? He is surprisingly calm, but I don't know. I guess it's just kind of how he is. Both your businesses with Mikados and the Kizaragi Foundation really don't matter anymore. Now that you're a victim just like us, you need to come up with some sort of plan. You gotta save our ass again, dude! <laughs> just like you've done time... The time before, and the time before that, and the time before that, and the time before that. I know you guys will die without me. Well, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm gonna find a way to get out of this situation. Fucking alive. I don't give a shit what you lot do. Don't be so stupid. This whole situation is your fault anyways. Take some responsibility, goddammit. Don't hold me accountable for this. Nothing else to say. I'm leaving. Wait a minute. Wait, I want to ask something. Oh, oh, hey! Shobai, I have something to ask! Mikado! Oh god, I'm like, what if he just like killed Shobai right here? Since he like betrayed him and shit. Ugh. You, what do you want? Now that I think about it, it was you who worked with Nikkei to create the Tower of Babel, right? Wait, you worked with the- oh my god! You work with Nikkei too? How many people did you freaking work with? Literally, literally everybody. Well, it would be only possible for you to do such a feat. Our idiotic void friends couldn't do something like that by themselves. The helpless Nikkei. He must have saved a lot of money to be able to afford Shobai's services. What are you doing here? Finally come to punish the traitor, eh? No way. Don't be so down. You're my precious partner after all. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What do you want from me? What the hell are you after? Even if Utsuro gets resurrected, you'll still be stuck in the virtual world, dumbass. <laughs> For real. Ah, oh, Shobai. You should already know. The plan I gave you. It's the true ending I listed. Is he, like, trying to fuse himself with Utsuro? And then, okay. So he takes... I'm like, wait, 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 okay. So he takes... <laughs> so he takes Yuki and turns him into Utsuro. And then somehow gets inside Yuki Dukali's brain and then becomes Utsuru himself. Is that what his plan is? Is that... I think I think that's what I'm getting. I don't know. I think you, Marcy. Shobai has his nose in everybody's business. I know, right? For real. It's like, how many people did you help? Oh, man. Thanks for the donut, by the way. The true ending. How about it, Shobai? I have a proposition for you. Would you like to work at my side again? I got more money. What? I already betrayed you once before. Why do you want to work with somebody like me again? That's true, but all humans lie and betray. I, however, no longer care about that. Of course, you'll be paid in full. I still need you for something. Man, Mikado's a Shobai apologist too. And <laughs> Shobai, don't listen to him. It's a trap. I'll pay you double the amount Kizaragi Foundation is offering you. It's the same situation as before, no? You joined the Kizaragi Foundation because there was more benefit for you. Now the tables have turned, and it would be more beneficial to join me, wouldn't it? That it was also when you did not know about my updated plan. I'm sure you'd see the benefits if you heard what it entails. Um, alright, you got my attention. It's not like I can do anything to stop you anyways. Show by no! It's no use, Sora! He's not an- he's not on anybody's side. Shobai's mind is swayed only through the power of money. If you wish to change Shobai's money, uh, m money his mind, you'd have to offer him something more. Oh, no. You're a disgrace. 
No, no, how about we talk in private, best buddy? Good luck with the investigation, Sora, Yuruko. The final class trial is approaching us soon! <laughs> fucking Shuma. <laughs> Mother fucking Shuma! <laughs> they left! <laughs> Man, whoever wins is just whoever bribes Shobai more. <laughs> Oh my god. Anime Mr. Krabs for real. Will everything be okay? Do you think Shobai will side with Mikado again? He didn't actually agree to it yet, technically, I think. I'm not sure. Like Mikado said, Shobai isn't on anybody's side. Ever since the beginning, he was always our enemy. The only thing I know for sure is, if Shobai joins with Mikado, we have another problem on our hands, because we haven't really done super well when we didn't have Shobai on our side. <laughs> Kinda die every time that happens. I'm worried about what Shobai and Mikado are talking about. There's still some things for us to investigate, but it looks like there is no way to beat Mikado. We should give up on that for now. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Shobai, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I can't with him. Fucking Shobai. <laughs> oh god. Okay, where to, where to next? We might go to the next floor or something. Oh my god, do I finally get to talk to the best boy, Kinjo? He's gonna, he's not gonna talk to me, dude. Oh hey, the slots. Ah! What the heck is that? Is it Roha? I recognize that scre scream, Aroha? What's going on? Um, where's she at? Oh, there she is. Oh, thank you, uh, Jeff. Whoever wins, Shobai will be happy, and so will I. <laughs> Fucking Shobai apologist. <laughs> um, what's going on, Aroha? Uh, um, oh, it's it's you two. I I'm so mad at you. What are you doing? Playing on the slot machine? What happened to drawing your final piece? Uh, I finished this sw sand sweep, duh. Uh, about that, um, would you like to play the slot machine? What, you want us to play? If you want to play, play alone. We're not just, we're not just messing around like you. That's not what I meant. Something weird happened. Something weird. Huh. Aroha, did you get a jackpot? She must have kept spinning until she got it. Probably been here since we last saw her. I haven't, I swear. Sora, Sora, turn the lever, trust me. Does it always end up on seven, seven, seven? You're acting really weird. It's the luck, Utsuro. Master Utsuro's luck. Sora, just give, just ignore this idiot. I turned the lever of the slot machine, just as Aroha said. The slot machine has been here ever since we first entered the Mana Cruise in the beginning of the killing game. Shortly after the machine stopped, I understood. I understood exactly what Aroha was talking about. Yeah. Yay! What? Master Utsuro's luck. <laughs> It is kind of interesting, too, because it does seem like they mentioned before that Mikado is, like, more interested in, like, Utsura as a person rather than his luck. I feel like that's going to be, like, a port an important part to his plan, too, honestly. But I'm not really sure how exactly that, um, you know, comes into play. Oh, thank you, big, big chunk of rock. Don't forget that Shobai was both more trusted by Kinjo than Teruya, but he was also extorting Teruya in Chapter 4 by holding the food supplies. <laughs> oh, God, I almost forgot about that, man. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Thanks for the uh, dono. Freaking Kenjo, dude. <laughs> I can't keep defending you, man. I need money. I mean, money doesn't do much in the virtual world, but that's really impressive luck. Hey, if we're getting money from this, then we can keep just doing it over and over again. <laughs> like just us and Mikado, like both doing slots. <laughs> I'm gonna get more money. No, I'm gonna get more money. I'll get show by. No, I'll get show by. <laughs> it's not bad. Sorry, turn the lever again. Sora, aren't, you, aren't we just wasting time here? Wait, Yuruko, something is off. Huh? It's like, hey, if we're getting crypto crow, we might as well. <laughs> we can start to pay off Shobai and he can save our ass. As always. King shit. What? All sevens again? Is the machine broken or something? No, it's not that. It's not the slot machine. No matter what you do in this room, you always get the best possible result. The probability doesn't make sense at all. What is this? Wait, I'm going to check something out. Let's see. 
Because of Roja's words, we decided to try out the other games in the room. And the results are outstanding. I want to see some CGs. Uh, I guess not. What is this? We've tried card games, dice, starts, all the results we got were ridiculous. Why are we so lucky? I don't even know how to play pool. The balls go in the holes even if I hit them randomly. Is this just an anomaly caused by the restart of the virtual world? Like how Mikado can use magic? Aroha, do you know why this is happening? Um, I don't have a clue. Huh? That's... This is the power of divine luck! Right, it's me, him. Eh. Ah, he's here! What's with that face? It looks like you've seen... Like you've just seen a monster. That hurts a lot, you know? It's your face! Your face is taunting me! Mikado! What are you doing here? What have you done with Shobai? My deal with Shobai is sure to go smoothly. Well, I don't have to tell you anything. You'll find out the outcome of it sooner or later. The power of divine luck. Oh, the, power of God. the power of divine luck. What does that mean? The entire game room has been changed to give you some clues about divine luck. Okay, so it's just that. This is an artificial simulation. Space of a divine luck. In other words, you could call it call this the divine luck experience. Oh my god, you get to roleplay as Master Utsuro. Some LARPing as Utsuro. Oh my god. Here's, here's your cosplayers. Try them on. You'll love it. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's great. Uh, quick Aroha, win the lottery so we can pay Shobai to be on our side for real. That's what, that's what I'm saying right now, too. It's like, we need some money, man. Thanks for the dono. Appreciate it. I like your avatar, too. It's really pretty. I'm not sure if you uh, drew that yourself, but it looks really nice. The Divine Luck Experience? Now that everyone knows Void's plan to revive Utsuro so that his divine luck will come back, this is the rest of my plan. To create an artificial space of divine luck within my program. Even though it's artificial, it seems real, right? This can be accompanied by extracting Utsuro's legacy from Yuki's brain. What have you done to Yuki? I didn't do anything! Yuki himself is turning into Master Utsuro. In order for me to complete the transformation from Yuki to Utsuro, I need to create a similar experience to the last time it happened. If Yuki becomes a vessel for this artificial divine luck, I will be able to merge it with his body and Utsuro will be resurrected! Mikado, did you create divine luck? I'm not sure how I did it, but I must have been very lucky. During my first attempt, the power was significantly weaker. The fact that the artificial divine luck is so powerful means that the resurrection of Master Utsuro is strong near. Oh, watch this. No matter how I shuffle the cards, I always end up with a royal flush. This is ridiculous. This isn't luck. This is just a big scam you made by manipulating a virtual world. You're just trying to confuse us. Yeah, ah, freaking fly, dude. It's attacking me. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Sprite. Hi, Weeby. Just got to the stream. First thing I hear is, I wonder if Ray did it. <laughs> I'm now sorry for the beginning, but I am terrified. <laughs> I was like, I wonder, uh, I think... What part, what part was that at, actually? Oh, you did draw that yourself. Okay, that's great. It's so cute. I really like your art style. It looks, uh... I don't know. There's just something very pleasant about it. But, uh... I wonder uh, where I said that. I wonder... I wonder if Ray did it. It was like, where did I... It might have been, like, the... I guess, like, the turning off the virtual world thing. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you can get some uh, closure by going back to the beginning of the stream. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And thanks for the dono. Oh, man. I'm not denying anything. However, it's still a so still a game of probability, even if it only applies in the virtual world. But if we put that power inside of Yuki's body, Utsuro will be resurrected and use the personality override feature of the Neo World program. Master Utsuro will rise from the grave. This will no longer be a game of chance, and it'll be the birth of the true wielder of divine luck and the one who controls reality. That's just sophistry no matter how much you try it it's impossible to recreate divine luck oh my god five thousand times what five thousand six hundred minutes you guys know that song i don't remember exactly how it goes this is the exact number of times i've simulated this before wait that's over 10 to the 20th power is that big i don't even know what we're talking about i haven't even heard of a number that high before this is the result of reaching about 57 hundreds of that amount. That explains why it's impossible. That's just a ridiculous number. Maybe for a mere human, not for someone like me. I think it's a rather small number. I was prepared to go 
At least to 10 to the 52nd power. Why not the 53rd? You're so close to the meme number. This was the purpose of my creation. Even if it took me an eternity, I would find the answer eventually. All that time has not been spent in vain. This is the final stage of the plan. The divine luck is already affecting reality. Is it not? <laughs> For real. <laughs> He's psychotic, dude. That's how else do you think I was able to wake up again? <laughs> Honestly, Shobai's betrayal wasn't even considered in my plan. I felt some slight despair when the program was shut down. But nevertheless, I woke up again. I thought to myself, this must be the power of divine luck. What else could it be? Oh, yeah, I understand now. So that's how, so that's how it happened. To complete the plan, you need Yuki's body to become Utsuro, and, you ha and you'd have a perfect form of divine luck. Is that what brought us back to the virtual world? Oh, it felt good to wake up, but the plan was still a failure. Oh, I was saying uh, 50, 10 to the 53rd power because 53 is um, the V3 number, basically. And why I'm holding a class trial to finish the plan out the trial. So you may continue to investigate. You could also keep trying out the divine luck in this room if you wish. Isn't divine luck an amazing experience? While it's not quite finished yet, you can still use it for the games here. Everything is going the way I want it to. <laughs> Isn't life so great? Is that really true? Oh, 52, because Mikado's a Rontaro stan. Also based. Man, Mikado, you keep being based to being not based. It's so hard. I like, do I stan you? I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, thank you for the donut, by the way. Do you truly believe me? I'm only capable of deception. Isn't the fact that I woke up again proof enough? So it isn't too late. There's hope. And I get to go back to... Hey, Roha. Oh, I'm not I'm not sure you deserve it. After all, you were against me just moments ago, correct? That, that's... Even though you betrayed me first, it's... Oh my god, fucking Roha, too. It's all in the past. I'm not gonna die, right? What's the best for me? What's best for me is to hope divine luck gets revived. Yes, nobody has to die. The killing game is over now. You're right anyways. It's all in the past. They say yesterday's enemy is today's friend after all. Oh my god! <laughs> I swear to god, Roha. If you fucking... So shall we work together again? Oh my god, yes! Slay, bestie! Uh, I was left fucking Aroha, dude. <laughs> She's so... Okay, I'm starting to get why people hate Aroha more now. Damn it. God damn it, Aroha, for real. I was lying. Who would want to work with a worthless piece of trash like you? You're that idiotic that you would absolutely... That you would be absolutely no use to my plan now anyways. Do you understand? Oh, <laughs> It's for real. She's like no help. She's more of like a hindrance on your plan uh, anyways. <laughs> She's more like a hindrance to a plan rather than like a help, honestly. Freaking Aroha, dude. <laughs> oh, I did. Hey, sorry, can I join you guys again? <laughs> Don't worry, Roha. I will still spare your life. Isn't that what matters most? Even if you don't like it, the resurrection of divine luck has already been determined. I'll still also allow you to have some brief exposure to it since I'm so generous. Um, Until then, please enjoy the divine luck experience. Please don't... Do I didn't read the rest of it. My bad. Wait, Mikado! Fucking... <laughs> Slap her again, Yuruko. I give you permission to hit to hit her one more time. Aroha, you. Um, <laughs> I can explain. You must have you must have some guts to announce you're betraying us right in front of our fucking faces. Um, I, I'm sorry. I'm so, hey, sorry. I remember when you said sorry in the fourth trial? I'm doing it again here. <laughs> oh my god. Come back here. Say it to my face. Calm down, Yuriko. Roha's already given up. This is just too much. I don't care what he I don't care what he does. I just want him to hurt I just don't want him to hurt us. Sora, what do you make of Mikado's words? About the resurrection of divine luck? What he said might come true. Neither Ray or Shobai could figure out how Mikado managed to come back. The power to make such an unexplainable phenomenon. The power to make such an unexplainable phenomenon happen at will. Is that divine luck? But I don't understand. The true divine luck will return by putting artificial luck inside of Yuki's body. Divine luck. The true divine luck. Um, 
Yuriko, it's not just the divine luck that matters. I'm not sure why, but Yuki is returning, is turning into Utsuro. There's no way, I just noticed, there's like this one number here. When did that pop out? Why is it here? It's like literally the only one that's here. <laughs> I don't know why it's bothering me so much. <laughs> it's like, I can't even, oh wait, there's, okay, there's another one. Okay, I was like, maybe they are still here. I was like, why is there just one number glitched out in the corner? <laughs> okay, there's another one right there. That makes me feel better. There's no way around it. If that's happened, if it, if that happened, Yuki's personality, if that, if that happened, Yuki's personality could disappear forever. The eternal rest of Utsuro is the freedom of Yuki. That's why we have to stop Mikado. Oh man. Okay, that's why I was just there more over there. That <laughs> was like bothered me so much. <laughs> that's right. We all we we all have to get out if you're alive, but our priority is the most at risk here, Yuki. Yuki's life was ruined by Utsuro. As someone who was at Master Utsuro's side for a lifetime, I must help Yuki to atone for my sins. The only way to do that is to stop Mikado's plan, no matter what. I think it's nice too that like um. I feel like Akane was like kind of torn at the end of the game, like between loving like Yuki and loving like Utsuro, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. It's like she almost like wanted, I feel like there was at one point she almost like wanted him to like stay Yuki for like a little bit or I don't know. She, maybe it was like when I got the bad ending, she was like almost like, she did end up like killing him. But you know, I feel like she, she did care a lot about like uh, Yuki Maida or at least the fake Yuki Maida that um, Utsuro was putting on. So I feel like it's kind of interesting that she's like, Helping the real Yuki Maida now, like, uh, she has decided to choose, like, Yuki over, uh, Utsuro in the end. Does that make sense? I can't tell if that makes sense. I just kind of wanted to ramble for a little bit about that. We have to stop him. Mikado Slade. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and leave here then. Oh, I can get more gifts! Yay! What am I going to use these for? I guess I still have the free time events that I'll do, like, the rest of them. I guess I can play those, right? Hopefully I can play those and don't have to watch uh, videos on YouTube. Not that it really matters like that much, but you know, just in case. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Mikado's super secret special room. I totally forgot about this. Oh, I remember this. Oh, yeah, she did stall him when uh, I was throwing to execute the survivors too. That's true. She did uh, have like, uh, yeah, she did have that redemption as well at the end. So uh, I can't remember like all the, the details, but uh, yeah, it is interesting that she is finally like helping Yuki too, you know what I mean? It's cute. Oh, I forgot about the story. It's always been locked ever since we got here. It was always locked, wasn't it? I think, but I think it had a password on it. A password? Wait, it's already unlocked. Do you think Mikado opened it for the investigation? You just like get in there and it's just like a bunch of pictures of like Mitch, <laughs> like the Mitch statue in there still all over the wall. He's like, I did this for you, sweetie, for you to create Mitch City so that your legend may live on, King. It's the first time we've ever entered this room. I don't know what could be waiting for us inside. Let's be careful. It's like Mitch body pillows. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Not one single Mitch body pillow in sight. Not even an Utsuro body pillow. This is so sad. You know, I think we've actually kind of seen this room a little bit in the CGs. This is... As we entered the locked room, it felt like we entered some kind of control room. There were monitors everywhere displaying what looked like security footage around the monocruise. Below it, there was numerous, numerous buttons of unknown use. Also considering it's been locked up until now, it must have been used for... Welcome to my room. Ah! Monocro, also known as the control room. He's back! Yes, King! This room is used to control the entire killing game. Wait, we literally saw you die! Dead? Me! The power of my sexy voice brought me back to life. Do you think I could die? I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm still alive. Oh, what are you talking about? You helped us and then got impaled by Mikado's flame sphere. Help. You, oh, when did, no, he's not fixed anymore, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, that's impossible. I was built only to serve Mikado. God, oh, oh no, he's gone again. He's, he's disappearing. I hold no will towards you all. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you dumbass bird. He's gonna come over here. What, Monica's gone. Oh, were you surprised? Fuck it. 
I can't believe the look on your face is truly perfection. Uh, get pranked, bro. You again. You've already appeared enough times already. I didn't think it was possible to be more sick of somebody. I have to make a cameo in each room. Come on. Since our dear moniker was gone, I should be the one to come and explain everything to you. I basically created a new moniker based on backup data of it uh, that I have. As you can see, it doesn't share memories after a reboot. There were some contradictions in his memory, so I decided it wasn't worth the effort, and I got rid of him again. You just got rid of him? You kill when you want, you save when you want. Is that the message you're trying to send? Sora, Monaco is just a program. For him, the concept of living and dying doesn't exist. But just as Monaco said, this is the control room. To be honest, this room is basically useless. Excuse me? He's like, yeah, isn't he like omnipresent now? Monaco can see everything that happens on the entire island without having to look at these screens. Somebody with a student role could not enter this room until now. I wish I could tell you more about this room, but this room really is useless. Well then, do whatever you'd like. There could be some important clues hidden around. That's a very vague explanation. Before he disappeared, Monaco said that this place controlled the killing game. What exactly does it do? If it really was useless, you wouldn't have built a room like this. Well, I guess you could say it's used to record videos of what's happened over the past few days. The screens of the control room have a function to record everything that happened in Usuroshima with the cameras. Now that the killing game is over, it's a useless feature. If it, if I, in, if I needed it, I would have burned it to a crisp, crisp along with the monocruz. In the end, the situation ended up like this, and now the control room has an unexpected use. To put it simply, the control room has some clues. I'm gonna leave this place. Please investigate at your own discretion. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, bye, Mikado. I guess I can see some tapes of like what was going on the past few days. I guess that might be useful. Um, I guess like the few past few days, would that technically be like the days in like the real world or the virtual world now that I think about it? Because if it was the human world, then like we could see everything that happened in the killing game. Everything that idiot shows us, he acts more and more insane. What's the point with the messing? with the dead, just to mock us. Oh yeah, thank you, uh, Marcy. Mikado, do whatever. Mikado, do whatever, but leave Monica. I know, leave Monica out of it, Mikado. Oh God, another L for Mikado. And thank you, E, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Gold. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my fan too. It's getting kind of cold in here. Let me uh, do that really quickly. Oh man, my voice is starting to hurt too. I feel like Avocado's voice for some reason is like one of the harder ones for me to like do. I think I just get like too extra with it though too. It's really like digging in my throat to like try to make that uh, to try to make that um, uh, whatchamacallit, that sound. Drinking some water probably help though. Yeah, when Mikado left, I was like, oh, good. <laughs> My voice can have a break. I'm sorry, Monocro. Kiruko. Mikado said Monocro is just a program. Monocro did say himself as well, and he told us not to sympathize with him, but I still feel bad for him. He was just used. Originally, he was a program made to help people, and he got turned into a monster. But he's so cute. He got a little chubby, <laughs> chubby, chubby cheeks, though. He's so cute. <laughs> I miss Monocro, man. It's okay, Yuruko. The Kisaragi Foundation has the backup data of Alter Ego, Alter Ego, don't they? Monaco said it was created by Kagarin Corporation, right? If we speak to someone who works there, maybe we can see him again. Because a program doesn't have a concept of life and death. Um, yeah, you're right. Mikado said that this room was re has recorded records of everything that's happened on Utsuroshima Islands, right? <laughs> Oh, that's right! Yes, it is like the whole entire thing. Maybe we could look at things that w we weren't there for to see ourselves? I think so! Oh yeah, we could see their little secret meetings and shit, right? I assume there's like a camera in here too, right? Mikado said it's useless, but still, there must be something useful to investigate around here. Hell yeah, I want to see the camera! There's a dozen of monitors lined up on the wall. You can see the entire interior of the monocruise from here. Some screens were empty, but I assume that they were for the island's cameras that aren't active anymore. 
Mikado is monitoring us from here. No, I think it was used for something else. Huh? Why? Mikado said that this control room was used by Monocro- Or Mikado said- I can't remember if I- Did I like call him wrong again? If he was watching everything from here, he'd have known about the Nikkei- About Nikkei's betrayal and about the Tower of Babel. He didn't know about those things until much later. That makes sense. If he was watching everything from this room, he would have known about all of that. It's still possible, but very unlikely he actually used it. I have always felt that Mikado had a particular set of principles from the beginning. He was always insistent that he was just another student like us. That we had equal rules to each other. Um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if Mikado actually used this room or not. I feel like I kind of remember him seeing him, him in this room, though. Even though I do get what they're saying that it makes more sense if he, like, didn't use this room. But, like, also, I feel like... Yeah, I was, like, I'm pretty sure I remember, like, a CG in, like, the first chapter of him, like, talking to the voids. And he was, like, in one of these chairs. I thought so, at least. Sorry, I think I can work the screens using this control panel. It's a folder. Save videos? Yuruko, we should check these one by one. Searching them all seems a bit excessive. There's well over a thousand files on this thing. We should pick the ones that look important first. It looks like they're also organized by the time they were recorded. I think we'd, we could use this to find the important ones. Could you do it? I'm not really good at using machines. Sure, I don't mind. Just wait a minute and let's start the video. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay. You're kind of messed up. I was like, wait, what am I supposed to be saying? Oh my god, a tennis, a tennis ball. No way. Oh, actually, I guess it's a badman. You're kind of messed with the control panel several times. Is this the Monocruise gym? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Yuki, go further down. Oh, I was hoping we get to see Shinji. Oh god, I can't. Oh, yay, we get to see more cute moments between them. I miss them together, dude. They were so cute. You've done three. You're almost there. You can do it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yes, the final push. You can do it, Yuki. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so cute. Was that Yuki and Shinji training together? <laughs> I think that was the wrong video. Let's try it. I want to see more Mimi videos like that, honestly. Um, how do you use this thing? I thought it would be similar to the CCTV cameras, but... <laughs> oh, that was adorable, dude. Oh, God. Oh, Hajime. Uh, great combo. Oh, what the... No, this won't do. I gotta try something else. Oh, it's so nice to see everybody again, honestly. God. It's been forever since I've seen you, Hajime. Ugh. Brilliant combo! <laughs> uh, Ahsoka! I like his voice too. I did it. My special move is finally complete! <laughs> oh my. Um, oh my god, Ibiki! I miss you so much, Queen! Queen who did nothing, who literally did nothing wrong in her entire life. Oh, she looks so adorable sleeping too! I don't know if I ever really saw that sprite of her, uh, of her sleeping. Um. <laughs> Sis, my knees are hurting. God, it's so weird to see them again. <laughs> sis, my knees are hurting. Ah, uh, blag. Um, sis, are you sleeping? Yeah, drawl. <laughs> yeah, that fucking face again. I'm still so haunted by that fucking face. <laughs> I should have fucking seen. That face always means something bad's coming afterwards. Hippicky, ah. Beautiful, yes, you're so beautiful. Hippicky, Hippicky, my precious Hippicky. <laughs> Get on her, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wait, let me turn this off actually. Oh no, this is probably this is probably copyrighted. Oh my god, she's singing karaoke though. That's so adorable. Uh -huh. These are like my favorite scenes so far, honestly. Oh wait, I think I think the music went went off again. Okay, good. I was like, oh that sounds copyrighted. Uh Oh my god, this is so cute, man. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's some strange recordings. Yuruko, you're supposed to be selecting the important ones. I'm not doing it on purpose, I'm just scrolling through them. We're at the- we're at a Rojas karaoke in the third island, so we must be close to something- <laughs> We must be close to something important. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. Oh, hey! 
Oh my god, we finally get to see your conversation with Nikkei, maybe? Yes. What what voice did I even give Setsuka? I think I gave her like the Ray voice or something, honestly, now that I think about it. Yes, this is definitely something important. About what you said, I'll try my best to find it. Just be careful that nobody finds out that you're a void. Yep. What? Yuruko, it's Setsuka! Yeah, it's definitely her! We can finally see- Yes! Oh my god, we can si finally see what they talked about! I'll be cautious. I'm planning on relying solely on the power of your eye here. Remember to be careful. We need to make- We need to keep this a secret. Don't worry, I've got this. Just believe in your big se- oh, Poor Setsuka, dude. Oh, literally did nothing wrong. <laughs> literally. I feel so bad, dude. I'm so suspicious of her. Setsuka and Nikkei, when did this conversation happen? Oh, thank you, Maki. We're gonna agree Kanade gushes over me. Does Yes, Slay, we do agree on that. We do. I'm just gonna pretend that she was gushing over you, Karma, <laughs> instead of Ibiki. Thanks for the dono, by the way. Setsuka and Nikkei, when did... When did this conversation happen? It looks like it happened around the time the Monocruise was sailing towards the third island from the second. I don't think there's that big of a time difference from when these conversations happened. Yuruko, can we track what these two had been up to? Maybe we can see what Setsuka did. I'll try to find one more. We can also find out more about that note Setsuka left for Nikkei. If we get a good angle, we might be able to read a little of what it said. All right, I'm gonna play the video now. Yes, yes, ah, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oi. It's your turn, Setsuka. Oh, already that's fast. Got any clues? Huh, well, I know one thing for sure. Mikado is hiding something in that room. It's gotta be important. It's the same as last time. Mikado always enters that room right after a class trial ends. Damn, we have to find a way to get in there. I'm just wondering, if you manage to get into that room, what exactly do you plan on looking for? Well, I'm not sure yet. However, Mikado clearly has something to hide inside of that control room. The fact that he enters it after a trial proves that. But you're the only one who can search for clues in such a short time without it arousing suspicion. I know it's dangerous, but I can't do this without you. Uh -huh. Hey, straighten up that face of yours, Kay. You're ruining that handsome face of yours. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, when I first saw you, Kay, I thought, oh my god, <laughs> oh, now we're just like, getting to them like flirting. <laughs> Wait, are they just flirting now? <laughs> Like, like they're just flirting for the next like hour through this tape. Okay, let's fast forward through this part. When I first saw you, Kay, I thought you were a girl. You know, your skincare is amazing. Please tell Big Sis your secret. Hey, now is not the time to be joking around. Take this seriously. You're risking your life here. You know. I know. That's why I have to joke around. Thank you for trusting me, Nikkei. Is it too much to be able to tell the others? We can't. The more people know, the higher risk we get caught. You don't know how cruel Mikado can be. Nikkei, I'm not trying to sympathize with you, since you're a void. But don't try to put a burden uh, all on yourself. This older sis knows how hard you've been working. Sometimes it's not so bad to lean on others. Um, don't worry, you're the only one who knows my true nature. This is just a work relationship anyways. Uh, what? Oh my God! Why are they cute together, dude? Why are they cute together, dude? Why Why is the game making me ship this? What are you doing? Stop playing with my hair. Sorry, you're just like a cute kitty covered in soft fur and I couldn't help myself. Stop messing around. It's annoying. Just go ahead and get some rest. It's almost time for you to go. All right, all right. Take care, Kay. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't have watched that flirting part. A Yuruko? Huh? Yeah? D did you save such a sweet video for the end? No, I didn't do that. Besides, we didn't find any clips. I'll try to skip past all these useless scenes. It'll just take a little bit. A little play. Yuruko. Yuruko's like, damn, I ship it too. Oh my god. It's so nice to have some comic relief in the middle of all this. Uh, oh man, like uh, info dumping and stuff. Uh oh. Is he gone? And no one else is here. 0430, that's it. I wonder if she can even, like, technically enter in, even if she knows the code. It's open. Oh. Kay said that he only needed the password. 
I don't know when Mikado will be distracted again. I've got to take a look now. Okay, wow. I thought for a second it... They said if you had the student role, you couldn't come in. So I thought maybe, like, if you even tried to come in, you would just get, like, blocked out or something. You know what I mean? Setsuka had the password for this room? But more importantly, what did Setsuka find out inside this room? Should we start the next video? Wait, the next one is... This is the last video! It's just more of them flirting. What? That can't be! There's gotta be more! The rest of the videos were just of the other islands and the monocruise. There's no cameras in this room, remember? So, ah, uh, yeah. Damn it! Ah! So that's why there's probably, there's no videos of it. Oh, right. Damn it. I thought that this time, we finally find out what Seska found. We failed again. Yuriko desperately searched for the next video, but the only one she could find was from when she left the room. There's no video for actually in this room. Uh, ah, no, he's back! Ooh, what are you looking at? Ah, I'm tired of you popping up everywhere we try to investigate. Fuck off! Yes, yeah, slay Yuriko. Or slant. Slant? It's useless to search for what Setsuka discovered. It's useless. What do you mean? It really isn't worth the time or worth you knowing at all. You already know everything that Setsuka discovered about me. What? Why is that surprising? You're almost at the end of your investigation and I've given you all the clues already. If Setsuka was not killed by Kanade and instead directly told you the information then, it might have been useful. But now, I feel like he's lying, honestly. Everything is over and there's nothing you can do. No way. I don't know. You've got to be lying. Huh? If the information that Setsuka found really was useless then, why did you delete the note she wrote? Yeah, for real! Gotcha there, huh? Just noticed too, it's kind of interesting how his like pupils are different sizes. Like, this one's like a lot smaller than uh, that one. Just something interesting to point out. Oh, thank you, big chunk of rock. I want to believe that right before the killing game, that Seska used her detective skills to save Hibiki from Kanade. Oh my gosh, because that makes me feel happy. Oh, that's such a nice thought, honestly, man. That's such a nice thought. I hope, I hope that's true. I hope that's true. I'm just gonna pretend that's true, honestly. <laughs> just for my own Delulu-ness. I need to pretend that's true for my own personal sanity. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Kylo. Thanks for coming to the stream. Hope you have a good rest of the day. The note? Monokuro said that the backup data of Setsuka's note was deleted. Mikado, you're the only one who could do that apart from Monokuro himself. Am I wrong? Well, I admit, it was the one... I was the one who deleted it. But I can assure you that the information written on that note is useless now. There was something... something written you definitely should know on that note. Something we shouldn't know? Yes, the purpose of my entire being. The root of my existence. That humans cannot comprehend. My basic algorithm. What are you talking about? It's nothing! I don't care how much you search in here anyways. Because the contents of that note is nowhere to be found in here. And it isn't recorded anywhere at all. It's as Yuriko said, there's no cameras in the control room. And Setsuka died before she could reveal the contents. The two people that will ever know the contents are Setsuka herself and Kanade. Oh, if you want, we could bring back Kanade. I got a demon summoning circle over here. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. If you want somebody to blame, blame Setsuka for not telling you the information more quickly. Don't blame Kanade. She did nothing wrong. I can't. Aww. Anyways, it's only a part of my purpose. It isn't really something you need to look into currently. The reason I unlocked the control room wasn't for you to search for something like that. In fact, it was for you to see this! I'm just gonna show us. Okay, oh no. Is this gonna be him killing Teruya? Fucking asshole. Hello, I brought you some rice again this time! Avocado, dude. He's such a douche! How are you feeling, my good friend, Teruya? No! <laughs> Man! <laughs> Not Teruya! Oh, God, he's gonna show us his freaking death or some shit, asshole. Ah! No! This is when he yeet his last haul. No, Teruya! <laughs> I miss him so much. What's this? Do you not remember? I said in this class trial we will also discuss Teruya's case. This video was recorded a few days ago, just before his murder in Higa City. Look closer at my conversation with Teruya in this video, and maybe you'll find some clues you didn't before. Have a good look at it! The final class trial is drawing near! Oh. 
Ugh, fuck off, Mikado. Ah! Sora, all the information that Suska discovered is useless. Do you think that's really true? No. It might not have been in vain. Despite what Mikado said, Nakei's betrayal. My memories of Akane Taira returning and my contact with the Kizaragi Foundation. Without what Setsuka did, none of that would have ever happened. Finding what Setsuka found out is important, but I'm sure it will overlap with what we already know somehow. And will we even need to figure it out for the trial? From what we've been told, it's impossible to know what the notes said for now. Yeah, I think it would be better to give up on that for now and focus on what happened to Teruya. Yuriko, before that, is there a video from when we first arrived at the Fifth Island? The morning- I feel like I'm just like, man, I'm being so Delulu right now, like... Uh, cause I have like, I don't know, like, some of me wants to believe that like, the note is like... I don't even know if I should say it, cause it's just so Delulu and I know it's not gonna happen, but like... There's just that part of me that always wants like, the people to come back to life, you know what I mean? And I'm like... They keep bringing up this note. What if it means that, like, Setsuka and, like, Kanadi and them have to come back to life for them to tell us what it is and it actually is important that there's a way for them to come back? Uh, I know there's not, but, man, it's just, uh, I don't know, dude. It's, I don't know. I just like to have hope, you know? I keep having, I keep having hope. Thank you, uh, Marcy. Can we go back to Aroha Karaoke, please? That was pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it was so adorable. Freaking Aroha, dude. She's so cute. Thanks for the dono, by the way. The morning after we arrived at the fifth island, I had a brief conversation with Teruya. When we were talking, I heard a weird sound from the other side of the door. And when I opened it, he vanished. I want to check from there first. The day after we reached the fifth island, you were staying in a hotel on the west side of the city, right? Sora, I told you to remember- told you before, remember? <laughs> that it protects you all no matter what. Pain. Pain. Teruya. So much pain. Suffering. Why are we here? Just to suffer. That's it. Watch. Shortly after I open the door, Teruya disappears. And <laughs> bring back Setsuke. <laughs> Guys, we're having Teruya right now. <laughs> this is my final promise. I still don't understand everything. But I must do my duty as a member of the Kizaragi Foundation. Even if that means the end of me. Oh, he's so cute, dude. Oh, yeah, Teruya. Little teleporting thing. Huh. He disappeared, but how? I opened the door right away. It's interesting that, yeah, he was able to get killed, even though he had, um, what should I call it? Um, administrator powers. I kind of forgot about that part. Oh, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Kevin. I reject that hope. Hey, hey, <laughs> all I can have is hope, okay? That's all I can have right now. <laughs> Thanks for the dono, by the way. <laughs> what? He just disappeared. Wait, this is what happened when Shobai disappeared. Shobai? It's the same thing that Ray did. Shobai said that he disconnected from the virtual world using his admin powers. Yeah, it's like, how did he still get killed if he had admin powers? I didn't even really think about that until just now. It happened right in front of my eyes. He just disappeared. Wait, so did Teruya, Teruya leave the virtual world? No, that couldn't have happened. Teruya's body was found a few days after this. Don't do this. Don't give me hope. Don't give me hope. Maybe, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't. I can't take it anymore. I cannot take you guys teasing me. Giving me hope that he's still alive just to crush it like five minutes later. Maybe the body of Teruya we saw was just his avatar, like his empty shell? That's what Ray said. It's a side effect of using the emergency code to escape from the virtual world. However, Ray said that the emergency escape code can only be once. I mean, like, they saw Teruya's body on the outside, I'm sure. You know, they could tell if he was dead there. If we assume Teruya used the escape code, it would mean he's a lot. Don't, don't give me hope! Don't give me hope! But from Ray's reaction, I think he's dead for real. Then what happened in this video makes no sense. It doesn't make sense if he disappeared just like Shobai. Damn it, I'm still hopeful. Ah, man. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God. It's just like, they keep giving me hope, man. And I can't, I can't stop myself. My Delulu is so strong. It's so strong that I latch on to anything. Unless Teruya was an administrator too? Shobai was Mikado's contributor. So we have the administrator code. It could be possible that Shobai gave the code to Teruya at some point. Since he was working for the foundation too, didn't Sora give him the code? I thought I'd remembered that, but I think I was really tired during that scene or something. So I got kind of confused on the exact, you know, uh, discussion they had, but I kind of thought it was her that told him or something. 
Yeah, because she had the thing with Ray, and then she told him. I guess she forgot about that, maybe? I think I think so. I'll look for the next video. We didn't end up in the real world. If we didn't end up in the real world, we should find out what exactly happened in the next video. The video that Mikado showed us. It was in the East Warehouse of the Twin Towers, exactly where Teruya's body was discovered. Yeah, I'll load it up now. Oh my gosh. It's just gonna be a video of Teruya, Teruya being like, Okay, now, yeehaw, I'm now leaving the virtual world. If y'all do here see a dead body, just know that it's not me, yeehaw. It's an empty shell, yeehaw. Thank you, Teruya. God bless. Uh, oh. Oh, god damn it. That doesn't mean he's still here. Uh, what? Where am I? I'm pretty sure I logged out. Oh, thank you, Marcy. Delulu a day keeps the reality away. I know, but I feel like they're just gonna show him die on screen. He's gonna be like, oh, this is really me, Teruya, dying right now. This is so terrible. Oh, the reset code. That's, okay, that was, she was talking about the thing she, okay, so I think I got the reset code and the admin code confused, and that makes sense. Also, thank you, uh, Marcy, for the, uh, donation. Uh, oh, where am I? I'm pretty sure I logged out. God damn it. Fucking Mikado! Pleasure to meet you again, Teruya. Ag Mikado Sanoji! You arriving here means you have unlocked your reset code. After all that, oh, you still fell into my trap! Ugh. Dad, 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 damn you! It's still too early for you to die, even though you're already dead. Huh? Even though you're already dead, there's a possibility that it'd complicate things further if you- What? If you- eh? If you actually died, I decide when you die. Is he like from the first death? From the beginning? Ah, cough, cough. Is that why he couldn't go back? What is it? Why have you tied me up? I must keep you quiet in here for now. Do not worry too much. I brought you some food. Do you really think I'll eat this damn rice you're giving me? Release me now! Remember, my cooking is amazing! Shut your damn mouth. This isn't the time for that. I should be in the real world with- Oh, with Ray! <laughs> oh my god! With Ray! There, we would have a problem. If you disappeared from the virtual world, my firewall would disappear too. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Teruya, when you flew off and lost consciousness on the first island. <sighs> you might not know this, but since you were unconscious, but I modified your data a bit. My data? To put it simply, congratulations! You are now the world's first human firewall to block access to the real world! Okay, what? As long as you're inside the virtual world, nobody else will have access to it from the real world! Oh my... Fuck you, Mikado! Fuck you, you piece of shit! So he could, like, n literally never leave, no matter what. Oh my- I fucking hate- I fucking hate this guy, dude. It's impossible to leave or to enter as long as you exist! Oh, no! Of course, in addition to yourself, there are multiple other security measures to prevent contract with the real world. When the Kizaragi Foundation finally decides to take action, all that security will get broken eventually. However, using a live security device made using your biometric data for its code means it cannot be solved using usual means. How ironic. You're in a situation where everyone's rescue is impossible because of you. <laughs> Can I, how do I punch a character through a screen? How do I, how do I punch somebody through a screen? I just, just want to fucking Man, Sora, can you just kick his ass, dude? I like, I know you've been wanting to, and I just want to, dude. Ah! You're in a situation where everyone's arrest is impossible because of you. It's all your fault. Fuck off, Mikado. Don't bullshit me. I know you're lying. If I'm lying, why'd you end up here instead of disconnecting from the virtual world like planned? If I'm lying, why isn't the Kizaraki Foundation here after such a long time? That's. You don't even know yourself. Just how st Fuck you. You fucking bitch! <laughs> you fucking bitch! In any case, Teruya, you are the insurance of my plan. You must uh, remain alive for the moment. Either way, I can't let you go to the real world. You didn't have to be in prison, but... I can't let you tell everybody that you have your memories back. Please stay quiet, calm, and enjoy your time here. Damn you! You're a damn lunatic! 
Come here, Roja. You need to fucking stop this. This is what I can't. I can't defend you anymore, Roja. You gotta stop this. You can saw. You saw him killing the gay teletub, and you let it go on. You let it go on. Takato. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Candy Dude, for being a member. Takato's an OG god. I hate him so much right now. Oh, he's the fucking worst. Thank you, Marcy. Print out a picture of Mikado and beat it up. Yeah. Oh, hey, that sounds good. Honestly, I might. I might do that for some therapy later. <laughs> A therapy session later. Uh, thanks for the dodo, too. Um, you haven't eaten yet, so I'll leave the food here. I'll even free one of your hands so you can enjoy your meal. Things would be difficult if my firewall died due to hunger. Fuh -fuh. Hey, fuck. fuck you, too, Ra. Fuck you, too. Hey, you go, Teruya. You don't need to worry about the outside world. The plan is almost over. All you have to do is stay here like a good little firewall. It's fucking dick. It's like a fucking dick. If you'll excuse me, come on, Aroha. Oh, God. Wait, Mikado, you damn- Damn it! Ah! Oh, man. I love you, Teruya, so much. I need a Teruya plush, man. We fucking failed him, dude. What are they talking about? Firewalls? It looks like Teruya tried to go to the real world around the same time Shobai was talking to me. Don't know how he knew how to log out. It seems there was already set- it seemed there was already set a trap for him. Teruya fell right into Mikado's hands. He caught and was trapped insta- So Teruya's entire existence blocked contact with the outside world? Is that why the Kizaragi Foundation didn't come to help us? Don't forget that the flow of time is different between the virtual world and the real world, like Ray said. <sighs> I see. So as soon as Teruya died, we were able to go out into the real world. Now that we know this, what do we do now? Should we just keep watching? It's like they keep giving me slight hope and then just like crushing it entirely. They're just like, well, maybe he was a shell. Oh, wait, no, he could never leave the game. He had to die in order for us to even leave. Yay. So there's no way, no possible hope of him being alive, Weeby. Just shut that to Lulu right in the corner right there. There's no fucking hope. No, what we know is... Now that we know, now that we know this, what do we do now? Should we keep watching? I think so. I need some more Setsuka Nike flirting to cheer me up, man. I can't, I can't go through multiple scenes of this. Hello, I brought you some rice again this time. How are you feeling, my good friend Teruya? <laughs> oh no, you haven't eaten. You really want to die, huh? You know if you die here, you'll die in the real world too, right? At least have some water. Get lost. Well, do as you wish. I'm not hungry either. Aroha, I'm leaving. <sighs> ah, see my fly. Throw yesterday's food away or do whatever you want with it. I'm not too bothered. Aroha, can you just like free him and stop being a little bitch? Ah, pet today's food. <laughs> Aroha. Ah! <laughs> I'm not surprised, but are you really the last void? Oh, he looks so sad. Guy, he looks so rough here, man. Uh, why are you talking to me? Is Mikado trying to kill me? Uh, no! Even a fool like me can tell. Makato said if I die, things will be difficult for him. He's expect I do something like this after hearing that. It's all another lie. Yeah, he wants me to refuse to eat and starve myself to death. I don't know anything! La 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 la! Fuck you. <laughs> or is it reverse psychology? If me dying would cause such a problem, why, why aren't you forcing me to eat? Why are you just standing there watching me starve? That's the problem. I'm refusing to eat, and you're both acting like it's according to plan. Huh. And that's weird. If he wanted to kill you, he could do it any time. And if he wanted to starve you, he wouldn't bring you meals like this. I think the meals are insurance. You've poisoned the food, haven't you? Ah, uh, of course not! Uh, poison, you're overthinking! It's just rice! Delicious rice! If I'm wicked spirit, I'll succumb to hunger and eat the food. If I do that, I'll die from the poison anyways. Doesn't matter if I starve or get poisoned. Either way, it's definitely a trap to kill me. Perfect <laughs> Teruya, dude. It's only natural when you think about it. Oh, I can't, man. He just looks so sad here. I just want to hug him, man. It's only natural when you think about it. If I'm alive, then nobody can go back to the real world. So what would you both do when this is all over if you can't leave? In the end, that bastard would end up killing me one day. And he's trying to hide it by bringing me food. Ah! That bastard. He said I'm already dead. 
And that he decides when I die. Oh, so that's what he meant. Like, um, I was taking it more literally, but he means that, like, he's already be dead because, like, there's just no way he can so survive this killing game. Oh, I get it. I know what that means. It's going to kill me, but it's not time yet. He's trying to predict when I'll die by manipulating my actions. <laughs> that's it! I have no clue! But what if Mikado made a mistake in his plan? What if he isn't as smart as he thought? For example, if I stay alive, nobody could get out. And you can't contact the outside. What if you've only focused on your front and not your back and I eat the rice? Huh? Tria, you wouldn't. I bet it's really delicious. Oh no, I don't want to see. Bon appetit. Oh my god, dude. Ah! What are you doing? Why are you so surprised? You brought it for me to... <laughs> Thank you so much, Tyria. I can't. I can't, dude. I fucking can't. Why are you so surprised? You brought it for me to eat. It's kind of awkward to eat with one hand, but... Ah, delicious. I did, but... Aroha, why'd you bring me this? Ah! I don't know! Should I kick it or something? Ah, uh, poor Tyria, dude. <sighs> he really redeemed himself, you know, from like the last game. Because he was, like, not super helpful in the last game, but damn, did he really redeem himself in this game, dude. Man. Oh, thank you, uh, Tarir Blue is a cringe. I know. I know. It makes me so sad, dude. Literally. You're a terrible liar. But I'm the same. Ugh. I don't even know if I did the right thing. But I think this is what... <laughs> I... I can't fucking handle this, dude. I cannot. This is- this is a lot. Fucking Kinjo. Fucking Cringo, dude. I'm so mad. I'm so mad at him! But I think this is what Surugi would have done. God damn it. If this was Ray, Ray she would have been swearing at the food, right? <laughs> you should have done- you should have done what Ray did! Cough. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I should have done this in the ballroom. Oh, no! Yeah, man. He had the best arc, dude. He really did. Gosh. Golly. He's come so far from this. From the ballroom to this, dude. Oh, gosh. Looks like I've grown up a bit. Oh, my god. I don't know how much time I've given them by doing this, but... I hope I help them. Ah, oh, it'd be great. Oh, oh my god. Daruya! No! He's such a sweetheart, man. I'll leave it all to you. Man. Ray. Sarugi. Please. Oh, my god. Oh, man. I know! Me too, Yuruko, dude! So much. So sad, dude. So sad. I love Taria, though. He's such a good character, man. He really did probably have, like, the best arc in this whole, like, series. From, like, the first game to the second. Like, wow. <sighs> Look at Kenjo, dude. Thank you, sentient piece of cheese. Cancel Krenjo. For real, dude. For freaking real, man. Oh, God. I'm so sad. This is too much. Taria died to save us. He sacrificed himself. Man. Taruya. In my memories as Akane Taira, I remember him as a classmate. We might not have been that close, but I'm glad I had more time with him and... With him and Utsurashima Sora. In the end, he wasn't suspicious or a bad... He was the best person, dude! Or a bad person. He promised he'd protect us in the Tower of Babel. He really meant it. He was just trying his best, man. Teruya, why did you choose to die? Why did you need to sacrifice yourself? Was it worth anything in the end? His death has meaning. <laughs> ah! God damn it. Teruya believed in his statements until his last breath. Ray and Tsurugi have already helped us. Fuck. <laughs> Ray helped us. I don't know that other person. He believed in them as he took his own life. The firewall disappeared sooner than Mikado expected. Because of that, the Foundation was able to act sooner. But in the end, they still ended up in Mikado's hands and were forced into the virtual world. Teruya's... 
don't 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 say that don't say that dude don't don't say that man oh my god Teresa's sacrifice was in vain i'm sorry i'm just so worked up Man, I can't. I can't, dude. I fucking can't. It was in vain. Maybe you're right. Yeah? But we're the ones who can change that. God, can we please? I just, like, I don't want his death to be in vain. Like, that's just the fucking worst. He went through all of that, sacrificed himself for us, and then it all was in vain. Like, that just, that's too much, man. That's, it's too much. Oh my god. Let me read some of these donations. <laughs> a little break. Oh gosh, man. Thank you, uh, Bless Bane. And Ray was probably no god. This is not a break. This is making it worse. <laughs> and Ray was probably watching this the entire time. Oh my god. Oh gosh. He deserves so much better, man. I can't. I fucking can't. Thank you, X Fun. Meanwhile, Sora, Yuriko, and Yuki were having a cute little. <laughs> oh my god. While well, this, I feel like we failed him too. You know, like he disappeared, and I feel like we should have looked harder to like find him. You know what I mean? Like. I feel like in a way, honestly, us three like failed him as well. Cause like we didn't see him for days and like nobody like went after him until it was like too late. It, oh, it makes me mad too. Thank you, Marcy. Tari is still alive. <laughs> Delulu times a hundred. It's okay. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to stay in my Delulu arc. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I oh, thank you, Rid PR. So are we staying, are we still calling this the Kinjo cult? <laughs> Give me a little bit of time. I might just need a little time to decide, honestly. The Teruya cult. He was a part of the Kinjo cult, though, to be fair. It's kind of like, you know, the stuff with Kanade. It's like, once I see it in the moment, it's like, man, I'm so mad at you. But it's like, you know, I can appreciate her as a character. Like, after the fact, it's kind of how I feel like I'm kind of going through with Kinjo for right now. I'm just like, fuck you, Kinjo, you piece of shit. But like, we'll see. <laughs> I'm sure I probably will forgive him because I do like him. Or not forgive him, but I still just like him a lot as a character. But like, uh, this is, yeah, some really unforgivable shit, man. Oh, thank you, Akito Naki. Kinjo Colt over. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. Thanks for the dono. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of the same as the last one. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like a... Oh my god, literally. <laughs> Donating. Kinder Sur... Sergey Kinder did nothing wrong. Are you sure about that, buddy? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you positive? <laughs> Are you positive about that? <laughs> I'm not so sure that name is true anymore. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Brian, too. Why couldn't it have been the... Ki Why couldn't it have been Kinjo instead? I feel like hopefully Kinjo will redeem himself by the end of, like, this chapter. Maybe he'll sacrifice himself somehow and, like... I don't know... Like, for Teruya, like, I don't know. I'm so hoping maybe he'll sacrifice himself and, like, make up his character, but man. Teruya is visiting Satsuki and Haruhiko in Mexico. That's the only thing that's getting me through this scene, man. The Delulu is the only thing that's getting me through this. Thank you, Kara Tree Cake. When I played this and saw this scene, I quit the game for a week and tried to compensate. Truly the saddest death scene in Dying Up. I know, man. It's so sad. This really is. Like, gotta be with the top saddest. <laughs> of course. He would get the saddest death along with Haru and Satsuki, like, uh, the people he was closest to, you know? It's not oh, it's not over yet. We're still fighting with him, and until we lose, his death is not in vain. You're right. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to insult Turiya's sacrifice like that. When he lost his memories, I said a lot of harsh things to him. I'm so sorry. I know, everybody was so mean to him, too, and he was always just trying to save them. It's all Mikado's fault. The power of Utsuro, the cause of everything. It's all because of divine luck. We're gonna put an end to it all. Hell yeah, we are. Fuck you, Mikado. As it should be. We will return from the virtual world with a newfound hope. We'll end this terrible tragedy. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay now. Ironically, I feel more motivated to do this. Like the will of Teruya is with me. Man, I'm as <laughs> Ah! Do we still have time to investigate the control room? Is sure to have some more clues around, so let's go looking. What we know for sure is that Seska investigated here and found a lot of information. Even if it's information that we've already heard from Rei or Shoba, we might find something we missed. Yeah, what caught my attention is when Mikado said, what you shouldn't know. Does the fact that Seska found it here mean that it should it could still be hidden somewhere in this room? I mean, considering Mikado ended up going as far as to delete the backup data of the node, I doubt it. Either way, we've already looked in all the other rooms. 
I think that we should stay here for the remainder of our time and investigate every corner of this room. Okay, so we are just gonna finish it off in here. Oh man, that was, oh god, that was so hard, dude. Thank you, uh, Ross Emblem. Taria deserved better. I know, man. Really, him and Hibiki got like the worst, uh, the worst, I don't know, the card, worst cards dealt to them in this game. Gosh, I like, just wanna punch, I need to, I need to punch Kinjo like uh, Yuki did that one time. I need to look at that picture again just to get it out of my system, man. Oh gosh, the control room, it's not that spacious, but there's a lot of documents in here. I don't know if it's possible to check them all, but I'll try my best to look at as many as possible. Essential room recording has been added to the bullet section of your handbook. The saddest video you've ever seen in your entire life has been added to your handbook. Okay, let's save. Man. Wow, 66 hours, dude. This game is long. Hey, Yuriko. I need my wife to cheer me up, okay? Yuriko's examining all the files. I better not disturb her. Cheer me up? At least just seeing her being pretty is cheering me up. Look at her. Look at how pretty she is. Aw. Queen. Bestie, queen. Slay. Serve. Do whatever you want, queen. I don't even care anymore. There's numerous folders, each filled with files. Most of the files were documents written in multiple foreign languages or reports written in some programming language. Even in the midst of all those, there's still a few that I was able to read. The profiles on the next generation symbols of hope. It's similar to what I saw when I was investigating with Monocro, but it'll be useful for those who weren't there for that. That's good. Yeah, it's just what I've read before. Still, it's good to be able to have a refresher on all this, especially all the collected, all collected together like this. By reviewing the information I only heard in words before, by reviewing the information I only heard in words before, I was once again convinced on the clues I got. Okay, well that's good to have the reaffirmed, I guess. I went through the documents for a few minutes, but there wasn't any new information as I'd hoped. Man, it's gotta be something here though, right? Maybe Yuruko will find something? Please, wife, Yuruko, any luck? Uh oh, huh? Yuruko, what happened? You're so pale. Uh-oh. Oh, hey! No, Daruya! <laughs> no, I'm seeing him just look cute. His cute little gay Teletubby form is just making me sad. <laughs> just making me sadder, dude. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at little Daruya, man. I can't. <laughs> I just want to hug him, dude. He's so fucking cute, man. <sighs> damn it, why did he have to die? Damn it! <laughs> I look at the thick folder Yuruko was holding. Why do they have to put Har Haru's death on screen too? Why Why do they have to remind me of that? I don't want to think about that. It's a report containing a summary of the killing game of the 79th class. Sora, this is... The report contained a section on how the killing game started. All the murder cases, the class trials, and the culprit of all of them. The details of the class trial, the black end of the killing game, the ending. Everything is shown with detailed pictures. Memories. Memories that I'm still not sure are my own, but I still remember it all. Words in the report, the photos in the report, they all reveal the sins of my past. Oh gosh. Ultimate lucky student, Yuki Maida. Ultimate maid, Akane Taira. These two from the Senate of class, they were the mastermind behind Teruya's killing game. They're the Sin Mikado Sinoji of our case. Didn't you say you were Akane? No, that's... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Awkward. I tried to refute the words of Yuruko that weren't like Mikado, but she might be right. Mikado is ex exactly like Akane Taira. They both masterminded a killing game and were, were responsible for the deaths of many innocent people. How can I argue that I'm any different from Mikado? Oh, no. Hey, wifey. You gonna dump me now? Are you gonna dump me? Come on, I just had to watch that really sad video about Teruya. Can you not dump me? So that's it, Sora. That's what you did. That's why the Kizaragi Foundation despises you. Oh, uh, no! Not like this! Not like this! I wanted to tell you myself, but I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Oh god, the music's going away. Sora, I... 
Oh, Sora has been excited. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the twin longer ready. Oh, I cannot wait to cancel her. Oh my god, I've been waiting for the Sora's over party. Finally, the trend. God, it's been taking forever. Everybody's too busy canceling me all the time. Oh my god. Thank you, a uh, big chunk of rock. Oh no, Yurko fine. Found out about Ayame. She's gonna be jelly now. Quick, Sora, tell her how pretty she is. <laughs> I don't think she's upset about that part. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the dono. Thank you, Sean. They're both Sims for Utsuro. That's true. They are. They are the same, man. <laughs> they are the same in that sense. Sora's been exposed. Let's cancel her. Ah! <laughs> is that not what's happening here? The final class trial is near, but you're separated rather than unified. What a big development before the trial. You again? How many times are you going to show your ugly face here? Uh, I'm beautiful. Have you seen my fangirls? I'm not trying to have a ser- I'm trying to have a serious talk with Sora here. You're mistaken. I'm not here to intervene with your conversation. I'm here to make an announcement. An announcement? Since the Monocro is missing, I have to make the broadcast myself. I'm just gonna go to you guys individually, I guess. Monocro's announcement facilities are held in the control room. Oh, okay, that's why. Didn't you see the microphone during your investigation? Oh my goodness, I'm just imagining a little Monocro. Uh, oh, I was imagining a little Monocro on the chair with a little microphone being like, Okay, guys, you gotta go to the council. He's so cute, little monocro. Hello, testing, testing. Can you hear me? The time has finally come. Everyone who is investigating or exchanging information, it is time for the final class trial. The instruments of the trial grounds are located on the first floor of the monocrews. Please don't be late. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you all think of my monocro impression? Please, can you just go away for a moment? You don't seem to be in a good mood. But folks, put the past behind you. The class trial is about to begin. Please focus on that for now. I know, just fuck up. So based, queen. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> then he just fucks up. <sighs> um, come on, Sora. What? What are you confused about? The class trial is about to start. Aren't you going? Yeah, I'm going, but... Yuriko, I can tell you want to tell me something. I do, but it's not the time for that. I'll dump you after the class trial. Good, then I can die before that. And then we'll be together forever, ever, ever. Thank you, uh, Kenny dude. Taria is fine. He's piling gay merch on Dakota. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh gosh. That's sh Well, hey, where would Mikado, human Mikado, be? Would he be in Mexico? I don't think he'd be in Mexico. Probably be in Hawaii with Mitch, honestly, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for the dono. What the fuck is that thing? Monocado? Who is that? Is that you, Dara? You're the only one to do something that cursed. Oh my god. Monkey's gonna be so traumatized. I'm in your walls to cancel you, Sora. The twin longer is ready. It's already ready. Oh my god. Thank you for the dono. You've already talked about this. I don't care about what's already happened. The investigation is over now. We need to head over to the doomsday room. I can't worry about all this now, but let's not do this now. We'll talk about this after it's all over. Of course, after we've defeated that monster, Mikado, monster Mikado and are safe in the real world. So we'll figure it out then, okay? Oh God, Yuruko. What? Thank you, you're always there for me, Yuruko. Perfect queen. Sora, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not forgiving you. It's not that I'm even worried about you. I'm doing this for me. I guess I'm being selfish, but that's how I feel. What? Kind of protecting her own emotions. I'm sure it's hard for her to accept this. No, forget about it. I'm sorry about that. I sounded weird. Let's go. We oh, she's so cute! Oh, look at her! Oh, she's so adorable! Let's go. I don't want to be late. Aww. Yeah. Look at your go, dude. My queen. My wife. My one and only. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Can it really be like that? Oh, she looks so cute. That seemed like a new sprite, too. I think she's over. I don't have time to look at that. We gotta go to the trial grounds. Well, I don't know. Just question marks here. I feel like I need to click it. Control pan be used to change the screens, please through through videos. Finally, like the porn videos. I wanna rewatch the Nikkei Setsuka stuff. Come on, that's important. Come on, Sora, let's go downstairs. Okay, let me go ahead and save. I think we're gonna have to do the trial next stream for sure. Um, I don't know if I should end it here or maybe like walk a little bit more. We could probably do the um, Utsuro. 
hand-holding thing, too, if we wanted to. It seemed like it was a bad ending. Does Yurka like maid outfits? <laughs> Hashtag still sad. <laughs> it's okay, you know, you just gotta meme a little bit to try to cheer up. <laughs> to try to cheer up. I feel that. I feel that for sure, man. Oh, man. Thanks for the donut, by the way. Thank you. Okay, that's great. I love Yurko and Sora. God, I wish I was gay. God, I wish gay people were real. God, if only. If only. It's so sad. It's so sad that they're not. Don't worry. Sora and um, Sora and Yurko made them real. They they made lesbians real, and we have to stand. We have no choice. Thanks for the dono, by the way. Hey you. Hey you. Wait a minute. Huh? Shobai, you're working for Mikado? It's not like that. And business is business. You get it, G. You still have the money you collected during the game, right? Are you talking about the crow cards? Yeah, them. If you're interested. I'm selling all my stock right now at a special price. Oh, yeah, for, um, for that. Okay, yeah. I, did I buy everything? I don't think I bought everything. Final class trial is about to begin, and you're still trying to do business in a situation like this? There's still shit I gotta sell on. If you're interested, just talk to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Before you start the class trial, you can buy skills from your dead and alive classmates from Shobai. Okay. Did I do? I wonder, can you buy them all even if you don't have Shobai's thing? Okay, great. This is what I got in stock. Anything pique your interest? Rocket booster. What's this? Increases crosshair speed. Oh, no. That's like, that's daily lay. I thought it would just have a... Uh, I don't know, um, the other one for a second. Makes back of the cards visible during Hangman's Gambit. Oh yeah, that was nice, but uh, I don't know if I really need it that much. What I have, like 50,000? Angel Angelic face. Acquire a small amount of bonus experience. Nah. Double shot. Doubles the number of gifts earned. No. Maybe I can do that one later, though. Grants one additional point of intimacy during... No. I think I've gotten, like, all the <laughs> class trial ones, honestly. Doubles the amount of experience. No. Highlights the key worries of the opponent's argument during scrum debates. Oh, I guess maybe I could get that one. I think that was kind of like, was that like what Kinjo's was in the last one? Wait, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Weeby can turn turn the page. And you mean like the page in here, I think. Uh, uh, don't know. <laughs> Wait, the stream broke? The stream break for you guys? Hopefully it's okay. Can't totally tell. Hopefully it's okay though. Okay, that's good. Swinto from Nikkei. I guess I'll, I'll look at all of them before I decide. Business! So Memento from Turio, would you like to buy this? Oh, doubles the amount of obtained crow cards. Oh, okay. Would that just be like in general from like the trial though too? It seems like I already got his uh, other thing. Uh, marketing, displays location, yeah, no. Yeah, I think I've got, got, I got like everything. Doubles the amount of XP gained after a class trial. It's like, that one's kind of good, but I don't know. Eliminates two of the incorrect truth bullet arrows during nonstop debates. Oh, that's kind of good too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, of course yours is so freaking expensive show by. Man, <laughs> always, oh my God. Oh, thank you, uh, someone unknown. Thank you, Lanouge, for inventing gay people. Gosh, Lanouge is so based for that. For real, let's just be real here. Lanouge was so based for inventing gay people. It was so crazy. So crazy of him. His power. Okay, should I get, I don't know. What should I get? One cowboy hat with a pair of goggles going for 10,000 monochrome. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you, a big chunk of uh, rock for the, uh, <laughs> for the uh, donation. Damn, dude, I want to get this. Can I? I can't gamble or anything, right? Damn it. Lucky XP. Maybe. I think I want to get his. I think I want to get Nikkei's. It seems like it'd be really. Oh, yeah, yeah, the scrum debates. So maybe that. Oh, God, it'd be nice to get. It'd be really nice to get his, though, too. Let's do this one, though. I feel like I was kind of struggling in the last scrum, scrum debate. This is why you should have hung out with Shobai. I'm sorry, okay? He wouldn't have given me money. You know, actually, he would have taken my money anyways. He would have already taken my money. He wouldn't even help me at all. Freaking Shobai, dude. Um, what else do I need? Do I need anything else? Thank you, uh, thanks for the dono, uh, Jeff. Um, what was I? Kokoro's or Nikkei's? I think I already have all of these. Mines. Oh, yeah, Mind's Eye. 
Yeah, hers is uh, pretty good, too. I guess I might get hers. I don't have to take a picture, I guess, if I do Hangman's Gambit anymore. That'd be kind of nice. Why not? We'll do that one. Let's see. Is that all for the... Oh, yeah. I got his daily life one. I didn't get his... Uh... Eh, I don't know if that's really that important for me, honestly. Okay, daily life, daily life, daily life, daily life, daily life, daily life, daily life. Okay. The only trial one I didn't get was freaking, freaking Hashimoto's. <laughs> thank you, customer. Please come again. <laughs> no, thank you, Shobai, you asshole. <laughs> freaking overcharging, man. Overcharging so much, dude. Man, why do you have to make it so expensive? Lame. Lame. What would be a good, uh... Nickname for Shobai being uh, lame. Okay, right, here we go. What's up, girlfriend? This is the last time we have to do this. We've got to keep our spirits up somehow. Let's go. Okay, um, should I go ahead? It's gonna start everything though. The interest of the trial grounds. It's the last time I'll have to go through the store. Will Mikado win or us? I guess we'll see the end result. I think the others are already inside. I can't see anyone else around here. Sorry, you ready? Let's go, Yuriko. Yuriko and I nodded together. Slowly I began to open the door of the trial grounds. Okay, I thought she was gonna give me a choice or something. Oh, Trashy Moto is a nickname. Ha <laughs> ha, Trashy Moto. That's a good one. Huh? Yuriko, where are you? I can't see anything. Uh, what's this light? Huh. The fuck? What? Someone is calling to me. Oh my god. Utsuro Sama. It's like all saturated. It's you. What are you trying to say? I can't hear you. Okay, bye. Are you leaving? Bye. Hello, Utsuro Sama. <laughs> bye, Utsuro Sama. Wait! Don't go, you! You! Are we in Mexico? For real? Uh, uh, damn. Uh, empty! Empty, 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 empty! Oh god, no. No more empty! Oh god. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was good. Good times. Huh? I'm in the trial grounds? Oh, Sora. Yuruko. Do you remember anything? How did we get into the courtroom? Ah, oh, you're both here. Aroha. Aroha, you sure have some guts to talk to us. Yuruko, wait a minute. Slap her, Aroha. Uh, slap her. No, slap her, Yuruko. Oh. oh, there he is. Aww. Not Yuki Doogly. Oh, God. He looks awful, man. Is that Yuki? Oh, Yuki, we gotta, can we at least save Yuki? Even if we couldn't save freaking, uh, if we couldn't save Taria, can we at least save Yuki? Center of the courtroom where Monocro usually sat on a huge western chair was Yuki sitting silently with his head bowed. After all this time, we finally found him. His gaze was just the same as when we met him with Mikado and the singularity. Yuki, oh my god. <laughs> Now I stand you again, Kenjo, because you're sipping for Yuki. Yuki! Yuki, look at him! Is he still unconscious? Did Mikado move his consciousness somewhere else? Yeah. Help me? Is that him? No! Yuki! Oh, no! Oh, there he is! Someone please! Oh, no! Yuki! Someone help me! Oh, my goodness. Yuki! Sora! You're here to save me! Hello, Yuki! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ro. <laughs> what is this? Why are there two Yukis? Ugh. Sora, what happened? Who are these people? What happened to my body? Why is my body just lying there? Yuki, calm down. What is this, Yuki? Why do you look so digital? I don't know what happened. We lost the class trial, and during my execution, I just lost consciousness. When I woke up, I was trapped in a strange place, and there was nothing around me. It was so scary. I don't know how long I was going to be trapped here for. Yuki, wait. We'll get out of here soon. It seems you're all here. Poor freaking Yuki, dude. Oh, gosh. 
Welcome everyone to the final class trial. Mikado! Mikado, explain yourself. That's, what's happened to Yuki's body? His body, didn't I explain it to you all last time? I took Yuki's consciousness and put it elsewhere. Don't worry, although it seems strange, but he's perfectly safe, I can assure you. His brain is simply in another space. I'm not worried about that, I can't even move. Why is this happening to me? Why am I trapped here? That is because you're- oh, Fuck off, my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what? That is because your body belongs to Master Utsuro. You were just borrowing it for a while. This is a virtual world. That body is just an avatar. Could you stop making such a fuss about it? This isn't funny! This is my body! What are you doing to my body? Give it back! I want my body back! Don't worry, I'll return it to you. We made a deal after all. You said that when this is over, Utsuro would take over my body. Give my body back now! Get me out of here! Yuki, calm down! How do you expect me to calm down? It's my body! I can't calm down when so <laughs> God, take a shot every time he says body! When somebody's trying to take my body from me! Do you know how it feels to see your unconscious body? Do you know how weird it this feels to me? I know exactly how it feels! Ah, I guess you yeah, she kinda has gone through the same thing. What? I'm the same, Yuki! I know what that feels like more than anyone. Sora. Don't worry, Yuki. Everything's all happening in a virtual world. This isn't over yet. We can take it all back with our own hands. But how? I don't have a body. I can't even move, so how am I supposed to defeat Mikado like this? Don't give up. As long as we endure this to the end, we will find a way. No matter what happens. I will save you, Yuki. And everyone else, too. I promise. Ah. Bravo! What a touching speech from our dear Sora! I was wondering how... How to calm Yuki when he's in such a panic state. And you've done it for me. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up. So then are we starting on board? We can start immediately. Now everybody go to your assigned stands, please. Oh my god. Fucking Mikado. Oh yeah, I guess Yuki's kind of at a stand too. I'm so glad everybody made their own resolutions and gathered in this trial ground to defeat me. You've all investigated. You've all investigated. All you can, right? Let's start the final class trial! Wait! Final class trial? Why is there another class trial? Did somebody die? Well, I'll give a quick explanation of what we will be discussing when the trial starts so you're not confused. What do we... What do we get for clearing the class trial? Do I get to live? Do I get my body back? What is it? You can I understand you're confused, but try to calm down. If you're acting like this, we can't focus. We're here to save you. That's the goal of this class trial. Aw, I'm sorry, I didn't ask before, but... <laughs> oh my god, but who are you? I was kind of wondering, I was like, how do you, I was like, I don't think he actually had seen uh, the, like, uh, Yuriko's in her, like, uh, older body. What? <laughs> oh, this is the first time Yuki's seen Yuriko's real appearance. Hi, huh, Yuriko, you're Yuriko? You look completely different. Well, I'm sorry, I look so different. It's not really that important, but now you know who I am. It's okay, Yuki didn't recognize- Yuki, I didn't recognize her either. You'll get used to it eventually. So we have Yuriko, Sora, Roha, Mikado, Shobai, and are these two from the Kizaragi Foundation? Hey, one of the class trial turned into common shit chat. Can we get started already? No, I want to see him talk to Kinjo! No need to rush, Shobai. We need to give Yuki time to fully understand the situation first. Think of this as a warm-up, since you won't have any time to relax when the trial starts. In that sense, everyone, please keep talking! Does everybody- does anybody have anything to say? Oh my god, Kinjo. Okay, no. Yuki Maida. Oh god, oh god, oh my god, oh my god. Is he gonna profess his love or go on a rant about how he's a dirty criminal? Yeah, are you from the Kizaragi Foundation? I apologize. This work has truly become deplorable. Please, accept my condolences. The Kizaragi Foundation will save you. Just be patient. Oh, okay, cool. He's being sweet. That's good. Ah. That's all you have to say? A real professional you are? Do you really have nothing else to say? No confession of love? You truly are a different person, Mr. Kinjo. Shut up and start this shit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll not drag this on for too long. Let's get started. Due to the absence of moniker, I'll give the explanation myself. Hope you can all follow along. Oh, oh, oh. This is our final class trial. Are you gonna do a rap song, Sora? I don't know the real reason for this class trial, but Mikado still has something he wants to achieve. It's not just Yuki. We're all in danger by bringing Utsuro back to life. We have to stop it. 
At least he's being sweet to Yuki. Not that he has any reason to hate on Yuki, but you know. Uh, oh god, I don't want to see that one again. Oh god, oh no. Man, so many people have died. Man, did I have to get a close-up of those again? Despite the various degrees of good and evil, all of them died because of Mikado Sanoji. If we let Mikado get away with this, there will be more victims. That's why we have to put a stop to this. We can't save those who have fallen. The dead who have already left us can't return. But we can we can still save us survivors. Aw, so pretty, Sora! Master Utsuro, if you were here, what would you do? Would you save Yuki? Who hurt you so, who you hurt so much? You who was indifferent to everything. Would you even do anything? Someone who's been saved by you. I think I might be going too far trying to speak for you. But I've still got to fight for the truth. I don't know what's going to happen to my body on the outside. I don't know what the future holds for us. And there's no guarantee we can beat Mikado. However, I will still fight. Not as a Kane Tyra, but a Sora. But as the me who's standing right here now. Aw, Sora, queen! Ah, pop off. Yes, would you like to save? Okay, I guess I'll probably have to save here and then call it a day. I guess um, we should probably do that other ending though first, right? Gosh, we've already probably been going for like, how long? Like five hours maybe? I wonder, I might try. Oh, almost five hours, I guess. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to do the trial today. But um, we can maybe go ahead and save and then I can do um, whatchamacallit. Um, the other the other ending maybe was what it was. Yeah. Okay. Save. Okay, cool. I can uh, do this too. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's just save it again because I'm paranoid. <laughs> okay, let's learn that other thing. Oh, we shouldn't do the other ending? Okay, ended here. Okay. If you guys say so, we can do the other uh, ending later then. Especially if it's, uh, well, I guess you guys can just let me know, maybe? I can't tell, I'm seeing uh, different things in chat. It's best to end here. So no other ending is what the mods are saying, maybe? Let me just drink some water while you guys, uh... Oh, I guess you called it another ending. <laughs> I got you. Good one, good one. Watch the other ending now if you want. Okay. I don't know if I should do a poll or something, man. Phew. It's like, is the other ending short, I guess? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks for the membership, Richard. <laughs> Rip. Oh, man. Rip. I know, people are saying it's short, but I'm also seeing people saying not to do it or just end it here, so I can't really tell what I'm, uh... Might take half an hour for the one, possibly. Um... I guess we can uh, maybe just end it here then today since, uh, well, god dang it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, what did my mod say? How how long is it? Because if it's short, I don't mind doing it. I just don't want it, I just don't want it to be like the, uh, the Mitch Island thing where we like, <laughs> where we uh, start it and it's like a two hour endeavor. <laughs> but it's like 30 minutes and I don't think I mind. Okay. Some people are okay. I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust you, Marcy. Five to ten minutes. If it takes me to Mish Island, it'll be on you. <laughs> it'll be on you, Marcy. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll do it really quickly. Okay, say it's been a while. Da -da -da -da. I'm just gonna skip through. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Wang, I'm happy to see you again, but... I don't know if I really need to read through this again. I wish there was a way. I don't know if there's a way to go through this quicker or not. Yeah, Sora slay. Okay, Sora slaying as she dies. God, freaking fly, dude! Get out of my face! What should I do? Okay. Holding control in mashing space? Really? Okay, that does help a little bit. Thank you! Okay, that actually does help a lot, man. Okay, cool. Good to know. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was the other game that I thought it didn't help. Because there was one game I was playing, I felt like it didn't really help too much. Okay, here we go. Time to choose! <laughs> Let's be an Utsuro simp. Yay! I'm assuming she just dies, right? Take Utsuro's hand. I'm sorry. Mistress Sora. Oh! <laughs> I'm so tired. You could promise. No, of course. I know it's an act that doesn't deserve it. Well, but what can I say for my last will? I give up searching for happiness. What? What about the others about Yuki? Uh, you- <laughs> Oh my god! It's like a Monica moment. Reminds me of Natsuki. She's like, fucking Monica! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Tell her, pop off, queen. <laughs> I don't even want you to choose me. Come on, Master Utsuro. <laughs> okay. You're not going to regret this, right? <laughs> no. This is my choice. The right choice, for sure. Master Utsuro. You waited alone for such a long time. I'm so sorry. I guess she's talking to Utsura still. In late fall, when the cool breeze began to blow, the modified New World program of Utsurashima came to an end. Many people died. There were many sacrifices. As the year came to a close, there were still many mysteries that hadn't been solved. However, thanks to this, all of Mikado Sanuji's work completely disappeared. Oh. The spear is also over, and humanity seems to be returning to a peaceful era. Interesting. Please. Please help me! Huh. What the fuck? Oh my god! What does it say? Oh! Ugh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! No, not the Kinjo fan service! Not the Kinjo fan! No wonder it was Marcy who was like, please play it! Please play it, Weeby! I'm fucking dead! Oh, the dream again. What the fuck is going on, dude? I had I have that same dream every night. The fuck? A desperate voice crying out in agony, screams for help. A nostalgic voice. Uh, oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh. Guys, see, he's trying to win your favor again, showing his six pack abs. I heard everybody hated me after the stream, huh? Oh, look! <laughs> six pack! <laughs> oh my god, all of a sudden I forgive him again! Slay! <laughs> god, I should not tell him to slay, dude. I guess Ando's medicine isn't working. Oh. Ugh. This is Karma. Oh, hey, Karma, you're in this too. <laughs> wow, I didn't know Karma was a canon character in Dying Rampa Nether. Wow. Oh my god, Kana Karma is even more canon. It's fine. My choice wasn't the wrong one. You sure about that, buddy? You sure about that? You sure? You positive? It's all over. I don't have to worry. Yes, I did what I had to. Jesus. It's really impressive that he's got such a six pack, even though he's in a wheelchair. Kinjo, help me. Is that Teruya? Aw, maybe. <sighs> Might be, could be Teruya too, that's like he's hearing the screams of interesting. Man, that was good. That was interesting. I don't know if I should mute this. Maybe just to be safe. The music's kind of really, and the last time the credit scene had a uh, copyrighted music. <laughs> 
<laughs> my hard work always pays off. Divine luck works. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. You did it, Marcy. You, you did it. Oh my god. Thanks, Dara. Okay, maybe now I understand why y'all simp for him. <laughs> See, you get it now. He's innocent. He's literally innocent. Oh, it's supposed to be Yuki. Uh, I could see it being uh, either way. Uh, either Yuki or uh, Teruya. It's kind of hard to know, though. He's failed so many people in his life, you know? It could be anybody. It could be literally anyone. Man, that was wild, though. <laughs> I'm glad Kenjo got the redemption he deserved, though, you know? Like, I was really, really worried. Wait, did you finish today? I have to watch today's whole thing. No, I didn't finish today, CM. <laughs> I just did the investigation, and there was, like, an alternate ending that we uh, did. Um, that we did. Okay, so this ending is basically just Kenjo uh, dies because, because he's dying from the divine luck thing. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, too. Just, like, showing him slowly dying. So, uh, makes sense. Oh, this song's so pretty. Damn it. Why do you have to be copyrighted, probably? Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that was pretty fun. That was good. I'm glad we decided to watch it then. It wasn't long. This song is so pretty. Hot people get redemptions arc so easily. <laughs> Guys, he literally did nothing wrong, okay? He just stared at a six-pack, and that's how you know that he literally did nothing wrong in his whole entire life. Wow, I forgive him again. <laughs> I'm, on my, I'm on my Kenjo simping era yet again. Yet again. That was all I needed to convert back. <laughs> that was all I needed. That was all I needed. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, well, thanks, guys, for coming. Um, I guess I will see you next week. Um, I'll have a stream on Friday, uh, some more Night in the Woods. And then, of course, we'll stream this again on Sunday. I feel like we might be able to finish it. If the trial is, like, six hours long, I feel like I could probably, you know, get through that. I just, like, I don't know, man. I hate stopping, like, midway through a trial. Maybe I'll start the stream earlier. Maybe I'll start, like, one or something instead just to try to, like, have more... Uh, more time. The only bad thing is my sleep schedule sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. But maybe I think I think I'm down to try to get through the whole trial next time. But we will see. Um, I don't have a video super planned up for this week yet. Um, I was gonna try to record something a bit easier because that uh Eden's Garden video took a lot of time and effort. Oh wait, you know I do have a Let's Play video actually that I have like edited and ready to go. So maybe I'll post that. But uh, I'll have to work on some other stuff and hopefully get something else up this week as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy. You're welcome. I appreciate. I appreciate that, Marcy. You you helped. You changed my mind yet again. I was almost rethinking the Kinjo cult. But yet here we are again. I'm back. And, um, you know, realizing that he did nothing wrong ever. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for stopping by. I will see you next week. Bye.